Blah, 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 blah. It's, it's in positive music. He's got to come in and talk right now. <laughs> Shut up. No, I didn't. I, this isn't. Well, this is a soundtrack. I can't tell when it's going to stop. I was in the middle of drinking water. I had to, like, spit take to unmute. Son of a bitch. Whatever, man. Whatever. You, none of you bought it. None of, all of you. All right. None of you ever believed. I would, uh, I would ever play this. All right? I had you had. You've been had from the very beginning. I've always liked this game. This is actually, I've played a lot of this game. I've beaten this game. I'm actually very good at this game. Or I was. I did. You messaged me about it yesterday. Guys. <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking guy, Brett Ultimus. He comes in, he fabricates lies. He, fa he lies to all of you and to me. But the worst part is that I'm so delirious in my day to day that I had to do a double take right there where I thought about the fact that I might have talked to him about it. And even now I'm still running it through in my head if maybe I talked about it with, like, with him because I can't fucking remember. It takes about 10 seconds for one of my friends to convince me like that something in reality has changed. I would just be like, yeah, probably right. Probably did talk to you about it for like five hours. I don't know. That's just me. That's just how I am. Return the vibe. <laughs> Call Sam. He's crying. Return the vibe now. It wasn't even the vibe. It was the fucking index. Idiot. God. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. I, chat have installed a very good, very large overhaul mod for this game that I think will make things a little interesting because I haven't ever played this. Multiverse is all new to me, but it's got a lot of cool content. It's got a lot of stuff in it, a lot of stuff in it, a lot of stuff in it. Captain Edition? No, Multiverse. I've played Captain Edition. Uh, I thought it was okay from what I remember. I mean, it's been a while, so God knows how much stuff has changed since. But uh, I wanted to try multiverse instead, because I'm pretty sure they are not functional together. But this is the one that I've had recommended to me, so it's the one I'm going to do. Isn't multiverse basically the calamity of FTL? I'll put it like this. The download for multiverse was larger than the entire game of FTL. There you go. <laughs> There you go. That, I think that's the best way to put it. It was like double the size of FTL, maybe triple. So um, there's a lot of new stuff in this one. There's like custom music. There's everything. It's a lot. The main menu though, does leave a little to be desired. Uh, this isn't a good first image for their game mod, but I promise it gets better. <laughs> It gets better, trust me. <laughs> I don't know why they make it look like that. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know. <laughs> Graphic design is my passion. I don't understand what they were doing. Uh, but it gets better. It, it doesn't... It, it, it gets better, okay? But yeah. I wanted to take it easy. I didn't want to play some crazy shit today. I just wanted to play something... I really wanted to play a roguelike. Just something low commitment. Very low commitment. Just chill and jam. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't lie to me. When I said don't lie to me, I saw don't lie tome. And when I saw tome, I thought tales of Maja y'all. And then I started sweating. Like that, that's actually all that I actually saw was that. And then I started sweating again. <sighs> People are question marking because they don't know about Tome. And uh, and what a good fucking decision that is. Now that's the kind of roguelike that gets you sweating. <laughs> that's the level, uh, that's the, you get to level 20 
on your five hour roguelike run and your character just explodes and you don't even know why you died. And when you look at the log to try to find out what happened to your character, it's just a bunch of LOLs in the fucking log. LOL, as like you just got hit by something. It won't tell you how hard the thing hit you. It won't tell you what spell they cast. Just LOL, you got destroyed. Play Tome. I, chat, I, th I like Tome. I think Tome would be a really cool stream. But the problem with Tome is that I don't think it translates very well to watchability. I think it is one of the least watchable fucking roguelikes out there. I don't know. There's something, there's something cursed about Tome. Something that doesn't sit from like a, ooh, people would want to like wa watch this. I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of crusty in a way that most other games aren't. It's pretty cursed. More than Cataclysm? Dude, Cataclysm's like a fucking nice walk in the park compared to Tome, as far as like, Tome has better, technically t better graphics, but there, it's just, you're walking at enemies that walk at you and clicking buttons to cast your spells, and that's pretty much all Tome is. There's not much, Cataclysm has like the variety of visuals, like because you're traveling a map, you know? You, look, the people that are talking shit to me right now, Okay, haven't played Tome, and I know you haven't played Tome, so shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> you're, some of you fucking goblins come here like, dude, you, you don't even know what you're talking about. I know for a fact you haven't played Tome. Actually, 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 would you ever play DCSS? I don't even know what that is, but it's probably some roguelike that looks like, uh, shit. <laughs> if I'm going to guess, because that's usually what people recommend to me is roguelikes that look like poop. So, so, yeah, I'm, it's probably good. <laughs> but if I look up Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, it pro it's probably a top-down ASCII game that looks like garbage. But that's okay. I don't judge him for that. But I do judge them as far as streamability on a stream is concerned. Dungeon, crawl, stone. Okay, I have to actually look up DCSS. It's not on Steam, huh? It's uh, only DCSS game. Let me guess, it's an ASCII. Yes, it is. There's nothing wrong with that, but uh, I'm not, I don't really want to get into more ASCIIs right now. I'm still playing Dwarf Fortress and getting into that. I'm not about to get... I'm not about to crack open another top-down tile set game. Frankly. It's just not on the table. It's just not on the table right now. I don't have the fucking bandwidth chat. I just don't. I just don't. How do I play CDDA? I, 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 surely you could have typed that into Google. <laughs> that was pretty much a Google question you just asked in here instead of on Google, which would have answered it faster for you. Man, this is like when I'll be, this is like when I'll be talking to my friends about like a game that we want to stream. And they'll ask me some unbelievable question. Like, how do I like install this? And I'll be like, I don't know. And then I'll find the answer and they're like, damn, how do you know that? And I'll say, I, I used Google. I, I looked it up. It was the first option. It was the very first thing that popped up. It was a list of instructions and I just followed them. And now I've copied and pasted those instructions to you. And then they get like mad at me. They get like angry that I gave them that kind of sass. That happens a lot. They'll get like, they'll, then they'll get mad at me because I sassed them about it. And I'll be like, man, you know, I got like, <laughs> man, man, how you do that? How you always know the answer to things? It's like, I'm the only one who uses Google guys. It's out there. <laughs> what if we all started using, it, you know what I mean? For everything. It's like, I swear to God, they're going to go out of business because I'm like the only one. Whoever works at Google fucking spits out their coffee every morning when they turn on their computer because they see they got one fucking search today and it's from Tomato Gaming. 
and they're like, oh my god, he's back, he's back, the guy's back, the guy's back, the guy's back, run ads, run ads on it. And then I get like 40 ads and a captcha, a forced captcha that I gotta go through while 12 ads play in the background so that I can fucking search stuff again, because I'm the only one they have. I don't know, man. Sounds like crazy speak using Google. Nah. 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 Chat, I've had... It's... I... I so, a little bit of game talk, okay? For a second. I beat that game Library of Ruina that I was talking about a little while ago. Pretty good. I highly recommend it. Only on the uh, assumption that you don't have any other games looking at you, staring at you, and nodding to come over and play with them. Because if you have any of those, you're never going to beat it in a million years. Um, ever. I basically ended up watching a movie online to finish it. I never actually beat it. I gotta admit it. I got like halfway through and then I was like, I'm just going to watch like the last like five hours of this game on a YouTube video that I can just watch all the cutscenes with. I didn't beat it. I didn't actually beat it. I watched like a fucking movie because I was like, this game is like, I got like 14 hours of this game left and I've got Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I got a code for that game and the game is looking at me two days early from release, nodding at me and smiling with thumbs up to come over to there. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, God damn it. Library of Runa, how much more game is left? And the game goes at least 12 <laughs> if you're lucky and you play every level right. And a tear falls to my eye and I say, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. And they say, what? And I turn it off and then I look up the video. It's a good movie. <laughs> I recommend it. It was good. I really liked it. A nice uh, sequel to Lobotomy Corp. But now Pathfinder is on my radar and holy hell, that game is a whole lot. That's not a kind of game you just pick up, huh? I was making, I played and I beat Cat Pathfinder uh, Kingmaker or whatever. I beat that fucking game. It was not amazing, but I did like, I did like it enough that I wanted to play the sequel because I assumed they'd improve upon things, which seems like they have. But holy hell, you make a character in that game and the whole time you're like, oh my God. Almost everything feels like it's, I, I already feel like I should restart. I feel like I already fucked up. Cause I, I don't know anything about Pathfinder and it's got 25 classes or some shit in the game right now. And they all have like five fucking subclasses each. And this is in the character creator for the fucking game. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay, I kind of like complicated classes. So I guess I'll make like a kineticist. And then like, I look it up and someone's like, don't fucking do that. If this is your first time playing P Pathfinder, don't ever fucking do that. Play like, play like this thing. And I point to something that's like a one star out of five star difficulty character. And I'll be like, uh, I don't really want to play baby tier, but I also know this game's fucked up. Uh, and then I just ended up spending four hours in the character creator and didn't make a character and logged out for the day like sad and confused. But I had fun. I'm gonna do it again, is the thing. But I know for a fact it's the kind of fucking RPG game where I'm gonna get five hours into the game and the whole time I'm gonna be like, it's not good, Re restart. No, don't restart. You have to keep moving or else you'll never beat this game. You'll never finish it. And the whole time for the next five hours until I've reached the point of no return where I truly know I will never be doing this again, I'll be a miserable, miserable mess. Cause I'll be like, I don't, this care, I'll have one thing that goes wrong with my character and I'll be like, this guy kind of sucks eggs. I should make a completely new one and remake the whole game and start from scratch five hours ago. It'd be better. Although, I do know for a fact the game, and I love this, I actually fucking genuinely love this. Uh, the new Pathfinder game, that I think just came out today, has a respec option now, which didn't exist, and most things don't exist. I am a firm believer that in every form of RPG, games should have respec options. Uh, you don't have to have it enabled. You can ignore it and leave it disabled in the options. But, I have, a, I have... I like pretending I have a life and I really like it when games respect that uh, fantasy of mine and don't punish me by making me restart, restart the whole game uh, every time I fuck up one thing. I really like that. I, I love that shit. That's like a massive thumbs up for me. I mean, hell, I'd be uh, like even even like in 
like goblins. I, I can't tell you the amount of times I fucked up something with Clarent and Brett would fucking be like, it's okay. Everyone makes stupid fucking decisions all the time. Just fix it. And then he just like closes his eyes and I'd be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I'll just fix something. I like it when I, when you can do that. Cause holy hell, I will sit on a fucking decision forever and be like, I don't know. This is a good decision. You guys are going to see that in the game today. Well, I just sit on like two weapons. I'm just like, I don't fucking, they're both, they both seem good. <laughs> uh, which one looks cooler? Which one looks like it's scarier for an enemy to see, but never shoot? Lasers, always. No, 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 not in this game. Not in multiverse. Multiverse has different things. Multiverse has, chat, multiverse has a lot of fucking different mechanics than base game. There's some really fucked up shit. In multiverse. Okay, there's some really fucked up shit. I've sent an atomizer drone into the halls of an enemy ship and watched as it vaporizes a slug man trying to repair shields. I just started laughing at them. I atomized some slug guy. I started laughing. <laughs> as the guy, I, I activated a system on my ship that hypnotized a mantis on another person's ship into believing that he was on my team. I then watched as he navigated to the pilot seat and fucking executed his own crew member while I again <laughs> laughed. And then I watched as another ship did that to me. Multiverse is pretty cool. Hypnosis was part of the fucking, uh, what the, it was part of the advanced edition, right? I didn't play much advanced edition, but, uh, it adds a lot of extra things on top of it that make it pretty interesting with uh, multiverse added on top of it, you know? But yeah, I, I did not play much Advanced Edition, so there will likely be points where I mix up a little bit here and there. I was more of a vanilla base FTL boy. Pick that shit at Ground Zero, man. When it first came out. When it first came out. I can't play without advanced. I'm not sure why you would play without advanced. If you had the choice, I mean, it's just more of the game. For a long time, I didn't know FDL had a modding community. There's a lot of games that you don't know have modding communities. Like, ah, oh, fuck, there was a really good mod for Nuclear Throne that I can't even fucking find online anymore. I don't know where the fuck it went, but I thought it was awesome. I wanted to play Nuclear Throne again a little while ago. I couldn't find the mod. Like, it's just like gone. Poof, I don't know where it went. I think it's somewhere on Game Jolt. No, it's not Nuclear Throne together. It's like when I search it, it doesn't even come up. Like I don't, I couldn't find it. And it was a bummer because Nuclear Throne has, Nuclear Throne's a fucking awesome game. Like that's one of my favorite roguelikes. And it's gone. Gone, nothing left, nothing survived. Fuck. Maybe ask in the Nuclear Throne, Nuclear Throne Territorial Expansion. That might have been it. Might have been. It was not, but this looks really good. This actually looks really good. I've been wanting to play more Nuclear Throne so fucking bad. It might have been this. It's just been updated so much since then that I can't recognize it. But fucking hell, that is a game. Now let me tell you what, Nuclear Throne. Now that's a uh, now that's a roguelike. All right. Now that's like the one of the best roguelikes. Oh my god. Fuck. Now that's a game. I confirm that as a game. So yeah, this week is going to be a little all over the place chat. Uh, sometime over the weekend, I'm launching the SS13 server still. That is not, uh, not happening. So that'll be happening one of those days. I'm still trying to figure out the day I want to do, but uh, it will be happening. I won't be streaming it that day, but it'll be open to subscribers at that point. I just need to do some, uh, you know, spring cleaning on the rules and some stuff that got a little bit, uh, a little bit, 
um, slowed down over the last couple days. But we'll get through that. We'll get through that. That'll happen. Uh, tomorrow's probably going to be some fucking crusty horror games. I just want to do that. Saturday, I'm going to do something with Sam. I have no idea what. Yet. Uh, we were just talking about it. We're probably going to do something. Uh, and then... Sunday, I'm probably going to do more Gary's Mod. Frankly, it feels like a pretty good week to play stuff with friends. So I'm going to play stuff with friends and uh, enjoy myself and just hang out. It's a good time for it. So, uh, yeah. Voice box, no. What did he get? What are you guys fucking mad? Because I'm not playing fucking vintage story yet. Gimme, get away from me. Get away from me. Any possibility of Red Dead? I just haven't really been in the mood the last couple days. Kraken's Pixelmon is gonna be up soon too. Yeah, here's the thing is I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. I might I might try it. I might try it. I might try it. But uh, I'm not a, I'm not a huge huge Pixelmon guy because I'm not really much of a Pokemon guy I don't like Digimon either I just don't like Mons you know uh, I saw someone ask something in chat that made me so mad that it made me so fucking mad where was it Wildermyth my dude oh yeah it didn't make me mad my response to that is I'm waiting until Kraken gets back from his trip I don't want to play it without him so I'm not doing Wildermyth until Kraken's back because we played that together and I had fun playing with him. I'm not going to fucking do it without him. That feels kind of mean. So I'm going to wait for him to get back. Uh, that'll happen whenever he gets back, most likely. Would you ever play Spore? That game sucks so bad. Anyone that says it's good is lying to you. People play it because they know it does well on Twitch, but it is such a terrible, heinously uncomfortable to play experience. So yes, someday I'll play it. <laughs> someday I'll play it. But it's got it's like not it's like a nothing game. It's like a looking at funny monsters game. But there's no depth to it. There's nothing there. Trust me, I played that game at launch. I literally owned that. I bought that game day one. I thought it was incredible. Uh, so I know a lot about Spore. <laughs> that game's a piece of shit. I hate it. Anyone who likes it is a liar. I don't know why you would lie. Why would you lie? Dark Spore, isn't that the one they tried to make it to an RPG? I bet that went well. The Diablo one. Uh, there's a cool mod for Diablo 2 that I was tempted to try. Not on stream, but just to do it. I saw Octo streaming it and I was like, fuck, that looks like fun. That was, that was literally the only response I had was, fuck, that looks like it's kind of fun. Median XL, yeah. I've never had an excuse to play Diablo 2. And everyone's always like, you should play Diablo 2, you hack. Fraud. To which I respond... I don't have any nostalgia goggles for that game, and now I don't, I don't have very high confidence I'm going to enjoy it as a result, but mods might sort of bridge the gap for me. You know what I mean? I think it's a fine argument for me to say I'm not tempted to play really old fucking games that I didn't play as a kid, that there are very obviously like options that are newer, that are like somewhat equivalent, because Path of Exile exists, and I know Path of Exile is very much Diablo 2 in design, and I've played that game. I'm, I, I don't really seek out Diablo 2 because I've, I feel like I'm going to end up comparing it to Path and then going and playing Path again. And I don't know if I want to crack that open. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I emotionally have it in me to, to, to crack open that fucking Ark of the Covenant melt my fucking face off by playing another fucking season of Path. I can't. 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 
I tried PoE. Kind of boring IMO. No one likes PoE. All right. Let me let me get some shit out of the way. No one likes these games. They play them because they have to, because their dopamine fucking receptors are just screaming to see numbers go up. No one plays them for fun. It's like watching fucking, it's like watching someone that plays RuneScape every day. You're lying. You don't like it. <laughs> You've never liked it. You hate it. We all hate it. You just do it anyways, just like a hamster on a wheel. Always running on the wheel, never getting any further. Just running on the wheel, around and around. Just p play Cookie Clicker. Yo, actually for real though, I saw on Steam releases that they released Cookie Clicker for $5 and said it had still been getting supported for the last five years with new content. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. They put more. How do you put more game into Cookie Clicker? If I was gonna play one of those, I'd, pay, I'd play the paperclip one. All right? I've never played that one. I've heard that's like the cool one that has like a purpose. That's the one I'd play. But I don't see that happening just yet. That's a, that's a little ways out for me. Universal paperclips, yeah, that one where you do stock management and stuff like that. Finally, a good fucking game. I don't know if they're talking about this or Cookie Clicker. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're talking about this, but man, when the only game out in the fucking idol genre was Cookie Clicker, that was a fun fucking game. Let's be honest. It didn't have any pay to win bullshit, you just clicked and watched a number go up. It was so fucking nice. That, that's a classic. I can't think poorly about Cookie Clicker because it was an untainted classic. Okay. You just clicked. <laughs> <sighs> what about Flappy Bird? What about Flappy Bird? What about Flappy Bird? What does it have to do with anything? Dude, I felt so bad for the dev of that game. Imagine making Flappy Bird and somehow Flappy Bird becomes such a negative presence in your own life that you are forced to remove that money maker off of a fucking app store. What the fuck kind of feelings and emotions could Flappy Bird possibly like stir up in humanity to make someone so fucking jaded in their own industry that they remove their fucking award-winning, incredibly popular game. Sad, man. <laughs> really sad. He was getting death threats. They would chat. Imagine sending death threats because of Flappy Bird. People like that should be put in like wooden boxes have the boxes nailed shut and then pushed down a river. No one knows where the river goes, but they should push them all down a river. Let someone else downstream deal with them later. You mean coffins? I don't know, man. <laughs> you said that, not me. I said boxes. <laughs> all right. But why were they sending death threats? Chat! Okay, let's connect the dots here. There's only one thing you do in Flappy Birds, and it's flap. They were sending death threats because I guess they didn't flap well enough. I don't know what else. There's not much else to get angry about other than the flap. It's not like there's a lot there. There never was. I, I, I keep flapping, but I'm not getting the win. I'm not getting the W I deserve, man. You're dead, man. I gotta get that record, man! I knew fucking freaks in my goddamn school that could get records of over a hundred. Man, I turned on that game one time when I was in middle school. I flapped once, got right over that first pipe, and then said, Uh oh, I'm gonna hit that next one, and I hit it, and I never played that game again. Because I said it wasn't for me. Now, I can't imagine saying instead, 
Ah, oh, fuck, I hit that pipe. Better go again. Ah, oh, fuck, I hit that pipe. Better go again. Ah, oh, fuck, I hit that pipe. Better go again. Ah, oh, fuck, I hit that pipe. Better send a fucking psycho email to the person who made this game because I'm angry about the pipe. This is making me so mad. I hope those people that sent those things uh, thought about all this shit years later and cringe so hard they almost die every time they do it. Uh, now, I hope they carry that fucking cringe with them everywhere they go. Because that is so cringe, man. That's Krongo. Oh my god. Is Flappy Bird a roguelike? <laughs> One of the best ones. There's no, there's no bullshit. You flap or you die. The classic. I mean, it's like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it never really mattered because the second Flappy Bird went off of sale or whatever the fuck went off the app store. Someone else was like, hi, I made a uh, Flappy Duck. <laughs> Give me money now. And everyone just shrugged and was like, okay. And just left. Like, <laughs> it didn't change anything. Then they were just like, I'm going to send angry emails to Flappy Duck. Fucking asshole. And it just kept happening. Didn't matter. Flappy Bird made the world a worse place. No, chat. Flappy Bird just showed everyone how shitty the world already was. Don't ever forget that. It just revealed the darkness that was already there. Sad. Really sad. Don't blame the dev for our sins. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know the whole story. Maybe the dev was a psycho. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is that if I, dude, the last thing I'd expect making a game as simple as Flappy Birds is death threats. Like, <laughs> that's like making tic-tac-toe and all of a sudden getting death threats over your tic-tac-toe game. Dude, it's, it, you just connect three symbols. I don't know. This is, this is, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> not enough, not enough content. Tetris get death threats. No, I could get it about Tetris. Dude, Tetris doesn't fuck around. There's a reason there's like a thousand different versions of Tetris, okay? Don't bring Tetris into this. Tetris can go fuck itself. For real. That's a different story, okay? Tetris has bad energy. It does. Tetris has awful energy. Tetris brings a lot of fucking evil to the board. Someone comes in and says, Battle Chess makes me so mad. I never played Battle Chess because I knew better. Because I knew it would make me angry. I played Pokemon Battle Chess, whatever it was, in the fucking Warcraft 3 modding scene. And that was enough for me to be like, ah, yes. Nope. And I left. I didn't get it. I didn't much care to. You see, chat, here's the thing. I'm happy to invest an uncomfortable amount of time into getting better at a single player game and min maxing the fuck out of it but the second that i'm up against another person i always feel like uh that time is better spent elsewhere and therefore i don't usually spend a lot of time trying to master multiplayer games where a lot of the uh ways that you improve is by like calculations and like stuff like that and not just like twitch skill you know what i mean i just don't really do that so those games never really clicked with me ever I just didn't, it didn't click with me. I didn't like feeling like the only way that I could beat the game or be better at it was by just fucking pure, like just research. If that makes sense. I know it sounds lazy, but it's like, I just rather invest that time into other things. You knew? When will you go back to the lobotomy corp? Never. I already beat and completed, well, technically saw the entire plot line of Library of Runa, and I have no more. I don't need to go back. I don't want to. 
Do you enjoy playing RTS games in multiplayer? No one does. <laughs> no one ever got the memo on it, though, and that's why we all keep doing it. No one does. Like, one sicko does, and everyone else like, if he likes it, we must like it, too. And they all start doing it, too. But none of them actually have fun but the one guy. Okay, and it's okay, it's okay to be that way. But whenever I look at an RTS in multiplayer, I get sweaty, I start to get nervous, and then I get uncomfortable, and then I get mad. Like, and I'm not playing it, I'm watching it. Hey, oh, bother, thanks for the raid, man. Thank you for the raid. Thanks for the raid. So kind. So kind. Welcome. Welcome. We're still in the five hour intro. I used to have fun until I fought against tryhards. I've never played in a multi. Look, okay. I've played multiplayer RTSs before. I played Battle for Middle Earth 2. And that was the Golden Age. Okay? That was the Golden Age. Didn't get better than that. Battle for Middle Earth changed everything. What a fucking game. I honestly don't think RTSs have gotten much better than the old days of like Battle for Middle Earth 2. Fucking, you know what I mean, dude. There's some good, there's some good shit from that era. And I don't know, stuff like StarCraft never really clicked with me, ever. And I don't think it's a bad game. It's never clicked with me. StarCraft 2. Total Warhammer 2. Man. I played a lot of Total War. They've ne I've never been able to get more than five hours into a campaign without just being like, shrug, I'm done. And I don't think they're bad. They're just, they, don't just, they just don't grab me. They've never grabbed me. <clears throat> I, they bore me a little bit. I thought that even Warhammer would grab me more because it's like, you know, a big dinosaur now instead of a guy with a fancier armor that looks the same as everyone else. But the city management in those games is so fucking awful. I don't have fun doing it. I don't have fun managing the po like political shit in those games. It's fucking cumbersome and uncomfortable. It takes too long to rotate turns. Even now to me, when I've gone back, I've been like, man takes so fucking long to process all this shit and I want to move. I want to be moving. I don't want to be waiting for a bunch of AI to do their turns. I guess it might just be a lack of patience. But it feels it felt like the game runs too slow. I don't think it's a bad game. It's just not for me. It just, it just ain't for me. Alright? Zoomer. I... Uh, era and age-wise, I'm 25. Stop calling me a fucking Zoomer, all right? It's over. It's officially over. I'm... <laughs> he... Even now he Zooms. Even now. When am I... <laughs> what's, the, what's the age where I'm no longer a Zoomer then? When do I when do I cross the threshold? It's a generational thing. No chat. Here's the thing. It would be, but there is no fucking way. Okay, this is the internet we're talking about. Zoomers apply to, in our case, anyone that's an idiot kid on the internet. Okay. They we aren't. The Zoomer thing is going to carry on down the down the line, okay? Yeah, maybe 10 years ago. No one was using Zoomer 10 years ago. You're delusional. You're delusional. I don't think you're hyperactive enough to be a Zoomer. Nah, I don't... I just get confused by, like, when when I'm when I'm not this anymore because it feels like people just call me things you know they don't even know there's no agreed upon there's no agreed upon time scale here like I've been called a boomer I've been called a zoomer I've been called a doomer 
and a coomer, okay? I've been called them all. And I don't know what half of these fucking mean from like an age window. Like, when am I not eligible for one of these? I gotta sneeze. Oh, sorry. Unmute coward. I don't think that's going to be happening. Pussy. All right. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit more than that. All right. I'll unmute for f fucking money. All right. You give me enough money, an undisclosed amount of money, perhaps, and I'll unmute next time. Okay. But until then, <laughs> I think not. <sighs> He's lying. I'm not lying. It's just a vague amount of money. You might, you might never reach it. You might never reach it. Imagine paywalling a sneeze, bro. Look, chat. I've been in this industry a long time. The saddest part is... The saddest part is if I put a fucking actual physical number on it, I'd get it. That's, that's how the internet works. Okay, I could genuinely profit off of not sneezing on my microphone. Like, I could- I could turn it into a fucking net gain. Marmon TTV, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Very much. Wow. We must paywall everything. We need more money. Chat, we need more money. We need more money. How to mod FTL. Uh, I'm not even going to walk through it because you can look it up for multiverse, but it was a little convoluted in that there were things I believed I needed that I didn't and things I didn't need that I did. If that makes, doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense, but you, you can connect the dots and figure it out. It's not super hard. It's not, it's pretty easy. It's just like follow the instructions. Follow the instructions and use Google instead of asking a streamer. That's live. <laughs> you'll get better help. You'll get, you'll definitely get better help anywhere else. <coughs> okay, Google, how do I install Steam? Yeah, you're gonna have to own FTL. You're gonna have to own FTL. That's step one. You need to have the game. Happy belated birthday, Tamto. Thanks. <laughs> it's my birthday today, Chad. <laughs> It's my birthday today, did you know? <laughs> and so the grim cycle begins anew. The, the sun sets on another year, and thus another year begins. To no one's surprise. He's 92. <laughs> He's fucking 92. Happy birthday. Thanks. Thanks. I don't want the intro to run for too much longer because I can see myself playing this game for a pretty long time and it's kind of a it's kind of a zen out sort of game. We can keep talking while I play it. But uh Hey. Like I said before, gonna be streaming a lot this week. Got some horror stuff I'm gonna do tomorrow. I might check out you know, I'm not even going to talk about it because people will be like, oh my god, why would you do that? Why the fuck would you play that? Uh, so I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to play. Uh, Saturday, I'm doing stuff with Sam and someone else who we will have to find uh, in, the, in the fucking woodworks. Then um, 
on Sunday, I'm going to do more Gary's Mod with the gang. With the gang. No problem. No problem. And at some point during that, I'll launch SS13 servers. And that'll also be cool. More TTT? I don't know. I think it might be TTT. It might be a different game mode now. We might be switching it up. If it's Prop Hunt, I don't show up, though. If it's Prop Hunt, I do something else that day. Uh, that, that's, my, that's my one thing. If I come in on Sunday and they're like, it's... It's prop hunt Sundays. I'm going to be doing something else that day. Uh, <laughs> I don't like prop hunt very much. I like it until some assholes like, ah, yes, I'm a very small hula girl and I'm going to crawl under this piece of the terrain that no one can physically see someone in and then laugh it up as they can't win for 10 minutes. <laughs> so no C Nanners tactics. Man, I've seen those old school fucking prop hunt videos. And all I gotta say is as nice of a guy as C Nanners seems, I wouldn't fucking play more than one round of prop hunt with him before I logged out and never played a game with him ever again. I, I, if I saw half the shit that they were pulling in those fucking old school videos, I'd be like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Goodbye. But the content. Look, chat. There's a lot of stuff you can justify when you are on a recorded session. But when you're streaming it, the game has changed. It's more about respecting the time of everyone involved because everyone's streaming and has audiences watching a thing, you know what I mean? It's a different dynamic that you have to have. If I saw someone, if I died in fucking prop hunt and I tapped and spectate to someone and they were outside the map as a fucking hula girl prop wandering around, I'd be like, yeah, this person's dead to me. <laughs> This is this person's dead to me. Anonymous gifting 20 subs to the channel. Anonymous. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. 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 You know Bedwood. I don't <laughs> think Bed would. I think Bed I think Bed's really good at being a good sport while still being a goofy psycho. Bed did. Yeah, well, that's the fault of the tool, uh, the teleport thing. I know because that gun can send you into weird fucking parts of the map. So I don't think he was necessarily in that situation exactly planning on doing it. Uh, I think that was partially the problem of the weapon that he had in his hands. But I do think that tool should be removed from the, from the uh, pack. I do think that tool should be ripped out of the pack. Uh, the teleport gun should be gone for the next session. I don't think it's very good. I think it fucks the balance of the game. Pretty bad. And the RPG limited to one. I don't even think the RPG is in it anymore. I didn't see it. The, uh, the problem is with the RPG, it removes the entire point of buying like the bomb that makes you blow your character up in an AOE. You don't need that anymore because you have an RPG in Gary's Mod that kind of... Uh, there's so many tools in the pack that I have never used and don't plan to because I feel like psycho shit to even bother. I feel like you need an extra credit at this point to even justify doing anything. You know? Just not happening. Anyways, chat, look. Okay, I'd love to sit here all day and talk about mundane bullshit that's probably boring you all to tears, but um, I, 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 I don't have many funny stories to tell, so I'm just going to move on to, uh, to FTL, okay? If you don't know what FTL is, yikes, really dating yourself as a Zoomer, huh? Two, uh, shut up. Look, just watch the stream then. God. Third, 
Okay. Third. Um, I'm playing with a overhaul mod that changes a bunch of the game and adds a ton of new content called Multiverse. Uh, the title page is going to leave you shaken. You're not going to know what to expect, but I can speak personally. This is a very good mod with a lot of content that makes the game very interesting. So keep an eye out, okay, for all the cool stuff we're going to see. I think you're going to like it. And if you don't, kind of fucking cringe, man. Kind of crungo. Kind of crungo. Here it comes. Here it comes! Incoming! Ah! Oh my god! What the fuck is that? What is that? Ew! What is that, a Minecraft reference at the bottom? Is that a reference to fucking Minecraft? Why would they do that? <laughs> why would they put that in the game? I don't understand why they would do that to the game. Dude! It's got everything, man! You gotta check out Multiverse, dude! It was made by my cousin in the fourth grade, dude! It's crazy! Look at the font, dude! Bro! <laughs> but uh, if you get past this, there's a lot of content. It's really cool. Okay? There's a lot of new... A lot of new stuff. Okay. Look, look at all these ships. Look at all this. This stuff we have to unlock. There's a lot of content in this fucking pack. It's a, it's a hefty, there's like hundreds of weapons. Which means we'll never see the same one twice. And I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to learn anything and become a good player. Okay. We're gonna be using the Multiverse Cruiser. This modified Kestrel has been through a lot. It has been outfitted with a Multiverse Drive and is one of the first ships to achieve dimensional travel. Down here we have Archeom. The Orchid Floral. I'm not, chat, I'm not gonna do chat permadeath because holy shit, you go through characters really fast in this mod. People sometimes blow up. Permadeath would be kind of unfair because sometimes I'll just be like, hey, I'm going to send someone down to the surface uh, to check out a planet and the game will just be like, and they die. What? They die. I. How'd they? They die. They die. They die. Okay. Okay. And then you just have to live with that. There's no like. <laughs> they die. All right. Just li let it go. I mean, that's the fun of it, right? Yeah, but when I have to also then tab out of the game and do slash timeout this many seconds, this person, it's gonna become too much. So we're not doing that. This is Archeum, the orchid floral. The floral's natively known as the Citrine, our friendly species of mostly pacifist plants, which can buff your crew and refill oxygen. This mod sucks. <laughs> Already, huh? Why am I even playing this? Are you fucking kidding me? How lo how old is this mod and it's got this fucking typo in it? This is embarrassing. Yikes. Talked a lot of good stuff about this mod for it to embarrass me. Refills oxygen. Does not work on ships, uh, ships without a O2 system. That's cool. Take times two damage from fire and puts them out at half speed. Okay, uh, Archem isn't allowed in fire zones. Ever. And friendly crew in the same room gain additional 20% max health and 20% repair speed. They're a good fucking support crew member. That's lovely. That's really lovely. We'll leave them in the back because that's probably of the three spots where I need someone initially. Them being, this is probably the one that's going to be least targeted by enemies and therefore they won't be on fire as much. I hope. Um, I hope. People look. A separatist NG. The separatist NG have broken free from the control of the Harmony, a widespread program that controls the NG and encourages sameness. Active ability toggles to nanite mode, where it ignores doors and becomes damage resistant but cannot fight or repair. Okay. 
Nice. That's good. That's good. That's really good. And then we have O. Williams, who's just an average fucking loser. We've got the basic ship, which we are going to name Dink 2. We're going to name it the Dink 2 while my fucking internet lags, because it wouldn't be a stream on my channel without the internet having problems every day lately. Uh, I don't know why. God knows why. But uh, it looks like we're fine again. I think it was a little hiccup. Uh, yeah. Advanced Navigators allows a ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and reveals details about surrounding beacons. That's cool, that's cool. And then we have our normal weapons, a pierce and burst cannon. This pierces shields. This one doesn't. That's all you really need to know. I'll explain some stuff about this game for the Zoomers that actually don't know how this game works, but I feel like most of you do. This game's fucking old at this point. Dink One is in the other multiverse chat. Get with it, okay? Can you please keep up? How can Dink 2 exist in the multiverse if Dink 1 already exists? There's gotta, we gotta separate. There's gotta be a separation. FTL is old? In the grand scheme of roguelikes, especially chat, it kinda is. Let's get out there. You take a look at the distant swirls of space as the stars fly past. This is the beginning of the next chapter in your saga. What will await you next? Well, apparently 12 fuel and 20 scrap. Cool. Before your mission begins, it might be time to prepare before you arrive at the warp bay. What would you like to do? We're just playing on normal difficulty. I'm not going to fuck with anything. Read over the mission debriefing. Okay, let's get some lore. You are no ordinary ship, and this is no ordinary mission. You were born and raised in Universe Zero, a reality where a heroic Federation vessel triumphed over the Rebel flagship and ensured the Federation's victory. The Federation forces chased the Rebels out of Node 17, the Federation capital. Unfortunately, not every reality had a ship like this. The destruction of the flagship AI rendered all of the Rebel automated vessels completely unable to act on their own. In a desperate last-ditch distraction, the Rebels gave one last command to all their auto ships to go on a kamikaze run directly into any nearby Federation ships. This resulted in a horribly bloody massacre and Admiral Vance of the Rebel Fleet escaped unharmed. The massacre of Node 17 remained the last major battle of the Federation Civil War. The Rebel forces were crippled, and the Federation quickly retook Universe Zero. This peace would not last when a Rebel salvage operation stumbled across a startling piece of technology, a strange black cubicle vessel containing what would soon be known as the first multiverse drive. This was the beginning of something very, very bad. The Rebels began the construction of a brand new fleet of ships wielding the power of this multiverse tech, which granted them the capability of traversing to other realities. Many of such places were still in the midst of the same civil war that Universe Zero Rebels had lost. This was their chance at revenge. Yeah, but like, if you if you got a multiverse time travel machine and you climbed in and you were like, I'm gonna fucking go to another multiverse and win over there, I would be like, okay, Bye. I guess. Please don't, just don't bring more people back here to beat me up later. Just stay there. It's not, I'm, I'm, no, look chat. Whatever happens in another multiverse to me is not my problem. No, if, it, if you run up to me covered in blood and you say, tomato, the multiverses are in danger. I'll say, does that include mine? And if your answer is then no, it's the multiverse, it's the ones that aren't here. I'd be like, well, that doesn't sound like my fucking problem, now does it? And i push you back out the door. With a big smile. That's not my problem. That's not my, that's not my verse. <laughs> that's not my verse. Many of such places were still in the midst of the same civil war that Universe Zero Rebels had lost. This was their chance for revenge. The new Rebel fleet overtook these realities with brutal efficiency, slaughtering the Federation forces and establishing a new galactic order in every single one they came across. Naturally, it was only a matter of time until the Federation of Universe Zero caught wind of this. They captured and reverse-engineered the Rebel multiverse tech and built their own fleet. Many others, whether they be civilians, pirates, aliens, or some other group, also obtained multiverse drives and installed them onto their ships. Dude, 
I mean, the concept is that there's an infinite number of multiverses in this kind of scenario, right? Which means, wouldn't you just be like, eh, I'll just go to one where you guys aren't gonna get there for a fucking trillion years. I'll see you later. Let's just punch a bunch of random numbers and go to that one, see if it's any better. Like, doesn't that, like, totally cheapen any kind of existence after that when you have the option to jump to any multiverse and bump into yourself again? Alright, chat, here's the thing, though. <clears throat> here's the thing, though, chat. If you got multiverse to multiverse level 5, and you... You like got in, got near your house. You looked in your window and you saw you in there. But they were they looked like they were having a way better time than you were having. Like nicer life, nicer everything. Would you fucking get rid of them? Would you get rid of them? Though, if like they were like having a way better time than you, like life was just way better over there. Would you fucking get rid of them? Cause I think I would. How better? Depressingly better. Like enough for you to like feel really bad about yourself. I think I would. I think I'd, I think I'd, I think I could take myself in a fight if I, if, look, okay, here's the thing. If I had the drop on myself, I could win against myself. I think I know that for sure. It comes down to that. It's an evenly matched fight. So whoever has the drop is the one that wins. And I don't think I'm personally expecting to be jumped by a multiversal version of me from another reality. So immediately by default, I will always lose to a multiverse version of me trying to get me because my life is better than theirs. Which means I also know that that'll be the case if I'm looking through the window and some me has a better life than me in another multiverse. So therefore it's like free real estate. Cause chat, if I, kill me in another multiverse <laughs> even if the body is right there on the ground and everyone's staring at it and staring at me covered in blood all i gotta say is this guy broke in and tried to kill me okay and then they'll do dna tests and be like that's weird because <laughs> you've got the same dna as this guy I don't have to be the aggressor multiversal, multiversal time traveler. I can just pretend I was always the original in this one. <laughs> it's a victimless crime. It's a victimless crime. And it's why every night, you know, I always take a peek around my surroundings to check for multiversal approachers because I'm not, I don't want that to be me. You know, I don't want to be the one that gets got. I want to be the one who got, you know? fucking insane it's not that insane though all right if i asked any one of my friends this shit they would back me up what if tomato isn't the original i'll never tell <laughs> i'll never tell it totally is insane but none of you fucking look you guys are fucking cowards that's your problem i didn't see one of you come out and say yeah i do it because you're a pussy but you know for a fact if you were stuck in another multiverse and you couldn't get out, let's say we're just, let's say we're spitballing here and you are stuck there and you look in through the window and the you in there is having a way better time than you, you're telling me you're not going to get rid of him. You're insane. Because eventually something's going to happen and they're going to be like, and someone's going to catch on and be like, why are there two of this person in existence right now? This is fucking weird. So yeah, nah, they're dead. They're dead, chat. They're dead. Just live together. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. There can only be one. And it's gonna be me. Okay? Coexist. No. No, I don't think so. You could be best friends. Why would I want to fucking constantly have to deal with a second me? When I know for a fact that chat, if a multiversal me showed up at my fucking doorstep and was like, hey, can I move in? I would quietly close the door and say, wait one second out there and grab a bat and prepare to kill him. So I know for a fact they're going to do the same, which is why there's no point in, in like, like diplomacy. They got to die. Okay, they gotta die because that's what I'd do to me if I revealed myself as a multiversal time traveler to one of them. It's a never-ending spiral, 
okay? <laughs> we only know war and conflict. <laughs> Sounds like a 90s comedy movie. Yeah, except it gets really fucking dark really fast. What if he's kinder and rich? That's not my concern. I want everything he has, so I'm going to kill him. <laughs> what am I gonna be like, man, I better not do this. He's way nicer than me. No. He's the same, we are the same ex being. <laughs> From a philosophical and existence sense, we are the same being and one of us should not exist anymore. Psycho. <laughs> Shut up! So we have evil verse. <laughs> he's not from the multiverse, he's from the evil verse. Look, chat. All I ask is that if I was ever gruesomely murdered by someone that looks and acts and is the exact same as me down to a genetic level, you guys fucking unsubscribe from him, okay? Promise. Promise you'll unsubscribe. Don't let him keep streaming on this account. I don't care if he's the exact same as me. All right? What if he's funnier? He won't be. He won't be. That's the thing. He's not going to be. He won't be. He just won't. How could we tell? Chat, look. And I'm going to tell you this one time because it's what I would do. The best time to dispose. Look, one of the most ideal times when I'm at my most vulnerable to be disposed of by a multiverse double of myself is literally on microphone during a stream. Because all you guys are going to hear is me doing some funny loud bit with voice effects. And you're going to be like, haha, he's getting killed by someone in the multiverse. This is a funny bit. And then the one who survives was get back on mic and you guys will be like, oh, mega lull. That was funny. It's genuinely the perfect crime. And it's how I would get the guy like off. That's how I get rid of him. Okay. <laughs> Looks behind me, checks to see if there's another me in the background. We're clear for now. He's speaking out of experience. No, chat. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Anyways, I've got one of these multiverse ships. Now that the line between realities has been blurred, it's impossible to truly tell how long this new endless war has been going on for. The rebels and Federation compete head on, invading new realities and trying to sway the ongoing civil war to their side. It's your task to hunt down the multiverse flagship. The rebels have dispatched this reality and destroy it before it can defeat this reality's Federation. Good luck, Captain. All right, let's go. Name. Federation Multiverse Drop Point. Type. Friendly. Unique. True. Dominant Faction. The Federation. Rebel Threat Level. Medium. You're about to arrive at the nearest Federation Warp Bay. These hangar-like structures act as beacons of sorts for traveling between the multiverses. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates, right? Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. You slowly exit hyperspeed transitioning to a speed safer landing and steer closer to the hangar below. Wait. How do you drive slowly to a new reality? I feel like that's an instantaneous transition. Like, can I pull in slowly in parallel park into a multiverse? <laughs> how do I go in? How do I, how do I la la land softly? so many questions we may never have answers to. Everyone knows that, Tomato. All right. You hurry to your ship, but realize you still have some time before you leave. You likely have time to grab one last thing. I can either one, grab a weapon, two, find another crew member, three, grab some extra resources, or leave. <laughs> um, 
A weapon would be meaningless because we don't have the power to use another weapon, really. Uh, a crew member would mean that we have four people, and that means we can have someone manning shields. So we're getting another crew member. Mort. M Morty. Mort. Mort. Okay. All right, Mort. Finally suited up and ready to go. You take a look at your beacon map. Looks like you still have a while until the fleet becomes an immediate threat. So you can spare some time to do something on the ship if you wish. Do something on board the ship. Talk to your crew. Look for orchid crew. What do you want to do with your orchid crew? Talk to them. Your orchid wishes you had higher quality water aboard the ship. You would fucking say that, Archom, you little shit. Always whining. Let's talk, let's talk to a human. Your human is hopeful about this mission. One of the two humans is hopeful. So we can use this to install internal upgrades. Like we can uh, install an arm. You have one arm slot to fill to switch arms. You can disassemble an arm afterwards. We're not doing any of this because we don't have the scrap to do it anyways, but there's a lot of extra stuff you can do uh, if we want. It's cool, a lot of stuff. But for now, we're gonna perform a task and run a salvage mission. You might be able to salvage any space junk in the nearby area. Do you wish to proceed? Send out a randomly assorted team. We'll only be able to do this once per sector. Nice. They got some stuff. They got a missile, some drone parts, and nine more scrap. Is this a mod? Check the title. Check the, the, the title. <laughs> Check the title, please. I can't read. Okay, how'd you type this? <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you type this then, smartass? We're gonna put weapons on, all right? We're activating weapons in the middle of the bay. Okay. Chad, it's time to travel. Where's our new guy? There he is, Mort. All right, Mort, you're gonna man shields. Do your fucking job and do it well or you're fired. All right? You know how easy it would be, Mort, to just... If you drop the ball, Mort, I'd be careful. There's no oxygen on the station. Quiet. <laughs> Quiet, you. We're leaving. There's a store with a distress signal down there next to a supply beacon. We are going to go do that. We're gonna go to this. Actually, we don't really have any scrap. There's no point stopping there. We're gonna do these three and then move in a weaving pattern, I think. I'm double back. I don't have any, I don't really have money. There's no point like. It's time. We've, ta we've taken our first jump into the unknown and we've been met with a rebel, a rebel ship. Immediately, and they have boarding options already. That's not good. You receive a hail from a rebel fighter. I'll have you know I graduated top of my class, and and I hang up. I hung up. <laughs> I hang up on him before he can finish his sentence. He starts turning on his guns. I'm preparing to fight. I have the option to do last-minute checkups while we charge the weapons. We could use that to spend some scrap to quickly convert something into a tool if we wanted but we're fine never mind let's fight i'm going to pause so here's the thing they are absolutely going to run someone and teleport them onto our ship and that is why i am going to uh punish that by getting on the doors because the second they teleport onto the ship i am going to gas them i'm going to just vent them into space there they are and we'll just go ahead and suffocate them now they're going to slowly die in there. <laughs> they warped into a bad part of the ship. I vented them. They are now going to just sadly suffocate and die. There's not much they can do once they get into the unpowered medical bay. I will also just allow that to also vent oxygen. There's not much they can do. And now there's shorter man on their ship. And for the record, the reason these doors are so hard to break and why this is working is because there's someone manning them. If there's no one on the door systems, uh, it can be casually opened by anyone. But if there's someone standing in there, uh, they have to be shot open, which is very good. It's very good for us. So easy peasy. Let this guy slowly suffocate. All right, it's time. 
Our pierce cannons are done. We're gonna use this pierce sh cannon to shoot right through to their shields. It's gonna go straight through their one tier of shield and break their shield. It's broken. We immediately attack their weapons. All right, we beat them. <laughs> they have no weapons, they have no shields, and one of their guys is currently suffocating in our medical bay. Uh, it's over on normal difficulty. We're playing on normal as a warm up. I'll probably turn up the difficulty after, but this game does get hard pretty quick. At last, the rebel ship seems to yield. They offer a surrender. Two fuel, two missiles, and seven scrap. Yeah, but I reckon you're, uh... I reckon if I blow your ship into a million pieces, it'll give me at least 10 scrap. I say, over the fucking phone line. You have a good day now. I hang up. Oh, look, he made it into the doctors. He's destroying the pointless doctors. Oh, he's realized. <laughs> he just noticed. He's, uh, he just noticed now. <laughs> oh, shit. He doesn't even on. He says, panicking. We're going to set these uh, to attack right now because they're dead. Once he's hit, they're dead either way. Let's just watch this poor man suffocate. Sad. Oh, he ran. He went back home. Okay. So he's going to be right there. <laughs> We're going to shoot this one right where he's going to be. All right, he's dead. We killed him. <laughs> he certainly died from those two shots. Oh, what the fuck? We got one less scrap. A shame. Oh, wait, no, no, it was seven scrap they were offering, so we got one more, right? Just before the rebel ship explodes, an escape pod ejects from it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get far before you collect it and bring it on board. You open it and drag out the rebel officer inside. They beg you to let him live. It's him. One less missile, though. It doesn't matter if I don't have missiles. <laughs> don't kill me! <laughs> I'm the psycho. This is the psycho that almost got fucking vented by me. Space him. Nah, chat. We need more people. We need someone on the doors at all times, chat. There's so many people boarding these fucking ships. You know how good it is to have someone always on doors? So that we can just always, always have those locked down. We need one. You're welcome to the... The rebel puts on a facade of gratitude, which is shattered quickly when he pulls out a laser and blasts one of your crew. He shouts rebellion forever before he is shot in return. You drag his lifeless body to the airlock and send him into the endless vacuum of space. Pippa Luck is gone. Fuck that guy, all right? Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I played a little bit of this mod pack chat earlier to test it out. And when I had that happen before, I got a really good guy joining my team that was really strong. It's all random, so you never really know. We're gonna go to this spot before the rebels get here. Huh. A critically damaged civilian carry ship is nearby. Scans show their life support is beyond non-functional and they won't live for long. If we lose another character, we, uh... Restart. Here we go. We're gonna dock and try to save as many as we can. It appears the civilians didn't survive, though whether the lack of oxygen in the explosion was the culprit, you aren't sure. You scrap what little remains of the ship and move on. All right. Is oxygen coming back up? Oxygen's coming up very slowly, but it'll be back soon. All right, let's start getting out of here. The rebels, they're coming, chat. The rebels are coming. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. They must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, I'm gonna destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. They're just pirates. Yeah. You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull, causing the ship to depressurize and break apart. You move in to loot the remains. They're just pirates. They're like nothing. They're like trash. And now we got a new part for our ship. We just got ourselves the repair bot dispersal. These nanobots take ship parts dislodged from hostile vessels and convert it to metal to repair your hull. The more power means more bots are available to convert enemy parts. Not bad. Not bad. We got nano machines. 
Wow, we got a lot of stuff here. But I gotta move sort of quickly. Because the, they, they're coming, chat. They're coming. The rebels. <clears throat> I'd honestly like to move a little bit faster here. Move to this one. You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir. This is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. You get ready for combat. What do you want to do? Activate the repair bots. I don't really need a repair, so I'm not going to do that. All right, let's take a look here. They have, they're just weapons and shields. No, no special utility crap. So this is just a straightforward blast shields and then follow it up right after with a burst. Pathetic. It's going to take a lot more than that. Yeah, what's good? All right, they're dead. <laughs> Uh, first world is always a nice, fun, easy time. It's really just a time to scrape together items before we go into world two and everyone starts killing us in like two hits. So nice and easy piece of cake. The basic starter ships are not much of a problem. Okay, we give up. If your claims that the Federation is such a benevolent force are true, then you must accept our surrender. <laughs> you didn't account for the fact that I'm streaming right now. I say into the microphone. Violently hanging up, ignoring their pleas, and setting both of my cannons on auto fire to the engine so they can't run. It's been a pleasure. Now scrap them. Sixteen scrap. Yeah, it was worth destroying them. It was worth it. All right, perfect. We keep moving. I really want to get to that merchant, but I'm doing the math here on it, chat, and I think if I actually got there, I would never make it back to the exit in time because that merchant's in the most cursed spot in the whole map. I don't think that's happening in a million years. I genuinely don't think there's any way I pull that off. The best thing I can do is a sort of zigzag. Bad math. No, <laughs> I think, uh, I don't think it would math out well. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Hail them. Yes, I like fighting. As you hail the refugee ship, a rebel ship run jumps into the system. You must have been hunting these refugees, but since you're a Federation ship, you've taken higher priority on their list. Everything's fine. We fight as normal. They don't look like they have anything that's scary on them. So we give them the old auto fire on shields, and as soon as the shields are down, we give them the old weapon blast, and it's easy peasy. Bada bing, bada bam. Oh! Fuck you! All right, they shut down the oxygen. Get in there and fix it. They broke weapons enough that now I can't fucking... Can't do my thing. Can't pierce. Let's hit the guns. This is not a joke. You have gone too far. Do you know who I am? I am violent to rebellion. I demand you let me live. No, they won't live to see another day. We really got to get these fucking guns powered back up so I can kill these fuckers. <laughs> All right, everyone on that. Worry about oxygen later. Get the, get the guns powered up. Okay. Yes, kill them. Yes. Yes, shut their weapons down. Kill them. Yes. Yes. I am vital to the rebellion. You can't hurt me. <clears throat> the death of your opponents is rarely as satisfying as when it's a rebel ship. At last, your revenge for all the hell they've caused for your, for your, for the Federation. We got some scrap. And those refugees didn't fucking give me anything. Jackasses. Whatever. Gonna zigzag our way up here. Try to hit everything up in this corner on our way up. An abandoned supply cache drifts through space nearby. It must have been lost during an attack. You aren't sure who it belongs to. You could use it for a trap against a fleet or try your luck with opening it. There's no way you press this and someone doesn't die. If I set a trap, I can spend some more time gathering stuff in this zone. 
I think that might be the best option. I can go the long way. I, it might even do a two-turn delay, and that means I could actually get to the shop. Or I blast it open. Blow it open. As a wise man once said, when you can't be certain, just apply a very large amount of military-grade explosives and pray to the high heavens you don't go up in flames. Your missiles detonate and you go up in flames and you take three damage and nothing else happens and you really fucked up this time, huh, asshole? Okay. Whatever. Whatever! Alright, first round is always gonna be a bit rough. After a short time, you receive a message. Hi, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This region is quite dangerous and our ship is not well armed. Yeah, tell me about it. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Tiny fucking little little nugget. I could kill you in a heartbeat. You'd be dead. Senate transport. He's always part of the Senate. Why, uh, uh very well, sir. Lo of course. Wow, going out of our way like this is going to almost kill us, huh? Better be worth it. Better get paid for this. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer you a reward. 23, that really isn't enough. Oh good, this is a shop. I was worried this wouldn't be a shop because I wanted to get to a shop before we leave. We'll make it to the exit, no problem. Sometimes you can't see shops until you're adjacent to them. I need to heal Mort. A giant orchid trade station with military escort is located at the beacon. You'd hate to be on the bad side of these orchids. Let's dock. As you dock and enter the station, you can't help but notice how silent and calm it is inside. Uh, let's have Artyom request help from the station owners with the fleet. Unbelievably good. The orchid in charge gruffly nods. You must know the implications of what's going up, what going up against the fleet will mean, but it's a sacrifice for the good of the Federation and he's willing. Oh my God. He's bought us some time. Ooh, having a drone control would be really good, but having a crew teleporter would be even better. Because then we can start fucking pumping mantises and just send psychos on every ship to bully everyone. I kinda want the crew teleporter before I never see it again. Buy a crew teleporter, buy two fuel, and fix all of my fucking hull. All right, no, how much is this repair thing worth? A lot. I should be using that more instead of repairing. Upgrades? Chad, I don't need advice on how to play this game, so please don't. Please stop. Please, I don't, I don't want input. I don't need it. Mods, you can feel free to time out people who end up doing that. That wasn't necessarily a problematic one, but uh, you can spare me that. I don't need it, nor do I want it. I've played a lot of this game. I don't need the help. I'd rather figure out anything else I don't get on my own. Thank you. Oxygen back on. Let's get the hell out of here. So they're going to be stalled for two turns. That gives me time to take a bit of a longer roundabout trip here. We're going to go to this distress beacon and then loop around. Hello. Hi. It's me, Senate guy, again. We used our last FTL fuel to jump to this station. They indicate a burnt out husk of debris and warped metal. Uh, as you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. I really don't have the fuel for this, but whatever. You give them the fuel. Okay, thanks. Here's some, I mean, that pays for itself. That pays for the fuel. We'll be okay. We'll stop at that other store probably. Nearby are some Federation fortifications that have been that have taken heavy damage. A couple of workers are nearby trying to patch up the damage. Hail and see if they need any assistance. Any help you could offer would be a lifesaver. We only just barely managed to chase away those damn rebels, and they'll no doubt be returning with reinforcements soon. We're undermanned, and we won't be able to get these repairs done in time. Bye. You apologize and hang up the phone. I'm not leaving anyone behind with them. I'm certainly I don't have the time to stay. Look at how close the rebels are. We literally have to leave. We have to go straight to the exit now. We're not going to make it. And then we're going to have no fuel and we're going to die. <laughs> the ship is flooded with advertisement transmissions from nearby merchants as soon as you arrive. 
I don't want the fucking... I do not want your shit. Leave me alone. I want to attack them, but I can't. I... Chat, I, if I remember correctly, in the warning zones, I'm not technically under attack yet, right? Because I might be able to get to a supply zone and get more fuel. I believe I can go to a supply zone. I don't want to land in a place with warning, is all. You've arrived at a Federation supply depot for the multiverse travelers. Yeah, give me that. I'm also going to attack this fucking explorer, I'm sorry. Attack them, kill them. We need to kill them. We need the, we need the, we need the juice. We need your juice, is all the, the radio turns on. We need your juice. What? We need your juice. And then I start powering up the lasers. Get ready to die. All right, I need your juice. Pathetic, is that all you've got? One gun? Pussy? Yeah, I'll see you later. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, this was sad. This was a sad one. This was a sad one. Some real gunlets over there. That was sad. Hey, yeah, uh, some juice. All right, let's get out of here. It's time to leave. We got some juice. It paid off. You've reached the end of the first step of your journey. However, it appears you aren't alone. The rebel fleet must have sent one of their elites after you. The rebel elite breaks into laughter upon seeing your ship. <laughs> you won't take this insult lightly. Not like you have a choice since their weapons are already firing. They have a boarding thing. Let's see how that pays out for them. Let's get our plant boy on scene. Ooh, the engines. Okay, let's see how long they want to stay in the engines, though. Let's see how long they want to stay in the engines. Not long. <laughs> that was dumb of them. Okay, well, we got him out of engines, and now he's going to be in there panicking. <laughs> moved him into an airlock. Unfortunate that he fell for that. What are you gonna do now, jackass? Oh, that's unfortunate. We missed a lot of shots there. Oh, he's in. Well, since O2's already broken... No, nah, actually, this will be fine. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's trying to get into doors. Oh, fuck! Archum! He's almost dead! Don't panic! Their shields are down, they're basically dead! He ran off. Okay, we got him. We got him. Now, Archim, if you would please get oxygen back online. Oh, I should have deployed repair boss this time. But they're dead. Now they're dead. They are dead. Everything's fine. Man, we need a we need a mantis. We need someone that can fight better. Really badly. Ooh, what's, what's, what's this? What's this? You successfully defeated the elite ship. You now have some time to do something else on the ship. What is that? An energy charger, an 18 scrap. I'd like to see it, but I can't look at it until I'm done with this. Um, I don't have anything to install really because I don't have enough scrap. I need all the scrap I have. Energy charger. I'd rather look at it from here. This energy weapon can charge multiple times, giving additional projectiles required power three, charge time 5.5 seconds, hull damage and ion damage, fire chance 20%. That is pretty good. Uh, I would need more power, but I mean, if we, that's mean. That's a, that's 5.5. It's one base hull and one ion, which means it can really fuck up. If you get two charges, that can that can basically break any system. But I need I need that that could that could circumvent using Pierce, because that could fuck up the shield. Uh, instead of Pierce, I wouldn't need to use Pierce, which means I could free up those. I would still need to upgrade my weapons one time to do it, and I need another power cell. But I could skip using Pierce if I use Charge instead, because I think that would be okay. One shot from that removes two layers of shields. Yeah, which is why I'm thinking it could basically skip the issue with Pierce. And plus, we're going to run into shields later that are green. That Pierce can't go through anyways. That you just have to break through. And this will do a lot more damage to those. So I think that'll end up being the play. 
we can get the weapon part of it upgraded now. Then we'll just need to get a power. We'll just need to spend some money on the power uh, bar. We can either go to Duskbringer Turf or Uncharted Clouds. Chad, I've been to Duskbringer Turf. We don't really want to go in there. But, um, there is a lot. There's green stuff there. It's peaceful stuff. Gets us on a peaceful path. I think we go to Uncharted Clouds, though. I, I'm gonna avoid Duskbringers. You've entered hyperspeed. Your journey to the next sector should hopefully remain uneventful. Dead space, as it's called, is the territory between sectors and is known to be mostly empty. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector, or you can do something aboard the ship first. We can learn about the Atlas, which basically just tells us stuff about the mod. But we're just gonna stick to what we where we're going. We're going to a nebulous sector. Uh, it's not unique. Uh, it's dominant faction is none, rebel threat medium low. The sector remains uncolonized and largely unmapped. Should be a piece of cake. You glance nervously at the sector map. Though the rebels will struggle to track you here, it seems the location of the exit beacon was never specified. You'll have to do some exploring until you're adjacent to it for the computer to recognize it. Fuck. Okay, let's salvage. Your crew stumble upon an abandoned minefield, certainly dubious, but also a potential source of large amounts of ammo and scrap. However, it's risky for the crew. What's the worst that could happen? With a large amount of grace, your crew managed to drift through the field without setting off any explosives. Disarming as many as they can, they bring back an impressive haul. And that's enough for us to get a power bar, which means we can switch to charge. Look at that cannon. Oh yeah. I like the fire chance. You know what I actually think is the best part about this? That fire chance. Fire is fucking, wow, that's a lot of nebula. That's actually cursed, Amon Nebula. Chat, because we don't know where the exit is, I can't really waste time here. I can waste time once I'm here, but I can't stop at this distress signal. I, fu I fundamentally don't have the time. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Attack them and kill them. They have a cloning bay and a, and a, uh, a fucking thing. We're gonna activate the repair bots. I want to see what this does, mainly. How much hull would you like to repair? Okay, that's really cool, but I'm going to need to pump more points into power bar, evidently, is what I'm going to need. We're not going to do any of this on this fight, but um, evidently, I should pump an insane amount of juice into my repair bar bot skill because that's ridiculous. That's huge. If we just get like eight, if we just get spend like fucking uh, 80 scrap, we can get eight hull every fight. That's gonna pay for itself. That's good. That's gonna be huge later. I thought it used scrap. No, it uses reactor power. It gets scrap from the enemy ship when you destroy it. But I think we got a pump of bars. Let's fight. Now it does suck that we can't see anything, but once this guy boards, I'm gonna be able to see his damage. Ah, he's in there. Okay. We're gonna just have to go kill him then. Uh, yeah, let's just jump to him and fucking kill him really quick. He'll leave very quickly. Okay, we're gonna wait for two charges. And now, just blast shields. And then kill it. Okay, shields is down. That guy left or is dead. He's dead. They have a cloning bay. We're gonna take a lot of damage during this fight. That's just... The unfortunate reality of this fucking zone. Oh, I hate these places, dude. Especially when shields go down. You overhear the rebel captain giving orders to his crew. Damn this! Redirect as much power as we as necessary to the engines. We need to get out of here. I also need to turn off auto fire because we want to be shooting at that. Yeah, we're gonna get crunched on this one, but this is a this is a shitty fight. It's fine. We're gonna stop this guy from running. God, they also have a lot of guns. You know, we're actually going to accept their surrender because I want that fuel. And we were getting fucked by them there. Uh, 
We need to. There's a fire. God, nebulas suck. I shouldn't have gone here. I should have gone to the fucking dusk bringers. There's fire and oxygen. I'm just gonna let that clear out. The plant can sustain himself on his own oxygen supply. So he'll be okay for a minute. That's not very urgent, but we're not in a huge rush now. Get everyone healed, and then we can keep repairing. Plant Chan is so hurt. Plant Chan is not a good fighter, but they're a good distraction. I usually send them in to fight because they've got a lot of health. I mean, technically someone else should be fighting because they get a health buff from being near Artyom, but sometimes they just don't do it. Sometimes the order of attacks, you know. You know. Yeah, chat, read the mods messages. Reminder not to give me tips. I don't want them. So, quiet, you. Quiet. I don't want your help. Nor am I interested in it. The charge weapon worked well, though. I don't think it was the problem with the charge weapon that that was rough. These guys just had a very strong ship. But we do need to start... Investing in those power bars because I'm gonna start using those fucking repair things All right, we're dealing with ships basically everywhere anyways, we're just gonna bum rush it to the end of the map and go from there A vagabond usually get the vagabond usually gets their ships by stealing them from their victims But if they encounter an already abandoned ship, they'll happily inhabit it whichever way They inherited this ship doesn't matter because it's hostile and moves into attack. It's a fucking they don't have a real shield. We break through that thing and they're dead instantly. I'm gonna activate repair bots for one reactor power, which will repair me for two hull. Which is fine, because we're not using that reactor power for anything. We're just gonna instantly start blasting their weapons with everything as soon as it's ready. It doesn't matter which attacks. Actually, I think it might matter. This ion thing might... Yeah, that's gonna do the most damage. We'll let that keep doing its thing. Punch through those first. Oh, it's coming! That wasn't that bad. But did they just break a hole in the hole? Yeah. Damn it. I was hoping that wouldn't miss. We'll auto fire those. They're, they're fucked. They're, they're done. This isn't a real ship. This is a pathetic loser ship. The energy gun's good. Don't get me wrong. I think the energy gun's really good. That's gonna end up doing some really good stuff if I can handle it properly and remember to do it right. That shit's good. I think that'll end up being the MVP of this whole deal. But for now, I'm gonna get another power bar. <laughs> We're gonna want those power bars. I'm guessing I get that power bar that I did use back when I um, jumped se sectors. Yes. There may not be sound in space, but the flashing from deep in the nebula suggests a battle is being raged, but you aren't sure by whom. Get in there. Some hive ship. A mantis vessel stands victorious over its rival, a fellow mantis ship. They aren't one to pass up another fight, so they immediately lock onto you and attack. Well, they're not very scary, because I don't see more than one weapon on them, and they don't have a boarding system. So, uh, they're kind of a not good ship. Why does this mantis... Hive Predator not have a, like, boarding system. They're fucked. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, I saw a mantis and I started sweating because I was like, we have three people and they're going to board two mantises onto the ship and kill us all. Oh, repair bot. This repair bot thing is crazy, chat. Spent two reactor power to repair me for a hull. Oh my god. That is busted. Yo. We need to keep pumping power for now. That is insane. Well, these guys are fucking dead. Just auto, I think we just auto attack charge always on shield and just use guns, like use the burst thing on everything else. Cause I'm pretty sure the ion thing lasts long enough that they'll, ooh, we intercepted that. Yo, this is good shit. Yeah, this, this charge thing, just have it always auto attacking the shields and fucking it up like forever. It shoots fast enough that they're... Dude! 
It shoots fast enough that their shields, if they're below one tier shield, if they only have a one tier shield, it's never gonna be up in time before the next shot happens. It'll, they'll never have shields. I, I basically just permanently disable shields. And I could hold it for longer if their shields were larger. I could do it every two charges to guarantee it on a higher tier shield. Yes. 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 Their weapons are down. There's nothing they can do. And they repaired those weapons fast, though. Look at that. Irrelevant. Goodbye. Sad, truly. Lots of scrap. Ooh! The Mantis ship is in poor condition, but it appears one of their crew survived. You avenge me and prove good warrior. I fight along you for glory. Welcome to the crew, Will, otherwise known as, for now, Shield Guy. You will eventually be our boarding party, Will. Once I get one more power bar, which I'm actually just going to get right now. Now seems like a good time. This power bar is going to be for boarding, Will. We're going to let Will die. It's going to be really sad. I'm not very good at boarding. But having having a mantis, ha getting a free mantis to let Will get out there and do his thing. Sounds pretty good to me. We got a distress signal here. Let's go check it out. Through the clearing in the nebula, you can see a large water planet from which there appears to be 10 separate distress calls. A large cubicle structure can be seen from the planet's surface. It's inactive, but you can't tell what it is from this distance. 10 distress calls? Pull closer. It appears that all of the distress beacons are originating from the same area, a large crater with a massive shipwreck. The structure you noticed earlier begins to unfold, revealing itself to be a large gun. You won't have much time until it starts firing on you, so you have to pull away now if you want to avoid damage. Well, I'm getting a lot of repairs for free from my thing, and it looks like we've just found Subnautica. I'm going in. Seven damage is not ideal. While the giant cannon charges, you investigate the wreck. It's huge, probably the size of one of the rebel fleet ships, if not a little bigger. Suddenly a giant beam fires from the structure tearing through the ship's engines. We got someone, it was worth it. It's quite the scratch, but you'll be able to fix it. Hell yeah, we will. You find a crashed life pod with an engineer inside, surprisingly still alive. Once they're stabilized, you figure out, you figure you might be, you might as well investigate the area while you wait. Let's investigate the crash site. A gigantic Leviathan-class creature patrols the waters around the wreckage, but you're able to sneak around it. Though most of the ship is on fire, you find lots of random fire extinguishers lying around, a tablet-like device with sector maps, and a hangar bay with some mech suits. I want the scrap. <laughs> Dude, you gotta play Subnautica! And then I just go like, nah, just tear all this crap apart and put it in the box. Just tear it all apart and put it in the box. Riley is a very good repairman. He's gonna be in shields. That's gonna be Riley's job. Good shit, Riley. Good shit. The shields always goes down. Shields and weapons. So Riley being around will be good for us. And that means that now Will has no reason to not be an agent of kill. All right. We don't know where the exit is yet, so I can't stop here. We want to go, like, down this line right here till we find the exit now. Without active sensors, you have no option but to look out of the viewports in apprehension. It's eerily quiet. Do something on board the ship. Have we ran a salvage machine yet? Yes. You technically lay a trap for the fleet, but we need to use 13 of our missiles, which isn't happening. We could also repair by using 18 scrap, which would give... Yeah, no, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing with the repair bots. Uh, we're not going to do anything here. The exit is nowhere around. An ion storm is simply not something I'm willing to deal with. We're going to take this distress call, and this is one of the, this one of these two is the exit. One of the, actually, one of these three. You know the, ex, uh, uh, the distress call here. 
A civilian ship desperately hails you. The space gas. Gas too thick. Oxygen systems damaged. Too much gas. There's just too much gas. Uh, last time I teleported someone onto the ship, they fucking killed my guy. But, chat, but I'm a good person and Will is in the teleporter bay. I, if I was a person that wanted to do damage to a ship and I had a mantis meet me at the door, I'd be like, eh, maybe a different one. Maybe wait till he's not here. Only one life signature is detected on board, but you beam them back with your teleporter. The civilian explains that an encounter with a pirate led to a breach in their life support and a technical malfunction. Nebulous gases were sucked into the ship and the crew all suffocated. Now that they are the only survivor and their ship is worthless, they offer to work aboard yours. Malat. Malort. <laughs> no, no, no. What's your deal, Malort? These telepathic slugs were shunned in the Galactic Federation for their constant thievery and attempts at manipulation. Telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. Immune to mind control. Good shit. You know what that means, Malot? You're on door duty. You're gonna man doors. You're doorman. You're gonna man the door since no one can ever get you out of doors with confusion. And then you just seal people in the boxes that where they belong so I can slowly gas them. Perfect. I found chat that the confusion mind control thing never does enough damage when an enemy does it to you to really make me change, like shift my tactics other than just saying, okay, shoot the mind control thing and cancel it. So like the real thing I need to do when it comes to them is keep them where they're bad. You know what I mean? So if someone gets mind controlled here, what I don't want, I'd prefer Riley shoots the shields then walks into this room and shoots Mort Raven. You know what I mean? That's like ideal. So having someone on doors now is is the best option for me. Rock store. Okay, we're starting to run out of exits. Uh, it's gotta be one of these two then. I'm guessing it's this. Whoa. Uh, whoa. It looks scary and big, but it only has one gun. The station here looks to be a rock mission. These pop up from time to time and try to convert other species to the rock religion. They're also usually accompanied by a market, but you aren't sure what they might expect from you in return. Can I kill rock boys? Do I like rocks? Chat. They don't have drones. They don't even have an engine. They are just shields, weapons, and a teleporter. Target, 13. No, that's 13 hull, not 13 targets. That's 13 hull health, which isn't that much in the grand scheme. The main thing would be how large is their fucking teleport bay? Okay. How large is their teleport bay? How many people can they teleport? I'm guessing two. Uh, I haven't seen anything larger than two. They have a lot of health, so suffocating them might take a while depending on where they go to. But if they don't teleport into the weapons or shield section, we can just kill them and then gas everyone else out of the ship. If they send four people onto the ship, we are in a lot of trouble. But if we do enough damage to their ship while they're trying to get us, we can probably scare them back onto theirs if we don't destroy their fucking teleporter. I want the money. Activate weapons. There's only three of them. There's no way they'd send all three. There's little more more there's little moral quandary here, for rock fanatics are feared across the galaxy for their brutal methods. You're only helping make this galaxy a safer place. Activate the repair bots. Use two reactor points to get us a bit more hull. What, okay, oxygen boy's running for it. He's running for the teleporters. He's going for it. This fu look at this fucking guy. Let's see if he gets here in time. Hmm. 
Let's hold off on this for a second. I might be able to interrupt him. Fuck you! Fuck you, asshole! Pussy! <laughs> Get fucked, alright? Yeah, that's right! What are you gonna do now? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Look at how mad he is! Yeah, yeah, what's good? They broke my engines, but the engines are the least important thing on this ship for me. Uh, they've also stunned our shields with an ion cannon, but that's okay. Because we're about to deal with that. They're both repairing the, the... Everyone's doing it now, that's good. Shut down their guns. We don't need those active anymore. How's everything else doing? What's that sound? Is that them repairing the fucking weapons? We're not gonna let them do that. We're not gonna let them do that. Oh, they did it. Oh, they uh, teleported to a really not ideal one for them. Uh, we can work with this. They're hitting cameras. Uh, those don't really matter. Uh, let's just keep breaking everything else of theirs. Break their weapons, break their shields. Oh, I didn't actually open the auction. Okay, we're just gonna avoid them. They're gonna break useless shit while we break their whole base, and then maybe they'll just head home. It's not really much they can do. Leave this stuff closed. They're probably gonna leave. They're going to oxygen now. We're just gonna have people avoid them. And, uh... Just sort of quietly ignore them for now. Go home. You guys need... Their system's suffering. The rock ship attempts to make contact. Alien vessel, cease your attack. We will pay. One missile. No. no. All right, they went home. All right. To get to repairing. Who's our good repair guy? Actually, Will does not need to be repairing. He's... That's worthless. Wait. Yeah, there they go. What'd I get for this? Good, worth it. I didn't take that much hull damage. I didn't take more than I gained. Uh, Malot. Repair that. You repair fucking that. We already have a guy that's at maximum repair. Actually, might as well farm some repair while we're here. So, more. if you could repair these worthless things, you can get your repair up. Weapons and shields should have very high repair speed, so... Might as well help them get that with these freebies. That was easy. That wasn't that bad. Easy. Good shit, Mort. Mort's already 100% weapon skill. Not bad, Mort. Not bad. All right. Uh, I'm going to get these guys in their positions and lock them there. Make sure that they're, like, not going to be confused. We need a confusion. We need, like, a mind control thing now. That's what we fucking need. And there's the exit. Which means now we can do some fucking around. You jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a pla- I forgot this was a plasma storm. I'm fucked. The, I, I did not read this was a plasma storm. I fucked up. Oops. We don't have any reactor power because of this. And we have a cloaking ship. We're gonna have to ration oxygen during this. Good news is, uh, fucking Archeon produces oxygen. A small amount. And we need to get rid of the cloaker. Shields is down, we need to break the cloak. Okay, their cloak is broken. Aim for their shields and weapons. We gotta do this quick. They've got mostly laser weapons, so it's not that bad. We're just sort of on a race against the oxygen, because I don't have enough charge to hold all my stuff up. But I think we'll be okay. The auto ship appears to be trying to escape. They might be cheap to roll out, but the Valium would prefer the, they weren't destroyed except when absolutely necessary. Yeah, we're not gonna let them leave. We're gonna try to keep that from happening. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. 
Uh, this is an automated message. You are to cease attacking this auto drone. In return, it will dispense a section of its cargo. Mmm. Mmm. The thing is, though, the thing is, I kind of need the fuel. But it's not a bad deal. We'll probably not get much better from killing them. Frankly. Uh, sure. Sure. Real quick. Uh, I'd like Archeon to heal. Oh, they died anyways. Sad. <laughs> Sad. Yikes. Kind of pathetic. Really? All right. Uh, turn back on oxygen now and engines and get us the hell out of here. We can hit uh, a good couple of these spots before the rebels are here. We delay them a lot. Fire damage, yeah. Your crew is are constantly looking out the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan of the ship. The tension is almost palpable. Uh, let's talk to our crew. How's the mantises doing? Hey, how you doing? Your mantis thinks of you as a friend. Friendship in their mind is determined by how many enemies you kill together. Th thanks, Will. What about the slugs? How are the slugs doing? Your slug wishes you would visit more nebula sectors. I a lot. I don't know what to tell you. We're here right now. What is this? The onboard lab can be used to install upgrades for your crew at empty beacons. You can install the lab for free with a level two med bay. Otherwise, you must use additional resources. Feels like I might as well just level up the med bay. Overspend that. Right? Yeah. Why wouldn't I just do that? I mean, look, here's the thing right now. Here's the thing right now. Wow, what's up with the... Look at the end, the final tier of the fucking teleporter. Why does that say 99? That's gotta be like a bug. Yeah, like the last tier shouldn't even exist. It goes back up to 20 seconds. That's a bug. Honestly, with how much... With how prevalent boarding is, it really does feel like we need a better door system. But I think I want more power bars. I really want to get the max level of the uh, thing. Like, genuinely. I think that's the best thing I can do right now. I'm just going to slowly start getting closer to that. Because if I can get to the max level of the repaired bots, we will be very well off. Uh, Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a lot of time. We can, go all, we can do this one first and do all four of these. You can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding your ship without knowing what's out there. All you can do is wait for your FTL to charge. There's not much out here at all. I'm sort of burning uh, fuel doing all this. You may, you may, there may not be sound in space. All right, we got another fight. A ghost vessel stands victorious over its rival, a slug ship. <gasps> they aren't one to pass up another fight, so they immediately lock onto you and attack. Big mistake. Uh, so we need to make sure we toss two bars. So that means we have four, right? Yeah, we'll have four. If we put our points in the shield so we can repair eight hull. That is ridiculous. Holy shit. That is absurd. That is ridiculous. Eight fucking hull every fight for four bars which we've pumped for free. Well, it's not free because we're using the bars. That's, oh my God. What are those things? What are those like sort of goopy things in there? I see something in there. They look like spirits or something. What is that? What is that thing? Whatever, let's fucking start breaking the shields. Ow. Okay, we gotta break their weapons too. Let's hold this for a second. Make sure burst is up so I can break the weapons. Cause their shield is gonna come up. There we go. That's better. There we go. Wait. Yeah. 
Damn it, they missed. Wow, lots of misses. Really embarrassing. We keep their shields fucked as much as we can. This mod is rad. It really fucking is. I want to keep their shields fucked and just keep hitting their fucking guns whenever... Yeah, that's ridiculous, dude. Just keep your fucking ion cannon thing, the charge cannon, aimed at their guns. And either you're knocking their shields down the whole time or you're knocking their guns down. And I, like, it doesn't matter. You're all something. They're always going to be super disoriented and fucked the whole time. That's crazy. God run already? No, no, no. Stupendous. Our ship may be doomed, but at least I have the satisfaction of witnessing the culprit's death. You have money, yes? Good. Then I shall work for you instead. Slug ship. Slug ship. Slug ship. Elizabeth. You're on cameras. We don't really need it because you already have the fucking... Hang on, how good... Guys, how could you reckon that Elizabeth would be aborting ships and killing people? Elizabeth, you think you could kill people, Elizabeth? Probably not. <laughs> you're probably not very good at killing. <laughs> I'd reckon you're probably one of the worst at killing. We need to start... Look, fucking poor Will has been frothing at the mouth for a fight. We gotta get him on a ship. We need one more power bar and we can start doing that. Let's try to hit the last of these spots. A coalition ship exploring this nebula has found you. It attacks. Uh-oh. That's some scary stuff in there. And the cloner. <laughs> Let's all just calm down. There's no eight, eight, eight hull points immediately. Fuck you. Go ahead, send someone. Oh, Jesus. We need immediate backup. They're gonna destroy the fucking helm, but we're gonna have to move people up. We already know they're in there. Everyone else that can, move up. No, don't go in, Will. We're gonna wait for them to come out. We're gonna have to let them destroy the steering wheel. I don't really wanna take a bunch of un... Well, let's let this stuff charge. I'm about to kill them. I'm about to fuck them up. Or we're gonna miss. Oh, their guns are down. They're gonna start panicking in a second. I just... I don't really like going... Chav, I can choose to just let them destroy, like, a fucking random piece of the equipment. I'd rather that if it's, like, the steering wheel or something. Because I don't really rely on dodges most of the time for my stuff, if you know what I mean. I'd rather just stall them and just have people ready to intercept them if they get out of it. Because they're probably going to run before it matters, if you know what I mean. But that crystal guy's kind of spooking me. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep pelting weapons. Yep, here they are. Keep an eye on everyone's health. Oh my god, these mantises are crazy. All right, let's let, let, we're just gonna let them get stalled by the doors. And when they get to here, they're gonna fucking realize there's no oxygen for them to breathe. All right, that's what we'll do. They'll get to there and realize there's no oxygen for them to breathe. Everyone go back to their positions except for O. Williams, who is going to leave. By the time they get to the doors, they'll realize there's nothing left for them. Sad. Yeah, they're, they should, okay. Guys, leave. You guys should go. <laughs> you guys should leave now. All right, well, uh, they're going in that way, so I'm going to grab you two and move you back here for a second. Oh, they got in, huh? Oh! What the fuck is that? What'd they just do? Riley! Now I'm definitely spacing these pieces of shit. Fuck you! Suffocate and die! Slowly. 
I was unaware that was something these guys could do. I need to get stronger doors. God. Fuck you. I just want to see him suffocate. Does he even breathe? <laughs> Do you even breathe, man? All right, Will. He's dead. Fuck you. To be honest, guys, the ship was getting pretty crowded anyways. It's probably for the best that he's fucking dead. Can we get uh can we get the people that are damaged into the medical wing? Ship was getting kind of crowded. Goodbye, Riley. They didn't even destroy most of the stuff because of the oxygen. What did Riley do again? With shields? Well, that's fine. We had a spare slug. <laughs> Welcome to the shield team, Elizabeth. We had a spare slug. We don't need the cameras on because we, we can sense them with our souls. We don't, we didn't need him. We didn't, guys, don't cry about Riley. Remember all the good times instead. Be happy. Why does it look like the slugs are playing rock, paper, scissors with each other? Because they can in their minds because they're telepathic. The doy. You know, here's the funny thing, chat. Riley might have died, but he only died because of an ability I didn't know existed. Are we barely took any damage? We're doing okay. I'm gonna go to that spot before we leave. You discovered the exit beacon out of the sector. Once the FTL drive is charged, you'll be able to leave this sector. Let's explore the area. You've prepared for and experienced all kinds of situations in the Federation, but nothing startles you as much as a, the ghost-populated vagabond wrecks that are always oozing out from these clouds. Uh, well, let's see here. We have 25 out of 30. We're gonna spend two reactor points to, uh, yeah. There's no point having anyone bored because there's no oxygen on that fucking ship. We can't charge our weapons, though, while they're stealthing. So that's the first thing we're gonna hit. They don't have shields. Oh, boy. What was that? Oh, a bunch of garbage. That's fine. Let's just... We just need to break their weapons. There we go. Ow! Elizabeth, no! Kill them! Kill them for what they did! To Elizabeth! Nice. Cool, cool. Hey, Malot, get to fucking work over there, yeah? We have a lot of scrap chat. When we get to another shop in the year 2045, because this game, these, these multiverse games last a lot longer than base uh, FTL from my experience so far. When we get to another shop someday, we'll be able to spend some of this scrap. I have time. I'm going for it. Uh, the yellow ship at the beacon. I should have healed Elizabeth, but she'll be fine. The yellow ship at this beacon startles you and you realize it's a slug elite. You assume it must be lost being so far away from a nebula. Hey, we got slugs. You need help? The slugs reluctantly return your hails and tell you that they ran out of fuel while chasing a criminal and are now stuck. We have fuel. That pays for itself again. Now, we don't have much fuel, but we'll be fine. Because I think we're going to a friendly zone next. Or at least I fucking hope we are. Yikes. Well, if I had to choose, I would probably go to the pirates. Fighting is easy for me. In the grand scheme, fighting's the good part. We can make a lot of money out of fighting. I'm going to the pirates. I don't like nebulous. <laughs> You've entered hyperspeed. Not to be confused with multiverse travel. Hyperspeed is merely the process of traveling from one system to system or sector to sector. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed blah 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 blah. We're going to the pirate zone. There's a medium threat level. Hostile. Pirate space is no safe spot for any ship. Fortunately, you should have a little guilt picking off this sector's inhabitants, considering they'll be just as willing to do the same to you. This somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets. Yeah. 
You are immediately greeted by the guard. Greetings, friends! Welcome to our sector! I'm sure you're aware by now that there is a fee for entry. Yeah, nah! Now, what do you have? A boarding thing? No? Just weapons? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, two reactor points to fully repair my hull. Two weapons and a bunch of fucking worms in your ship, huh? Well, I need to hold this charge gun. So I can shoot it when burst comes out. You know, it would be really fucked up if I let Will board right now. Wouldn't it? It'd be really fucked up if I sent Will what right into the ding dang weapon zone and killed this fucking guy. Kill that fucking Zoltan. Oh, they're sending their buddies. That's fine. Use this time. Okay, we'll come back. Oh, we can't send it back yet. I forgot there's a timer on that. They're gonna chase me around Stalem. Stalem, Will. Make him chase you around. Yeah, Will. Make him chase you. <laughs> we'll run around and confuse him. Which guy is this guy? That's the plant one. Will can do some damage to that guy. God damn it, we missed so many shots. I will skedaddle! How do I get him back? Wait, how do I get Will back? Oh, I gotta target the room. There we go. I forgot, I, I don't usually use borders. I rarely use borders. We need to heal him before. Oh, we actually don't need to take any power from it. I rarely use boarding. But, uh, yeah, these guys don't stand a fucking chance. This is just, like, sad. They don't have enough firepower. There's just no way. They don't have enough firepower, and we have way too much, like, just self-healing and sustain. The charge weapon is ridiculous. Just focus weapons now and just keep punching into them. Yeah, they're fucked. You catch chatter on the other ship mentioning something about a signal requesting for ASB backup. Looks like we might have another hazard to worry about. That is really, really, really bad. Um, we need to kill these guys quickly. We need to destroy their shield. Yeah, let's get them. Yes. Okay, we gotta hold the charge. Because they're repairing the shields. Wow, look at them all over there. So they're currently shooting cannons at us from the planet. Those are gonna do some damage. Plant Boy, can you please repair the oxygen? There we go. And the, these guys are fucking really annoying. Ugh! It's fine, everything's fine. Will, if you would also help out with that, that would be ideal. Everything's fine, no one panic. They're basically dead. Repair the gigantic gaping hole and get yourselves healed. Let's get the fuck out of here. You have defeated the pirate guard. Whatever might have been in their cargo has for certain been destroyed, but you can at least salvage some supplies from the ship. Now we can do something on board. I'm going to tell them to salvage. You, your, crew, your crew find little value disappointing they return to the ship. Okay, it's time to leave because they're going to keep firing at us chat this whole time. Uh, we need to get someone on the wheel. Once they're healed, we have to leave. Like, we have to leave. Will you keep healing? Is everyone else, like, hurt? Who's hurt? Herco heal. We need to leave. Oxygen is not powered, but that's because that was deliberate. Uh, depower the stuff. I need to depower for repairs before we put anything else in. Everyone healing? Oh, yeah, I need to keep oxygen off for one more second. We need to leave. Oh, it looks like the ASB has stopped. Sometimes they fire after, like, the fight's over. But this time they didn't, which is good. Okay. Stores under this chat. We're about to make a lot of money. Chat, we're about to get some good stuff. And then we can start upgrading our ship. I've been stalling on it because I wanted to see what the next shop I got to would have. A distress beacon appears to be originating from a small civilian run market under attack from pirates. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. Repair bots. Activate. Four hull points. Heal. Activate. Put the rest of our power. Mm. I want another Mantis. I don't really want to board until I have another boarding friend for Will. Or he's just going to get his shit kicked in. He's alone out there. So for now, we're just going to 
do our thing. Get back on shields. I need to save these positions. There we go. We're just gonna do our thing. And punch through these guys' fucking shields in one big blast in one more second. Here we go. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. Yeah, fuck you! Now we start keeping that shield down all the time! Hold it. Bop. Bop, bop. We really need better, we need a better, like, attack weapon, though. That's for sure. These guys don't really do any damage, though. They're just ion, huh? Not really able to do much. Which is sort of sad. Kind of sad for them. Can't do much. <laughs> They're just kind of screaming and flailing at us. They don't really have much to do. They're dead. <laughs> that was sad. I've saved the traitors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Buy some fuel, for starters. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Tracking flares. Deploys an array of tracking flares that permanently reveal the enemy ship, disabling the cloaking system. Nah. Fuel conserver is really good. That might be worth buying. Let's see, we got a heavy laser Mark II, an upgraded heavy laser that fires an additional projectile. Required power charge time, 13 shots per charge. Base hull damage, that's huge. That might be it. Pegasus burst missiles fire multiple low damage warheads. I don't really like. I, I kind of. That heavy could be really good. And I could buy another Mantis while I'm here too. I'm not big into missiles, chat. Even though I have 29 of them, I know. If I get it for free, that's a different story. But I think I might buy the heavy. We're gonna buy the heavy cannon. We're gonna buy Philip Mello. So we have another fucking mantis to help board with. Mm, now nah, we're not gonna buy the fuel conserver. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna, we're gonna be fine. All right, new mantis meat. We got two mantises on board for boarding now. Let's take a look at this heavy gun. Now we're gonna need a. Uh... Gonna do some math here. Shots per charge, two. Base hold damage, one. Base hold damage, two. This is just an object. This is so much better than the burst, but we need one more point in our fucking weapons to use it. Because I want it with. If we get that working with charge, it's over. It's over. There, I don't know how the fuck anything is gonna survive that much damage. If we get like a full blast of three charge. Oh my God. How much am I gonna need to get another weapon tier? 60. I could probably sell the burst once I'm done, but I can definitely sell the piercer. We're not using the pierce anymore. We can sell the pierce. I think I saw the pierce for sure. We're not going to use the pierce anymore. Yeah. Wish I could sell my missiles. And that gets me enough to upgrade the ship's guns. Which then means we'll be good to use that heavy cannon if I don't need to repair too much and I get one more power bar and we'll be double good. Easy peasy. Let's go to this possible ship selling Pierce. This is uh this is a real fucking shame, isn't it? <laughs> this uh this is this is really fucked up. But you know what? Here's the thing, chat. I can't see what any of these things are, so I wouldn't buy them anyways. I can't see what their stats are. So why I wouldn't invest in that? That's insane. We've already salvaged. You know what, let's, uh, these pirate guys are going to be good money and scrap for me. So you know what I might do since I got all these missiles? Let's, let's delay the, uh, let's delay the fleet a little bit and get ourselves some fucking stuff. Let's get some exploring done. 
Not too far from the beacon, you detect a destroyed cargo ship with its cargo scattered nearby. Let's run a scan on the boxes. Your advanced sensors pick up faint life signatures inside the cargo. Life forms appear to be armed. This looks like a plant pirate ambush. Let's destroy the crates. Bringing a pirate outrider directly to our location, exactly as I hoped. Yes. We are going to spend one re reactor power to repair ourselves back to full. Okay, okay. We're going to deactivate the burst and activate the heavy beam. As soon as they show themselves, the fight begins. Yes. Yes. We're gonna do some damage here. Okay, uh, Slug. Can you two please repair that before it becomes a problem? We just need another charge up and then everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna let this charge shoot. As soon as it does, Bazongus eats shit. It's over. The scans show the pirate ship is trying to escape, destroy it before they can get away. Yes. Yes, I don't think. Oh, they're going to cloak, huh? That's cute. Uh, we're not going to let them do that again. Oh, my engines! We missed every shot. That's actually a fucking real shame. They might actually get away because of that. Can you guys move? Oh, there we go. I was paused. Okay, turn off auto fire for a minute. I need to time this right. We need to wait for the heavy to be up, or we need multiple charges. Fuck! Fuck you guys! Damn it! That's the funny part. I don't lose anything from them getting away, but the fact that we missed was really unfortunate because that's the only reason they lived. We missed like both. We missed every shot of like five shots in a row. Eh. Our hearts were in it, and it showed us how powerful our guns currently are, which is good. I wouldn't mind having one more. I wouldn't mind having the burst up too, considering how cheap the burst is. The burst feels just like free. The burst would be good for getting rid of utility uh, stations. I wouldn't mind having it. But I think the next thing we need to invest in is better shields, obviously. As good as this repair is, enemies are starting to crunch us. They're starting to crunch us. I think we need to invest in shields before it's too late. I usually fucking procrastinate in that stuff way too long, and then I die. Uh, that's a trick. I don't want to go that way. I'll have to double back. So we go here. What about teleport? We can definitely start using that. A slaver ship hails you directly, soliciting slaves for fair prices. Only 35 scrap for a brand new worker. What a steal of a deal. You'd have to be an idiot not to take this offer while it lasts. Slug, check their brains. This whole thing is a scam. We're going to kill them. And then they'll give us a slave for free, which we will then free. Easy peasy. Let's repair two hull points for now. All right, we got two rock boys. That's not, I'm not gonna board for two rock boys. Especially when they only have one shield. This is gonna be one of those like sort of sad fights. Get ready, here it comes. Yes. Yes. All right, blast him. And blast him. The guns are completely destroyed. They have no hopes, they have no dreams. They've destroyed my fucking shield section. Uh, let's uh, start disabling that. I'm not letting these fuckers run again. I'll tell you that right now. We surrender! Take one of our slaves as tribute! If you destroy us, they'll die anyways! Kicks? An NG? Mmm, I could use a repair guy. But I could also use your scrap and flesh. You can find scrap anywhere, bro. Yes, but if I made more scrap, I could simply purchase another employee.
Engie give extra power? No, you're thinking of Zoltans. Idiot. Stupid. You're thinking of Zoltans. They give extra power. Or it might not even be Zoltans. It's a different one. It's definitely not NG. <laughs> NG repair faster, which you could see if you read the description of the NG. Look, all I know is that this is chat. Look, okay, here's the thing. Fuck, kicks would be, it would be good to have a good, like a better repair guy. For sure, for sure. And once we get this guy, we're gonna be full. Or we might have one more slot for another employee. Okay, if we need to get rid of someone, it's gonna be Elizabeth. We gotta get them out of there. Fuck it. All right, Kix. So here's the deal. Okay? You're gonna do basically whatever. All right? You're gonna be a roving repair guy. That is your job. Actually, wait, no it isn't. Your job is shields now. Elizabeth, you're fired! Go to the fucking camera room like a fucking good intern until we eventually dispose of you. You're worthless now. There's no value with having you on the team. I'd rather have a faster guy in shields. Streamer's mean. You know I'm right. That's the problem, chat. You fucking know I'm right. You know for sure that I'm right. Ooh, more slaver scum. You recognize a ship as a well-known slave trader. Well, let's attack them. They're gonna try to board my ship, which will be a terrible idea. <laughs> Activate the repair bots, repair two hull. All right, they're gonna try to board. We are gonna counter board as soon as they've boarded us. We are going to board them as well and destroy all their shit while they destroy our shit. We're gonna do a ship swap. Yes. Wait, who are they sending? Wait, the plan has been canceled. All right, you two fucking kill this idiot. Yes, yes, you two, Philippe and Will, kill the plant. Yes, <laughs> they don't stand a fucking chance. All right, destroy the shields and kill them. Yeah, that's uh, it's over for them over there. And they're dead. Get healing up. Oh, we have enough power bar for all of it. Whoa, 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 wee wow. You know, it could be worse. Is that guy coming to board us? Steven Dangler? Steven, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. That's what I thought, Steven. Hey, Steven, eat my cock. Steven, big mistake climbing in that room, idiot. Dude, this cannon does so much fucking damage. We surrender, take one of our slaves as tribute. Gezra with the hundred gifted subs, Gezra. Oh my God. Gezra, thank you so much. Holy shit. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Gezra. That's a lot of money to give to me. I appreciate it. Dodge, dodge, I dodged it. Dodge, LOL. <laughs> Thanks, Gezra. Holy hell. That's awfully kind. <laughs> so chat, here's the thing. It's just a human. <laughs> They say, hey, we got humans, we'll give you a human, and all they hear on the other line is, wait, that's it? <laughs> uh, not interested in I hang up. You're gonna have to give me something better. I take a rock guy, I go back on the line. Give me the rock guy. What? Give me the rock guy in your teleport bay. Uh, give me the rock guy. He's the one I want. Give me the rock guy. You got any rock guys? The rock guy would be good. I'd like a guy that can put out fires, but uh, not for him. Surrender is not an option. Sorry, Steven. St oh, Steven, are you healing? 
Psych. <laughs> Fuck you, Steven. You chose the wrong side, Steven. Yeah, burn! And you, Sam. All right, 41 scrap. Yeah, that was worth destroying. I definitely think that was better than doing the alternative. All right, uh, wait, hang on. Engie, you need as much repair speed as you can get. That's your job, among other things. So you go out there and suffocate. Nice. All right. Back to doors for you. Eel. Man, we, we have a good, for a first run tonight? Chat. Pretty good. Pretty fucking good. Wait, I, these people are not saved properly. I gotta fix this. Also, you need healing. All right. And save their positions. This is a good, strong build. A good, strong build. Uh, I'm not doing that one, but I will go to these two ship locations and kill them too. A slaver. There's a lot of slaves in this fucking system, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Slaver 6. Uh, <laughs> would you like some slaves? Slugs, check their intentions. It seems their slavers are selling dead slaves. Well, I'm going to kill them. And then they'll say there's an alive slave anyways that will hopefully be better than Elizabeth. And then we hire them with, uh, with high wages. That I, I, you hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see that. You hate to see it. Okay. Repair bots. Repair two hull. And by two, I mean four. Confusion. How dare you do that to my boy? Oh, they sent the rock guy. Are these guys fucking idiots? All right. Hang on, let's uh, do something really awkward here. <laughs> all right. And uh, now we just sort of ruin all their lives in another couple seconds. Pop, pop, it's over. They're coming for me. They are. But by the time they do, it'll be too late. They're gonna die long before they actually succeed in doing any real damage to me or my ship. Oh, nice, you made it. Congratulations. <laughs> you made it. All right. We surrender. We don't actually have any slaves to give you this time. They're all dead. They've been dead all along. Please don't kill us. Surrender's not an option, sorry. All right, they left. We'll get this all repaired in a second. We admit none of them were ever alive. I'm sorry. Shut up. Shut up and die. 38 scrap. Huge. All right, chat. We, frankly, kind of want more shields. But I'll need the power bars to back it up. We can. We can. And we'll still have the two we need to uh, repair four hull every single time we get into a fight. We are cracked. This is cracked. We are, this is fucked up. We've got the guard team. Oh, hang on. Uh, I want Kicks repairing everything right now so we can get his skill up. I don't want anything repaired by anyone that isn't kicks if we're not in like an immediate fight. Everyone back to their positions. And then we'll start healing people. Will heal. 
and O. Williams as well. Good. Such a powerful team. And a really good fucking mod, dude. This is a good mod. This is a really good mod. It really meshes with the game very well. To the point where it's like, it just feels naturally like it's part of the game already. That store is gonna be pretty worthless. But it's a pirate store, which means I could kill him. And no one's going to gasp and ask why I did that. Now here's the problem. And I only confirmed this now, the exit is in a cursed spot, so this is what we're gonna do. One, two, three, we got plenty of time. I'm gonna go here first, and then I gotta loop around. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station for some of some sort, recently taken over by the pirates. It is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. This takeover must have been very recent. Uh, I'm going to pull out my weapons and charge them up. Your show of force makes it clear you aren't going to take any funny stuff from these pirates. They open their store for you almost immediately, but don't offer any extra fuel. Son of a bitch, I was hoping they'd like, I was hoping I could kill them. Who's James Pomeroy? Drains oxygen from room. Slow movement, but no damage from lack of oxygen. Now that is a fucked up thing to have board your ship and try to kill you. Lauren. All right. I'm just gonna buy some fuel. I don't have anything to sell. I'm, I'm keeping the burst because I might end up using it. Alright, let's get a move on. I do wish I could kill him, but it seems that won't be happening. I'd love to check all these, but frankly, I don't want to risk it. I, I have to double back. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Okay. A pirate fighter with confusion and the system shutdown thing. I'm going to threaten to kill them. Okay, whatever, bye. Chat, here's the reason I'm not fighting them. The system hacking thing can be really fucking annoying. And I've still got some distance to travel. Matter of fact, I'm gonna backtrack one to this asteroid field and also do that before I go to the exit. I don't really want to fight them. We're gonna kill these pirates in the asteroid field like psychos. That's what I do. All right. So what's their deal? Normal shit, no real special crap, and we got two shields now, so we should be pretty A-OK. -okay. Matter of fact, the asteroid field might end up doing most of the work on these guys. All right. Yeah, they're about to die. Hello? What was that sound? Oh, boy. Oh, it was a bomb. They teleported a bomb onto the ship. That's fine. Let that air out. Blast them! Yeah, they're not. They're not going anywhere. Besides, an asteroid's about to... The pirate ship will no longer torment this sector. Was there a dev in the chat and then they got banned somehow, chat? Did we ban them? Did we ban a dev? Owned. <laughs> if it happened, owned. Watch your back. All right. Watch your back. Fuel. Extra missiles. I don't use missiles. I very rarely use missiles in FTL. Unless like I get a insane thing. I don't. Wait, Kicks, you do it. I want you to get those repair skills up. Nothing matters more than you slowly improving your repair skills over the course of many years of hard work. 
time to put in an event about how bad tomato is. Shut up. Do I have time? One, two, three. Oh, I have time. I'm gonna hit everything in this line. An auto surveyor with confusion and cloak. I'm not scared of nothing. Okay, make no mistake. Repair bots, heal two hull for me. Okay, it's the plant guy. We'll just leave him in there. <laughs> oh no, what will he do? Please don't. Stop hitting that. Please don't hit that. I'm gonna have to deal with this cloak first. Wow, this thing has a terrible aim. Ow. And then he'll repair his own thing, no problem. Okay. Uh. Good shit. I think first thing to do on this one is actually the drones. Yeah, they're trying to leave already. That's not good, let's try to stop them. Good. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. God, this fucking ion thing is so fast. You can really just lock down almost everything on the whole fucking ship with it. It's crazy. It really is. Like, they're struggling to do basically anything. And they left. <laughs> Damn it! Fleet Pursuit doubled! Oh my god! It's fine. I need one more. I need my burst weapon, dude. That's what I need. You find yourself surrounded by a variety of alien vessels, apparently traveling in a caravan for their own safety. I had to, like, juggle the fucking cloak at the same time because I was like, if I don't stop all these things at the same time, they'll just cloak and leave as well. So I had to, like... It was hurting my head, man. It was hurting my fucking head. I had, like, 18 things to do. What I should have done was hold the heavy thing until charge knocked down the shield again. I fucked that up. I should be holding the heavy every time until I'm sure I'm not going to be wasting anything on it. You find yourself surrounded by a variety of alien vessels, apparently traveling in a caravan for their own safety. They appear to have set up a collective market and each have special things on sale. What are the Zoltan up to? The Zoltan reads off a long list of conduct and lets you browse his goods. Here's the thing. I'm going to attack and kill you because this is a pirate colony and you're probably pirates. From the ministry. <laughs> mm, I kind of need the money. Maybe you're the pirate. I'm going to kill him. My notoriety has increased. They don't like me, but fuck them. You know what I mean? <laughs> fuck you! Who are you sending to fight me? Send your greatest. Bye. When they enter either of these rooms, they will find nothing but an unfortunate fucking... Yeah, let these things flood completely. And then send them to the abyss. Bye! Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Well, that's happening. Blast through their shields and kill them. These poor guys are already fucking corpses. They can't do anything about this. Yes. Oh, fu Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the door people. That's fine. They're going to be leaving in a second. Yes. Continue to suffocate and slowly die. Yes. These guys don't even have anything they can do. This is sad. Go home. Don't make me send these two to kill you. All right, guys, go kill them. <laughs> the Zolt, the, this one's, yeah, there they go. All right, everyone back. Oh yeah, uh, NG, go repair the doors. There's no oxygen out there, so do it hastily. There's nothing they can do. It's really sad. But, like, look at this guy. He's waiting to get back onto the ship. You certainly reduced our defenses to nothing. All we have left is to ask for our lives. Ha 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 
Thanks for the money, pussies. All right, who's hurt? Don't be colon. They had it coming. Like over, the, dude. Look at how overpriced all that shit was. They had it coming. Everyone, back to your positions. Ha 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 We're being chased at full speed now. You see, this is why we prepped for this kind of thing to happen. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears to be a small laboratory fire out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression systems are not responding. I'll try to- I'm not gonna fucking send someone in there to put out a fire. Are you kidding me? I'm not losing my team. My team's really fucking good right now. Unless I get to choose Elizabeth. If I get to say Elizabeth go in there, that's a different story. I'm willing to risk exclusively Elizabeth. But no one else. <laughs> Now, if I duck and try to rescue the survivors, one of them might have like a gun or the place might blow up and I might take some hull damage, but I can afford hull damage. Yeah, I can take four of that. Yeah, no problem. That isn't much of a problem at all. We can afford that. We can make that back in one fucking mission. Let's power down that. Power down the fucking healing station. And that gives us four repair next fight. No problem. God, we got a good setup. We just need to level up. We just need one more power bar and one more weapon. And we are gonna be, and then we'll be, it'll cost everything I have right now. I can't do, there's no point yet. If I can't afford to do it all the way, there's no point yet. Let's get the fuck out of here. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There's really nothing else to do here, so it's time to leave. We're going to the Lanius Swarmlands next chat. Get excited! Everyone get excited! You've entered hyperspeed. We're going to the Lanius Swarmlands. This place is neutral to us and the rebel threat is low. It's unique. During the extensive Lanius hibernation, this sector was ravaged by pirates and ghosts. Now the swarm has awakened once again and they aren't pleased. However, maybe with a bit of scrap, you can please the Lanius enough to let you through unharmed. Oh my God. Okay, these guys look scary. Uh... As the Lanius species mass hibernation came to a close, they woke up to find their homeworlds in shambles, picked dry by scavengers. What did you expect was going to happen, idiot? Fucking idiot. Are you stupid? Now the swarm works hard to repair the damage, usually with metal from alien ships. Perhaps this is why the Lanius have been so scrap hungry recently. An elite Lanius guard protects the beacon, preventing ships from getting past and causing further damage to the sector. They hail you, but your translator can only barely make out what they're saying. Not want you. Scrap we yes, gone death. I'm going to communicate with them. But only for but a moment before I plan on killing them myself. You aren't sure whether you accidentally offended the Lanius with something you said, insulted them by trying to contact them, or if there has always been hostile intentions, but the Lanius guard doesn't waste any time attacking you. Uh, we're gonna need two repair bots. Cloaking and all this shit. Well, let's hope they don't shut down something helpful. Well, fuck. We'll get them back in time. Fucking hate these things. That's why we gotta disable the hacking thing immediately. Here it comes! There's no oxygen on that shit. There's no point sending some of the boy. Oh! Help over there. Oh, we're locked in. Shield boy cannot help. Get out of there. This is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Because we have like no one that can put out these fucking fires and repair. It takes so long to repair fucking anything with fires. We're dead. I don't know how we survived this because of this fucking thing. Yep, they just killed all of our guys. It's over. These guys- This place sucks! Why would you ever want to go here? It 
If the sh if they hadn't hacked the shields, we might have stood a chance. I can't board them. We'll just instantly die over there. Best thing we can do is hope the FTL drive charges fast enough that I can run. But this fucking scrap thing they're doing, and they have ASBs. Should have paid them. We might be able to get out. We have a lot of hull still, which is funny, actually. Let's at least let the fire get out through that. Okay, they've stunned and broken the fucking engine, so it's not looking good. I need to get everyone back there to try to help with that before they all die. That's the only chance we have to get out of here. Please. Please. Just, fr just don't look at anything. Just stand right here and don't look at anything and mash the button. Okay, bye. Uh, I'm gonna leave. We lived. You hear several thunks on your hull followed by scraping scans. Lanius are on the ship. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna assure them we're not a wreck. Elizabeth is fucking dead. <laughs> They're on the ship. They're killing us all. It's not looking good. Oh my god. It's uh, it's really not looking good, chat. This is looking like a, it's looking like the end of all time. All we can do is hope that we can heal ourselves and kill those fuckers. Let's close all the doors. Heal up as high as we can. They're destroying the shields. They're in, but they're in our healing zone, so we should win by default. Because I don't think there's a way they can beat us like this. So we will live. Barely. We will survive. Barely. Now, it says there's a fire in there. So I'm going to gas that spot out. You see, why we survived was that Archeum could produce more oxygen for us. God, we need to get everything. We need to get these fires put out. But we can't see anything. Start sweeping around. These fires need to be put out or we're going to die of hull damage. This isn't working. Why are you taking this path, you psycho? All right, we're doing a different plan. We can't open the doors because of the fucking... Chat, we can't open the doors because of the fucking doors being broken. So I can't open, I can't get rid of the fires the normal way. One way at a time. Bit of a race here. Only way we do this is we push here and we actually put out the fire here so we can repair it. We gotta hope that we put it out before all everything's dead. We need to repair the doors and basically open everything. Because there's no way we can put this out otherwise. Well. Just get over there to heal. We're opening everything in the entire ship. Because it's all on fucking fire. Keep everyone in their nice rooms. This room isn't on fire so we can repair weapons. I'm hearing less fire now. The fires are out. I believe. All the fires are out. But there's a lot of lack of oxygen. But we lived. We lived. I lived, bitch. I lived. Oh my god, this ship is a real fucking mess right now. All right. Let's get to heal. <laughs> we won't be dying yet. Was it worth 33 scrap? <laughs> Shut up. How was I? Dude, they had the perfect storm of bullshit to fuck me, okay? But you know what we didn't lose? Our ace cannoneer mort. And that's pretty fucking lucky. I turn on the weapons. Just gotta get everything repaired as fast as we can. Everyone, everyone help. 
It's gonna be a long process, but we gotta survive. We gotta do whatever it takes for the people we lost. At least Elizabeth is gone. Fucking dark, but true. At least she's gone. Thank fucking God, too. Up with that. Okay, go heal. You, get back there. Good shit. One last spot. And then this ship is back in mint condition. It's like nothing ever happened. It's like, if you just looked at this now, you just think I started a new game. But with like really epic weapons. You know what I mean? All right, everyone, back to your positions. Let's see who we lost and... Will, oh, Will, I don't think you're gonna be able to do what you wanna do anymore, my man. Like you're a shield guy now, Will. Sorry. Our hull isn't doing great at all. I think we can agree. It really isn't. Um... I need to invest in two power bars because I now have to do the eight hull repair whenever I see anyone. I have to. I, I, I literally have to. So um, that's where our scrap's going now. <laughs> it's fine. We'll be fine. You've arrived in a seemingly ordinary beacon, but scans show a particularly highly high, particularly large slip tunnel opening nearby. Someone with an MV drive is jumping in nearby. It's a common philosophy among multiverse travelers that all scrap they can get their hands on belongs to them. You're guilty of this quite often as well, but now another traveler has arrived and sees you, are their next, you as their next target. Well, never thought it would end like this, bumping into another me. Did they fucking board me? Is that a ghost? A phantom. Kill that fucking guy, Will. Will? Kill that fucking thing. I want it dead. Kill them. Kill them. And then go heal. Wow, this thing's been cloaked for a while, huh? There they are. It's so like you to shut down the camera. Another ghost has uh, boarded, um, but... Um... I mean, I'm in the medical zone. That's not really gonna matter for me. I'm getting to maximum charge because they have three fucking bars. They missed every shot, they fucked up. This is for everyone we lost! Ah! Fucking seriously! <laughs> we'll repair the cameras. No, get on shields. We're gonna die because we missed. We're literally gonna die because we missed. It's over. We're gonna die because we missed. We're gonna die because we missed. That's the only reason. Unless. Will. No, never mind, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try to make Will board them because it seemed like he could win against all of them in a fight. That was a good first run there. For the first run? Hey, and now we know we're never going to this place ever again. Ever again. Ever again. Ever again. We're never going back there ever again. Ever. All right, let's start again. Actually, hang on. Uh, let me go back to the main menu. I want to see if maybe I, I don't think I unlocked anything new, but I want to see. There's so many unlocks in this game and they didn't give us any for that. We didn't even get anything. We had to just defeat legendary thieves and shit and we didn't even unlock one new thing. They laughed at us and kicked us back to the dirt. Well, let's proceed on our mission. I'm gonna get another crew member and Enzo! A fucking human? Whatever, let's get some salvage. 
Disable the drones. Oh my god. We got... We got an anti-personnel battle Borg. And they, see, and they say dreams don't ever come true. We don't have a system for it, but it's cool that we have it. You know? We have an anti-personnel battle Borg. Rebel ship hails. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. He locks weapons. I'm going to kill him. You think, you this guy, I'm, this is the easy stuff. I'm not scared of this pussy, okay? I've been a god. Don't you know who I am? I'm a god. I don't fear you. Now die. Yes. The good old days, prepare to die. I refuse to, I refuse to allow you to surrender. Disable their weapons, disable their engines, perish, bleed. Goodbye. Pathetic. Yes. We want to hit those supply stations. I think those are the best money we get in the first zone. So we want to hit those spots. Look for the rebel ship. You spend some time looking around your scanners, but cannot pick up any trace of the rebel ship. You prepare to move on, okay? Distress signal at a store here. We're going to kill... We're going to be mean. We're going to be mean to people. This is the mean run. To no surprise, an MV rebel is accosting a nearby civilian store owner. Rescue the store. Kill him. We're the good guys. Fair to die. Shields down. Weapons in immense pain. No problem. There's definitely people in the fucking... Ow! My door system! Actually, let's have the NG go repair that. I mean, it, it's over. It's over. I'm gonna miss that rep... What the hell is that thing? The fo the fashard beam. Hey, what is this thing? Uh, this terrifying beam does both crew and system damage, making it universally frightening. Three power, charge time 20 seconds, beam length 90, beam speed 15, system damage 2, crew damage 60! Why did scary music happen when I got this? Chat, 60 is like fucking, I damage shields with like a pierce cannon and then I watch as everyone runs to repair it and then I cut them all in half. Deliberately, I just bait them all into a room and then cut them all in half. I think I'm gonna sell the Battle Borg. I don't like drones. Chat, I'm gonna be honest. You guys want my real opinion on drones and missiles? It's called I never have enough of them to ever have fun, so I sell them. I never have enough of them ever. I'm always out, so I never use them. I'm selling this Battle Borg. I'd rather have the money. Because that gets me one step closer to my dream. Which is, of course, having a really neato cannon. We're gonna need more power. God damn it, we're gonna need a lot more power. But I don't see any reason why we can't start on that ding dang journey together to, get, to getting a really cool laser. A Fashard cannon. How long is 90? Hang on. I wonder if I can see the beam on my own ship if I just let it charge. That is a long charge on that beam, but that is a scary fucking looking weapon. I just, I wish I could see it on my own ship. I might be able to. No, you can't. Fuck. Oh well. That's a long charge on that thing. No shield upgrade run again. I upgraded the shields at the perfect time last time and I didn't need it beforehand. I might kill these civilians. No, let's go to the supply. 
You're not surprised to see this beacon has been outfitted by a multiverse supply depot. Many such beacons were constructed by prior multiverse travelers to help repair ships such as yours. Cool, got some scrap. There's another supply beacon over there, and that's where we're gonna go. Your sensors have picked up <coughs> a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Minus one fuel for five missiles? Ha 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 ha. Fuck you. Anyways, let's get to that supply beacon. I don't want missiles. Yes, eh, so what I do want is a rebel. Personally, says the captain, I'd have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir, and I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shields. Okay. All right. Let's take this guy down nice and clean. Nice miss, idiot. You think any of these places ever, like, keep fucking comms open while they fight? And you just hear, like, they miss, and you just hear a guy on the other fucking line going, fucking stupid idiots. <laughs> Fuck up. And they're gonna try to run? Maybe. See, now is when it'd be nice to use the Fauchard cannon. Just cut them in half entirely. No, ignore their cries. Yes, the scrap, the delicious... The delicious scrap, yes! I ignore their cries. You arrived at a Federation supply depot? Good, yes. We need more power. We need more power! We're so close, Arthur! We're going to this. There's a ship here. We can kill it. Oh, good heavens, that's a Federation multiverse traveler. If we turn on the, if we turn their location to the rebels, we'll be, wait. What? He's gonna, he's gonna turn, whatever. If we turn their location over to the rebels, we'll be rich. Wait, did I just say that on open comms? The nearby civilian ship mutes themselves and immediately activates their engines. Kill them. We're not letting them go anywhere. All right, people got mad at me about that. This is actually part of, this is a guy from the Senate. Uh, but look, all right, <laughs> next time, close your comms, pussy. Shouldn't have said that. Where's your weapons anyways, asshole? Oh, you don't have any? All right, I'm gonna cut your engines then. Aw, oh, too bad, really sad, really sad. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Well, this is sad. We're not even opening comms again to apologize. The civilians have been defeated. You aren't exactly proud, but at least the rebels won't know your location. Yeah, and I got three fuel, which is super cool. You know, Chad, if I go here, Oh wait, no, that's the warning zone. We can't go there. They will be they will be there. We uh Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I'm going this way. As soon as you arrive, you receive a Federation encrypted message. A rebel ship has been terrorizing local civilians. A rebel ship in the area! I didn't find them. They were nowhere to be found. It's a distress signal so fucking far away, but if I do my math right, there is literally no way I can get to it and get back, which is really unfortunate for them. There's a ship at this Federation uh, shop. We're going to kill them all. Yes. A Federation supply depot was set up on a nearby planet. They won't give anything away for free, but that doesn't mean they won't open. They aren't open to trade. Hey, God damn it. We're a Federation ship. Give us stuff. The owner of the station clears you. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're in the middle of a war, son. Nothing is free. No one gets special treatment. Best I can offer is a discount on fuel. No free services. You die today. 
Your greed has no bounds. Another innocent life for the slaughter. Block in your unrelenting quest for wealth. Okay. Yeah, well. Hey. Alright, I've had a bad day. <laughs> no one ever asks how I'm doing, you know? <laughs> Kill him. Kill them all. You sure you don't want to give me a fucking discount, pussy? One more salvo of these fucking lasers and you're dead, son. Ah, you look away as the Federation ship explodes. What have we come to when you're so willingly killing your own allies for $9? <laughs> I'm leaving! <laughs> what have we come to? You just killed those people for nine dollars and one fuel! Shut up! Oh, it's him! Who is that guy? Enzo Martin. Wait, no, I'm Enzo Martin. Whoever this guy is, he's got fucking health. To leave while he attacks guns pointlessly. Wow, we really fucking missed there. Wow, this might be the- that was a really bad fucking exchange by me. We do need to stop that. Let's send these three over. We need to stop him. Can't let him destroy guns. Okay. Heal yourself. Were these on auto attack? I did not want them on auto fire. I mean, that's fine. That's actually a fine auto fire. Okay. Instant karma? It's not instant karma because these guys aren't fucking winning. All right, they're losing. They're losers. And once I have the Fashard laser, no one will dare stand against me. Do you understand, chat? I turn the Fashard laser over towards you in a sort of menacing way. Do you understand? This laser is the key to everything. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. All right? Everything's gonna be fine. Wow. Uh, this one's pretty fancy. Shots per charge one, max shot charges. Okay. Takes about no time to charge at all. Uh, one damage, one crew damage, total crew damage 15. Okay, this is looking uh, pretty good if I had the power for it. For now, we're just trying to get one more point in weapons we need a little more money but for now let's get out of here nebulous regions or unexplored clouds i'm gonna go this way you've entered hyperspeed well it can take mere minutes to travel between two beacons it can take hours to travel between sectors yeah blah, 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 blah. the fleet's been delayed it's time for us to get a move on, okay? Time to get to some goddamn rebel fleet ships and kill them. All right, let's roll. We just need a little bit more power, Arthur. Fuck! <laughs> this drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as a hostile. It doesn't have a cloak, so we're gonna be okay. It doesn't have a cloak. I only get spooked by these auto things that they have cloaks. <laughs> oh. Cut their weapons now. Yeah, they don't have anything to repair with. They're already. Okay, my. Aisha, the NG is not having a good time. Let's go ahead and make sure they have a better time going forward. No problem. Alright, they're good. 
Good shit. And this should absolutely give us the scrap we need. The auto ship is actually trying to fucking run. Let's not let it. It's gonna get away, watch. Watch. We're gonna miss every shot and it's gonna get away. In three, two, one. No, we got it. No. Oh, look at that scrap. It's time, Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, have you seen the Vashard cannon, Arthur? One of the most powerful weapons in the world, Arthur, in the whole galaxy. Let's see how this works. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene and help them. Detecting higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Do nothing. So how long is this laser? Not super long. So what we do now is we use our pierce to shut down the shields, and once it's shut down, we immediately foshard. But ideally, we want to have burst on as well, so we can guarantee we pierce through the shield properly. But yeah, we shut down shields, which I should have held until the foshard was actually ready. But now we can sort of... Nice. Oh, we're still on auto fire. Turn that off. Does that leave a lingering laser? No. Okay. Yes. Min max beaming? Why would you not? When it can do that much fucking damage. We just shut down this thing's a fucking dead body. Turn on the burst cannon. And send them to hell. The point of it is that it shuts down systems and kills people. It's an anti-personnel and anti-system laser beam. Ah, Defender Drone, very good, and even more salvage for our work, our dark work. And we don't know where the exit is, and it's a really bad one for this because we have to do this like a loop to get to one, so we need to start moving. I'm gonna go to the slug store and probably kill them like a pirate. Buy some things. A huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he's spreading his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. Get off our fucking ship. You aren't sure if he meant well or not, but the slug isn't taking this insult lightly. You have to chase him off with force, though hopefully that isn't too hard. Get off my ship. Get out of my car! Get out of where I get out of my car! Who are you? Elizabeth is back? No, that can't be Elizabeth. That's Pippa Luck. The slug. They're dead. I had to kill them. I had to fucking kill them, chat. They had to die. That's how badly they wanted to sell me their wares. They had to fucking die. I had to shoot them in the head. It's really sad. It's sad that it came to that. There's nothing out here. All right, we're gonna spend some time salvaging. Got some salvage. They're coming, chat. They're coming. A large blip on the radar is detecting a massive ship moving around this nebula. Its giant size suggests it might even be a fleet ship. Search for it. You dive deeper into the nebula and are swatted out of the way by a giant tail. Luckily, no harm comes to the ship, but you're left in shock. The object you detected was no fleet ship at all, but rather a humongous space whale. Mmm, 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 mmm. Number one is pretty crazy as an escalation. Mmm. I'm going to climb inside the space whale and explore its interior for scrap. Luckily, space whales are so large you can easily explore inside of them. The contents of their stomachs are concerning, littered with debris and dead ships. You hastily collect some parts and leave before you can meet the same fate. Cool. Scrap. Oh, we found the exit. Easy. Then we got some time to explore. 
No problem. Well, 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 what do we have here, brother? It's a couple of very unfortunate rebel skirmishers with one tier of shield. It's not very much shield. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for you to die. Prepare thyself <laughs> for a very unfortunate time. Yes. Get ready to eat lead. And by lead, I mean lasers. Wait, hold it actually. We want to hold it until the Fashard's actually ready. Or else it's just wasting it. No. Mm, now, where's the. Now, this is a system burner. This does system damage. So, really, what we want to do is that. Oh my god. Look at how quickly the pilot was like, oh fuck! <laughs> just turned around and started running as fast as he could. They're fucked. Dude, this is fucked up. And it's so bad that I can just immediately follow it up. Again. This is fucked. Oh my god, they're fucked. And I know they're all in here. This is gonna be... Everyone close your eyes if you're afraid of gore and violence. Some folks just fucking died. Hang on. We could actually go check real quick. Let's check the camera. Maybe, you know, being on cams might be really helpful on this one. If we, I guess it's a nebula, so we can't. They're in shields repairing still. This, tri this ship is trying to run away. That's cute. You don't have any systems to do that with anymore, but it is cute that you're trying. So does this do damage to, uh... It does. Does it cause damage to other stuff? No, it doesn't do any damage. I just want to do that to test it. I just want to make sure, because we basically got a freebie right now. There's still someone alive in there. That's just trying their goddamn hardest to live. But I don't think they're getting out of here. No. Time to kill is a little low, but that's because we still need another weapon. Just before the rebel ship explodes, an escape pilot ejects from it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get very far, and you collect it and bring it aboard. You open it and drag out the rebel officer inside. They beg you to let him live. Yeah, nah. I space him. We've had this happen. As you grab the rebel by the arms and drag him to the airlock, he protests a little. A tear rolls down his cheek as he stands up straight and accepts his fate. You close the airlock once again when his corpse has drifted a safe distance from the ship. Poof. Fuck you, asshole. I don't fuck with that anymore, dude. We have enough to do it. I should level up my stuff. Ooh, a Federation ship is exploring the nebula here. A friendly face. It's dangerous to explore these nebulas without aid. It's not much, but here's a scanner. May you find it of use. Thanks. That's awfully kind of you, sir. What the fuck is it? Scanner. This weapon is not designed for combat, but rather can reveal rooms on either your or the enemy ship, even with broken sensors. That would mesh very well with my current thing. I don't really need the charge laser. Don't really need it right now. Man, that thing. Yeah, we don't need it just yet. But this being able to scan. Chat, the scanner doesn't use power. The scanner's free. It doesn't use power. So I can use it to tell where humans are and then cut them in half with the laser now. That's why it's good. But... It's also time for us to level this up once. Yes. We get one more power bar, and we'll be able to use burst on top of this. Or do we just cut engines? <laughs> when we get to fights? Which is a really crazy play, but it might work. Depower oxygen. Now that is a good option, too. This engine appears to be... This beacon appears to be empty, but you're detecting a very weak looping signal encrypted from in the nebula. Try to find the source. Okay, we gotta leave. Time to start heading towards the exit. Actually, we've got time. We can do this first. We fucked it up. They're coming. A hostile vessel descends from out of the nebula. Combat stations. Okay, what do you want to do? Nothing. Cut oxygen. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Cut oxygen. 
Did someone just board my ship? Swampson! Okay, turn back on oxygen. And kill Swampson. Fuck you. Hey, Swampson, fuck you. All right? Okay. You go repair oxygen. Actually, we don't really need to repair oxygen just yet. Everyone back to their stations. We're waiting for the Fashard. Actually, we can burn these two right now. Wow, that shield's got a lot of fucking juice in it, huh? That shield's got a lot of juice in it. Actually, yeah, plant boy, repair the fucking thing. We're gonna take some damage doing this. We need the shield dead. Actually, I think we do this the other way around. God, we really can't get through the fucking shields. This, these guys got those fucking annoying green shields. Son of a bitch. Alright, they're done now. I'm about to send them to hell. Alright, is everyone at shields right now? Oh, they're begging for a surrender. No. No, no. Matter of fact. Matter of fact. I don't think I'm going to be letting you guys do that at all. Yeah, that looks good. Hey. Hey, Kusi. Hey, Kusi, go fuck yourself, all right? Fucking gonna hurt me? Gonna beat up my boys? Yeah, I'll beat up you too. Got to go deal with the oxygen problem. Fuck you! Yeah. Don't fuck with me. We got extra fuel cells, it was worth it. I mean... We're taking a lot of damage. I really need to upgrade my shields now. We've done that thing we do where we focus weapons and then have no shields. So it's definitely time to put some power points into shields. I want this guy repairing things. With the help of Plant Boy. Good. Good. This is fine. It's not fine. But those guys were also a very specific kind of ship that is very bad for me. And it's the ships that have that fucking green shield. Because you can't circumvent that. They just have an annoying amount of resistance. And there's really nothing you can do. You just have to punch through it. Ion stuff is how you beat them. So, uh, yeah. Time to turn back on the oxygen. I should get these guys healed up, though. Yes, heal. Yes, regain your full power. All right. We got time to do this one, which is a hazard in an ion storm. But it's a rebel instigator with not very crazy stuff. So I'm not... I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I'm gonna cut engines and put it into shields and just pierce him for now. They're in the same boat as us. They're also suffering with very little power. Remember, it goes both ways. So, uh, I'm also gonna cut oxygen. Shields are down. All right. Focus their weapons. Repair the oxygen. Hector. Why they're focusing my oxygen supply, I don't know. But their weapons, yeah, they're, they're done. They're gonna try to run now, but I'm not going to let them. We're not gonna let them leave this time. Like hell you're leaving, I say on the radio. They haven't closed the radio comms with me yet. You're not going nowhere. You understand me? You're not going nowhere. After what you did. Hey, shit. Yeah, yeah, scrap. Scrap. 
We're slowly becoming more powerful, Chad. Every day a little bit stronger. Now we just need to get some... We need to get to a shop in the next friendly zone once we're done here. And then, okay, we can repair. It's gonna be fine. I know we're a little low on hull. I know stuff's not looking great. But we've been through worse. Let's get to the exit and get the fuck out of this shithole. Do a little bit of exploring. There's a fucking pirate fighter here. How many times I gotta teach you this goddamn lesson, old man? How many times I gotta do this to you before you're gonna learn? That was cute. That was cute. Is that all you got? All right. Let me show you what I got. Yeah, let me show you what I got. Let me, let me. <laughs> Let me show you what I got! That's what I got! You guys in there repairing the shields and weapons right now? Cute. You guys dead in there yet? <laughs> Where you guys at? Oh, who's that? Who's that, cat? Cat, that's fucking cute. Go ahead and repair for a little bit, cat. Don't worry. Don't worry, cat. Hey, cat. Hey, cat, for real, though. For real, though, it's been a pleasure. Real, does that piss you off, cat? I didn't even hit her with a direct attack, but I know she's in oxygen right now. Oh. Please don't kill us. Whatever you do, please don't fucking kill us. Don't kill us. If I accept their surrender, they die anyways, because I haven't told them I shot four shots. They've only been hit by one of the four. If I let them live, they blow up and I get less of their money. One more dollar, baby. We don't need the fuel, I just want the money. We need stuff to repair our ship and get better shields. You know, I've technically got time to go to this ship and then double back and the fuel. Slugs, slugs with cloaking. Oh, they disabled the helm. I can live with that. That's actually not bad. There could be a lot of worse things they could have disabled, but they chose the helm. That's good. Let's go repair this. Are they just like fucking, they're just like fucking bombing us. It's not gonna matter at us. Once I get through that shield in another second, man, you as good as dead. You don't even know it yet. I don't even know it yet. All right. All right, I reckon it's about time. This is gonna be really mean to them. I kinda want their weapons gone. I kinda want a lot of their stuff gone. This'll do. Let's sort of scare them. Yeah. By now, they're probably panicking. Okay, that's bad. That's just fucking rude. that fire put out. Oh, lots of fire. Yeah, look at you. Hang on, where you at anyways in there? Aw, oh, look at them. Look at them. Chat, did you see? It's Kusi and Brian. Look again. Everyone look at Brian. Kusi dived out of the way, but Brian got literally cut in half. I aimed directly at him. He got melted. The last thing... We walk into the ship. Through the gaping wound, we blasted directly through it. I walk up to the slug captain, Brian. <laughs> Shit! And then he collapses and dies, but he drops $28 on the ground. Chat, you want to know how we won? We didn't even need to destroy the ship. We hunted them down with the laser beam and killed them both with the laser. Kusi also died then. That's why we didn't have to kill him. They're all dead right now. They all died. Kind of sad, man. No, there's still a fire there. 
Hector is not very good at putting out fires. Alright, Hector, get the fuck out of here. I don't really want to let Hector die. Get the fucking healing up. There's also one there, Aisha. Yes, good. Look at Enzo leveling up his repair skills. Good job, Enzo. Can you destroy their ship for more? No. I, d I can't. I wish I could, though. I wish I could just grab my laser, my Fashard laser right now, and just cut them in half again. But that'd be kind of psycho. And I'm a good captain, and I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I do good things. Okay? And I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'm kind of a good guy. You know? A good guy with very little hull. And a dream. Oh, let's go to the exit and leave. And next, we're going to a friendly place. Zoltan District or Senate Settlement? Well, let's think. Senate Settlements, I've done some bad things to them. And I've done some bad things to the Zoltans. Now, what I'm thinking is, Zoltans, when they get cut in half by a laser, they explode. They blow up. Which causes more explosions inside their own ship, killing more of them. Like a chain reaction. But I'm pretty sure Zoltans do green shields, which I'm not very interested in. So we're gonna go to the Senate. You've entered hyperspeed. You've arrived in a civilian sector. The Federation's promises to keep these sectors safe has fallen through, and now the civilians have turned to establishing their own militia. We shouldn't see too much trouble here. I'm gonna contact this guard. The militia captain nods in response to your hail, but says nothing. His face bears an inquisitive look. I'm gonna have our human crew request assistance. Easy money. Easy money, fucking idiot. They have no idea the amount of people we've killed. Let's go to the shop so I can repair my hull. It's been too long. As soon as you arrive at the nearby planet, you notice huge billows of smoke coming from a good half of the nearby market. An orchid merchant hails you, looking fairly panicked. Don't worry about the fire! It's not a big deal! Please come in! You want help? Oh! That's been ablaze for days. We've done all we can to suppress it with what we have, which isn't much. Why the fuck would I send my orchid character that is weak to fire to put out the fire? I'll just stick to shopping. Thanks. I'd also like to do a salvage mission. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yikes. Mm. It's a heavy laser. Chain heavy laser. It only requires one power. It takes 13 seconds to charge. Uh. Mm. Two hull damage, two system damage. Well, we'd still need something to punch through shields, unfortunately. Do these hurt shields? It's not a beam weapon. Lasers hurt shields. But 13 seconds is a long charge time. This music isn't balanced very well. It's a little loud. Let's sell this defense drone for starters. And heal ourselves. Tom Banks! Not to be confused with Mr. Hank! He's a crystal. Ancient ancestors of the Rockmen. And we have Justin and Nathan. I don't really want them. Mm, the question is, do I, which one of these do I want? I'm not going to keep both. Although, chat, here's the thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not very good. Here's the problem is it's not very good because its cooldown reduces every time it shoots by three seconds. So it's only 13 seconds the first time, then it's 10 seconds forever after that. I think. 
right? Is that how... I think this will end up... I think it'll be better. I don't think I want to sell it yet. Now, this chain... This charge laser Mark II is so expensive that I don't see it ever being something I'll use. It's three power. We don't have that kind of power availability due to the Fushard. I don't think I think I got to get rid of this. I think this is three power. There's no way we can test out the chain one. We can swap it with the scanner and test it out instead of the burst. But I think the charge one has to go. I think this one has to leave. I don't think that's going to end up being very good in the grand scheme. Now, I wouldn't mind having a buddy, but what's more important to me right now is getting more shields. And another power bar. Or two, even. Yeah, getting tier two shield would be really good right now. We don't need the scanner. Actually, we kind of do need the scanner for the fucking damage we do. I just want a slug, man. Oh, look, here's what we can do. We're gonna swap out the scanner for a fight because I want the burst on just in case the chain sucks so bad, I wanna switch it off, okay? It's 11.1. There's fundamentally no way this is worse than the pierce. I'm doing the math right now. There's literally no way this is worse than the pierce and it does breaching. No, nah, there's no way that's worse than the Pierce. We'll keep it on for a minute, but I don't think there's any way it's going to be worse. Because we're manning it. Okay, well, this is a good chance to test it. The pastel blue hue of a Revel MV Traveler glides past. As soon as they spot you, they power up their weapons and engage. Well, let's see. They've disabled oxygen. That was a waste of their power. And it looks like they shot a battle drone Mark I into the door system. I'm going to ignore that because they're shooting the door system. <laughs> They've targeted two awful systems and are currently just bum rushing those. And I don't think it's a very smart idea, but whatever. Uh, let's deal with the let's deal with them in a second. We're going to knock their shields down. Yikes, it really must suck to be them right about now. Wow, really? Oh, that's bull. That's bull. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with these guys now. That literally went up the second. The second. Why are my, wait, why is my pierce gun not piercing the shields? I'm deeply confused about that. Cause they're killing us now because we're gonna die. We're gonna fucking die. This is not looking good because my pierce thing isn't piercing. Like, I'm not able to break through. There's nothing I can do right now. Okay, well, I have to repair. We need someone to go repair the fucking health kit thing or we're not going to be able to get out. I... Pierce is worse than burst at this point if it's not actually piercing. That time it pierced, but the shield is going to come up too fast. The switch to burst. The laser is more or less worthless right now. Wow, these guys are fucking cracked. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous how strong these guys are. We're also missing almost every shot, though, to be fair. We've missed a lot of shots. But this is ridiculous, these fucking robots. I don't think I'm gonna get out of this. Because it was because of the robots. I can't break through their shields fast enough. Like, look at how fast they're fucking defending. That's insane. We might survive. 
Barely? God, these guys are crazy. I better get some really good stuff out of this if I live. We're missing like everything. I'm getting mad, dude. I'm getting mad because it's like a fucking comedy of fuck ups causing this to happen. It's like we're just missing every single attack. Okay, help. Yeah, we're dead. That's gonna do it. They shot another fucking drone down. There's just no way. The chain gun is not good. Yep, that sucked. Mad because bad. All right, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a, a time out forever. No, 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 ban them forever. They could, dude. I hate that shit. Get the fuck out. You're obviously a child. <laughs> you haven't achieved 18 years or older to watch the stream. I can tell because you outed yourself. Damn it! Let's find another crew member. Know me. Let's immediately salvage. Take the risk. Immediate. Oh, easy. Your crew managed to, to disarm a lot of mines before they returned, but a spot. But they spot something in the center. It's a mine launcher, a tool used to lay the field. Now that there's less mines, you can pilot closer and grab it, but risk setting off the remainders of your of the field with your ship. Get the mine launcher. We got it. For three hull damage, I'm going to take it. We got a mine launcher called Ra. Mine launchers charge quickly and fire a burst of slow-moving projectiles. Also serves as an efficient way to lay traps for the fleet. Cool. That's pretty good. Requires four fucking power. Yeah. Uh, I don't see that being something we use, but I do see that being something we sell. Shoot some missiles, too. So, yeah, that's a sell. That'll be a sell. That'll be a sell. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, I I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I hang up angrily. <laughs> you, what are you good at, Nomi? You're fucking shields now. Get over there. Wow, look at that perfectly circular ship. What is that? Battery. Grants temporary power to the enemy. I'm uh, not gonna concern. I'm not gonna concern myself with that. I don't think. Plus, these guys only have one gun. What are they fucking thinking? Auto fire and kill them. Wait. Hold the burst. There we go. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I did it in one more trick. All right. That's a store for mantises. Let's go here first. Might be able to get all of them. First time level one pirates. Ooh. A critically damaged civilian carry ship is nearby. Scans show life support is beyond non-functional, but they won't live for long. Let's try to help them. It appears civilians didn't survive, but I got their stuff. Nice. Now here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. I don't like the mantises. I think they're kind of shitheads. I'm going to approach them. They have a boarding team. We wish to shop here. Your approach is met by a curious mantis ship with distinct spikes of power in their weapon system. Federation come to shut down? Refusal. No, I just want to shop. Uh, okay, I just no, I just want to shop. I don't I don't want to fight. I just want to shop and sell raw for 40 units. There's no way I'm keeping raw chat, sorry. It's way too much units. That's way too much units. No way am I keeping that thing. Pike, huh? Pike's a pretty good one, isn't it? That's a whole ship. That's a that's a, that's a, how much power? Two. Buy Pike. <laughs> I'm buying Pike. This thing can cut across an entire ship. I like beam weapons. I don't know what to say. Chat, think about it, chat. <laughs> think about how cool this will be if we get it to work. Think about how much fun it would be. Huh? <laughs> Wait, I can't fight you. You're too strong. What is this? 
You found the traveling merchant yet again. Stranger, stranger, I'm Sylvan, an honest traveling merchant. Perhaps we haven't met yet, I tend to forget. I've traveled the realities vast, and I've seen much that the universe has to offer. Maybe we can do some business. I have a gift for you as well, if that might persuade you. Uh, kill him! I want to sell some resources first. You want the ammunition? Oh my god. Take it all. H huge. Alright, let's trade. Ah, stranger, stranger, what's a little war crime? To who during war, eh? I've got my tentacles on some new tech. Come and look. Well, I just sold all my missiles, so, um... It's too bad, because that's a lot of damage on that thing. But, uh... Unfortunately, that wouldn't be something I'd want anyways. Anti-bio laser. Lockdown laser. A powerful beam that cannot cause physical damage, but none of these are really going to be something I want. Yeah, I don't really want any of these. Your weapons suck and your store is average. Goodbye. A uh, supply station and a rebel instigator attack and kill them. We're going to hope that the burst can break their shields, because if it does, then we pike them really bad. And that'll be sort of our new thing. I'm really excited to see how much this pike weapon can do, but we need to let it charge all the way first, obviously. Now! Now! Oh my god. Okay, that's, yeah, that's really good. Oh my god. I could get it all. I could get more. Christ. Ah, oh, we give up! What is that, a fucking pike? Are you fucking kidding me? We're a level one rebel! Seriously? I, <laughs> I hang up on them. I hang up on them. <laughs> it really has been a pleasure. It really has. But I'm afraid that's the end. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Wait. I have to actually go back to the black market or I won't be able to escape in time. That's really sad. Yep, we have to leave. That's a fucking cursed layout. Yep, we have to go back. That's a good thing I noticed that. Hey. I asked you your back to purchase my wares yet again. Hmm, yes, perhaps I can find something suitable for you. Shut up. I don't want any of your stuff. I never did, old man. It's just unfortunate that this was the only way I could go. There's a bunch of people yelling at each other. I'm going to investigate. The civilians appear to be protesting, gathering in large groups and holding up signs. It appears the crowd is against the use of multiverse travel, saying it endangers their way of life. The Federation soldiers hold, the pa hold their ground and try to fend off civilians, but it appears the situation is getting heated. Ah! Uh, I'm, I'm not... Look, chat, here's the thing. I, I'm not... This doesn't really speak for me on a moral level, but I'm thinking if I kill some of these uh, people, I'm gonna get their scrap. <laughs> <laughs> I like money. You open? Wow, this is uh, fucked up. Uh, this is a completely unarmed fucking, like, just little dinghy. Look, that guy's already panicking. I don't... Ooh, is that, does that guy have a pike laser? Oh, fuck. What is that? Honey? <laughs> Honey? Come look out the window. Is that a pike laser? It's a pike laser! This is fucked up. Yikes. Wow. Oh, it? Everyone, every other civilian there, D. Collins. <laughs> What? He just cut that. That guy just cut that fucking person in half with a pike laser, man, for ten dollars. <laughs> he just that guy. He has a pike laser. Just cut him in half for five fucking dollars. He, he cut him in half for two dollars. I'm getting the hell out of here.
The civilians are forced to flee as the Federation soldiers take this opportunity to retake the block and drive back the protesters. The whole situation goes over with a few casualties saved for the civilians you just murdered. The Federation staff is thankful for your assistance, though, disapproving of your methods, and offers you seven dollars. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Great, thanks. I don't have time to go there. <laughs> An elite fighter! Blah. You're the ship we traveled all the way from Universe 1 to meet? I thought they said you were a threat. You look like you'll have to show these guys not to us underestimate you. What is that, a fucking pike laser? <laughs> we have one of those two! <laughs> they actually do have one of those two is the problem, chat. Hang on. They, it's a pike v pike. They also have two tiers of shield now, which is not ideal. I might have to switch to Pierce for this. Oh, they fucked up. They're idiots. Okay, well, let's see if I do better. <laughs> it's too bad you can't tell the laser to target off of the ship. Oh, that's all of them. Unbelievable power. Kill yourselves. Go on. And back to your positions. Yes. Oh, were we on auto attack on that? Shit. That was my bad. I can stay on auto attack. Oh, for some reason, their shield dropped. They fucked up something. Oh, well. Yikes! They're dead! <laughs> It's over. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, what is this? An ion weapon? For me? Well, that would make... That would make the pike much worse, wouldn't it? If, for instance... If, for instance, I started using an ion charger to blast through someone's shield and then I just started piking them, you know what I mean? On two power? With a charge system? Well, that would be really fucked up to do that to someone. Anyways, I immediately upgrade my weapons one and upgrade my power bars and invest in charge ion cannon. Wow, yikes. Uh, not a good, uh, not, probably not a good time for most people right now. I got a pike and ion. That's really, uh, really fucked up, actually. And chat, here's the thing. Once I'm done breaking through the shields once with the pike, like with the, like I can just switch to uh, Pierce instead and just keep blasting them with the normal, like I can just use burst or something. Just kill them normally. Like once it's down once, they're never getting it back up. Because everything is going to break so fast, they aren't going to be able to focus on one of their jobs. Really fucked up. Actually, I should have this guy heal. Yes. 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 I Do I have time to help this poor person with their distress beacon? Yeah, I do. I have time. You arrive at a lonely planet orbiting a dying star. A quick scan of the planet's surface reveals a ship crash-landed on the far side of the planet. It's in shambles, but there's a chance someone may have survived. Pull closer. There's a ship here as no ordinary vessel. It's a massive rebel carrier. Unfortunate. For them. <laughs> Unfortunate. Is that your one gun? One gun, huh? That's unfortunate. That really isn't great. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, is that, hey, can I hit every system on your shittily designed vessel? Almost, let's see. That's not great for them. Anyways, let's switch to burst. Actually, let's switch to Pierce. Because that has a higher breach chance. Yikes. Yeah, 
it'll be it'll be up in the air which one I end up preferring of like just swapping from charge to pierce after, but probably pierce for the damage. That was sad. The rebel carrier was in worse condition than you thought. The rest of the fleet is offline, but they are defenseless against you. They give you some supplies as a surrender. All right. Uh, I technically chat. No, we can't warp into a warning zone. We're gonna be in the warning zone. We have to go to the exit now. Yeah, time to go. Ooh, a liberated sector. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Let's get out there. NG separatists. The separatists aren't huge fans of the Federation after they refuse support against the oppressive harmony trying to stifle them. However, they usually like to keep to themselves and hopefully it won't be too much of an issue for you. Harmony in this game is like a hive mind for NGs. Let's do a salvage mission. Oh my God. An emergency manual, what is that? Well-structured guide on emergency procedures adds extra options to last minute preparations before combat. I don't rarely, I rarely use those, but I could change. That could change if this is good enough. A separatist ship orbits the beacon, but before you can contact them, they jump away and an NG ship approaches. Federation assisting enemies of harmony, dilemma. Federation ship must be eliminated. I checked my manual. I can salvage scrap every fight now. Okay, that's awesome. Great, good shit. I checked my manual, it says scraps right there. Cute, was that an ion cannon? All right. Okay. Okay, assholes. All right, dickheads. <laughs> Play it your way. Yes. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to run, but without a steering wheel, that's going to be hard. We're going to start stifling their fucking shield and engine at the same time. Really not much more they can do. They got weapons back online. But it's not gonna be online for long. Yeah. Pike is fucked. Guys, this run is f fucked. This is fucked up. This is really messed up what I'm doing to these people right now. This is really cursed. Oh, there's a harmony link there. I believe if I kill them, I can make this place a better place for everyone. See, chat, what would make this actually better, and I know this is bad, I know it's bad, I know, would be a tiny bit more firepower. If we got burst on this fucking wild ride right now, chat. <laughs> Just a little bit more targeted damage on systems, and these guys are basically all donezo. Now we invest in shield, and that is it. Now we are 100% shield. It appears you've discovered a harmony link. These massive planet-sized structures are made up of trillions of nanobots and transmit a strong signal to all of the NG in the sector. However, it appears this one is no longer functional, likely sabotaged by the Separatists when they took control of the sector. A Separatist vessel is analyzing the harmony link. They either don't notice you or could care less of your presence. Hey, hi. Yes, we see you, Federation. If you wish to be useful, perhaps you could lend us some explosives. We are attempting to the demolition of Harmony Links. Sure, here's five missiles. Thanks. Wow. This isn't very helpful. We can't use these, but here's some money. Yeah. Bye. An automated ship emitting this distress... Uh, Pekin is looping a message in a calming female voice. This automated vessel has received critical hull damage. It has been programmed to give a reward to anyone who repairs it. It's like it's like a lottery. A long bent arm reaches out to the auto ship and collects a scrap. You watch in fascination as it patches itself back together. All right, you got it's, it's trying to kill me. They did it. They they socially hacked me. I got socially hacked. I don't know what else to say, other than they're gonna regret it. I got socially hacked. I don't know what else to say, chat, okay? It happened. But I'm gonna make them regret it. You dare try to, you dare socially hack me? 
Big mistake. All right, pussy. Big mistake. Socially hacking me. We should be using our charge. I just remembered how I do it. Yeah, I remember how I do it. I want to. I don't want to aim the charge ion cannon at the shields because it's going to do that anyways whenever it hits the shields. I want to aim my charge cannons at the weapons because then when the shields aren't up, it's going to hit weapons instead. Because it doesn't matter. We want to aim weapons. We got all of our scrap back and seven more. Time to start. We want to save some because I do need to level up my uh, fucking. I do need to level up my hull. Gotta bring it back up. It's a little low. We've been. Yeah, we haven't been gaining much scrap in the grand scheme. It seems like we have, but it's not really been as much of a gain as, I, as I'd like. Oh, Hector needs to heal. Hector, go heal. Hector. Very good, Hector. Very good. Very good. Heal yourself. It's time to travel. Onwards. I don't really like the layout of this place, but I do like the idea of finding a person to kill. Ah, yes. A rebel ship hails you. Federation scum! We've waited long for this. Uh... You wanted to get more scrap? Hey, Otto, can you hold that thought? I reach my hand out of the ship and I pick up some garbage. Wow, that's got fast charge, that thing. Nice miss, pussy, I say on the line. Now get a load of this one. Now, now get a load of this one. Hey, now how about you get a load of this one? Well, we can just sort of kick back and let this ship kill itself now. It's pretty much over. The weapons are completely disabled. They're trying to leave, which I find adorable. Switch, uh, switch the ion cannons to their engines. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know, I was intending on using some of that for the, uh, some of that hull there. To, some of that scrap to buy more hull, but two shields also sounds really nice. Get this O2 repaired. I know. There, nice and fixed. No problem. Now we're gonna need... <laughs> do I do that psycho thing I do when I have one power too low and I just instead fucking cut the engines and just sit there like a sitting duck like a fucking idiot. I'm thinking I might. Hey, Robaz. Thanks for the raid, man. Thanks for the fucking raid. I'm playing FTL with mods. It's pretty good. This was the site of a recent battle. Either a show of Mantis Force or the NG here weren't disposed to go peacefully. You pick through the pieces. Okay. Have I already salvaged here? Yes. It's a pretty good mod. It's called Multiverse. I bet you'd like it, man. I bet you'd like it. Bring you one more power bar. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. The good old double shield. Now we get to Mantises and sell our garbage, and then we can repair our hull. A Separatist vessel hails you. Your situation with the fleet is known. We have a proposition. Help us with killing a hostile ship, and we will delay the fleet. Sure. I'll kill the auto ship. It's, well, it's got a cloak. That's it. Not even shield. Well, hang on. Let me check my manual. And get some more, uh, money. I'm not too worried about one auto outrider. Especially when I'm about to disable his cloaking. Honk. All right, his cloaking's down. I'll start getting his weapons out of the way. 
Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> That's a dead. That there's a dead body. Hey, Brian, let me introduce, let me introduce you to the Pike Laser. My most powerful weapon. Yes. Yes. It's over. Sad. Twenty-five dollars. Very good. Now for now for your end of the offer. Please do not move your ship. The Separatists run a scan over your ship, giving you a tingly feeling all over your body. The Separatists hail you again, this time looking very similar to you. My job is less than 100%, but it will work for now. I have masked your jump signature. The fleet will now follow me. Good day. All right, thanks. Cool guy. Know me. Repair your body. Return to your positions. I kind of want more power bars, but I have to save money for my hull. I have to. Wait, hang on. Not know me. Uh, you go help with this. Yes. All right. Yeah, we have time now to do a lot more stuff. We're going to check everything in this area. Hell yeah. An NG, Feder an NG ship hails you, though their camera has been turned off. Federation, we request request aid and search for traitors. We require supplies. That is ins- Uh, no, NG crew, please negotiate. Your NG crew requests to communicate with them. The NG ship does not respond, and after continuous hails, their weapons go online. Now, this is a big mistake for them. Uh, I'm going to check my manual for scrap. Got it. Uh, this is a big mistake. We'll see how this plays out for them, though. Maybe this is going to... Maybe they'll win. Good shit. No me. As soon as the pike is up, they die. It's up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, what's the best way to fucking kill them all? That's all the best spots. That's honestly what I want to do. Yes! Yes! Alright. Ion Blast, their fucking drone now. I'm getting sick of it. Turn that thing off. Turn that off. Kill him. <laughs> Pathetic. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye, have a good day, goodbye. Let's go to the Mantis store. Let's fucking repair our hull finally, it's been too long. It's been way too long. The Mantis crew here has hunkered down the abdomen of a long dead space whale, the only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Sure. Your approach is met by a curious Mantis ship with distinct spikes of power in their weapon system. Federation come to shut down? Refusal. No, I just want to shop. I just want to shop. And no bullshit. Just want to shop. I'm gonna sell this shitty drone. Got money now to finally heal. They're selling lore in here. This would honestly be so good to have an antivirus system. Wait. Yeah, probably want the 61, which I can't afford. We'll stick with what we have for now. I'm not, I don't. I don't like. I don't like buying things. You know, I don't like buying things ever. We don't. We don't need anything from these people. We're good. That was it. We just wanted to heal. Let's keep moving. Double pike? No, no. You follow the distress beacon into a tiny asteroid field. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. I offer them for I offer them help. They respond, help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. Try to shield their ship with yours. That's 100% fucking worth it. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some of the scrap and fuel they were mining out of the asteroid is thanks. 28 is insanely good value for that. Absolutely worth it insane worth out of that 
Two ships, both NG, are fighting at this beacon. Once one belongs to the Harmony, the other belongs to the Separatists. Hail the ship. Uh, and then side with the Separatists, Dadoi. Prepare to die, Harmony. Your actions here might not please the NG Harmony. I don't like the NG Harmony. I don't know why I'm getting notoriety for that. Why is this on fire? <laughs> Look at that laser cannon fucking drone. They think that's gonna stop the pike. That's funny. That's fucking funny. That's really good. That's oh, they got an eye on. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Okay then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're done. They're done. It's already over. These poor fucking bastards. Here it comes. <laughs> yes. Oh, an unfortunate death. We wish the harmony would, harmony would leave this sector. Still, I thank you, Federation. Perhaps if I take refuge on your ship, I will be safe from their scouts, says L6437. Welcome, L. What are you good at? Nothing. Well, go repair things. And then I want you on doors. What a pretty name. I want you on door duty, all right? That'll be your position. Got some time still before the fucking resistance is here. Before you even have time to react, a foreign vessel comes barreling towards you. You've never seen or heard of a ship like this. What the fuck is that? But you don't have time to question it. Get ready for a fight. All right, so I'm gonna check my emergency manual. <laughs> I could detonate 10 of my missiles to destroy whatever this person is. And judging by the look of them, that might- I'm gonna do it! I blasted with 10 missiles! It didn't uh, do anything and I'm confused. But uh, I don't know, maybe it did and I just can't see the results. I burned 10 missiles on nothing. Oh, they're still attacking me. It's fine. I don't think they're gonna win, frankly. Damn, we missed that. Well, that's the first thing to attack then before they destroy the fucking whole deal. Hang on. This is a tricky... I guess this is the best one to do. Yeah, there we go. They're trying to leave. I'm not surprised. Don't let them. Siri? All right, they missed that. Okay, full targeting on the fucking engines then. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Fancy ship. The mysterious vessel is dead. You scrap its smooth white hull while the rainbow lights continue to flicker on and off. Easy money. We got time to go to this last spot and then leave. And then I need to upgrade some stuff. We got a lot of money. We got a lot of money. A separatist ship floats around nearby, slowly distancing itself from you. You're somewhat baffled. That quick scan show no crew aboard, but the ship seems fully functional and responsive. Let's try to talk to it. You try to reach out, but every time the ship picks up, all you hear is a faint buzzing noise. There's ghosts on that fucking ship. Kill them. The mystery of the ship doesn't matter to you. The only thing on your mind is the rewards of killing this ship. Kill them. There's, I've seen ghosts in this fucking game. There's ghosts on that ship. We're killing them. There's like bees or something. There's like a swarm of bees. Look what they're doing! Look what they did, they're selling a fucking robot onto the ship! NG's form on him! I, it's robots on the ship, it's a robot ship! They flashbanged me. They actually flashbanged me. Okay, well, um... She aim, aim at the weapons. And we're gonna pike him. Wow, this is gonna be, a, this is a nasty pike. Okay. Prepare the hole, and then we'll... This asshole is fucking just doing weird AoE shit and disabling all my systems. This guy sucks. Whatever, kill him. I think they're dead. Yeah, we won. 
Strange Separatist ship is dead and you scrap its remains. You prepare to move on when a squeaky, high-pitched voice speaks from behind you. You turn around to see a gray cloud of nanobots floating in random directions around the room. Outcome! Wonderful! Appreciation maximum! Sarcasm 100%! You have destroyed my ship! Now I have no choice but to integrate myself with yours! Murderbot dispersal! Borders take damage over time on your ship. The name makes it sound a lot more violent than it is. All right. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Murderbot. That'll help. A lot of the worst things that happen to me are when people board my ship. I'll take it. All right, why are we not getting oxygen in that? Oh, there's no power. <laughs> there's no power to oxygen. I was like, why is that guy not breathing? Why isn't that guy fucking breathing? Sometimes I forget when we, like, for some reason, oxygen shuts down or I shut it down. I just forget to ever turn it back on again. I was looking at some guy fucking dying in a corner. Okay. We carry on to the exit. Ooh, fancy. You arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Let's take a look around. You arrive at the next beacon only to find only to be immediately helped by a small shuttle. Help us! We're under attack by pirates! Sure. Ew, what's wrong with that pirate ship? Check my manual for scrap. Did they confuse one of my guys? Okay. I can live with that. They're attacking the engine. I'll, I'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Breathing, oh mega lull. Oh no. It also froze my plant guy in the building. That's fine. We're about to stop him. He'll be fine in there. Alright. <laughs> Time to fucking kill him. The pike! What the fuck was that? Don't worry about it. Just keep pinging shots at these people now. Yeah, it's over. The Pike! Again! The Pike is so strong, dude. They're dead. This sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hollers. Thanks. That's not really very helpful to me, but I appreciate it anyways. Oh, no. Neither of these are very good, but last time I went to the Duskbringer place, I think I got fucking destroyed, if I remember correctly, right? I, um, I don't think I want to go to the Duskbringer. I'd rather deal with the automated place, because I have an ion cannon. And almost anything that a robot can do, I can shut down with the auto cannon. Like the ion thing. I'm gonna go to the shipyard. I'm not going to the Duskbringers. I'm just not. The sector is one of the automated rebel shipyards. It's maintained almost entirely by auto ships and a few rebel engineers. You receive a message from the auto guard. This is unit A786, your identity. Federation, Federation ships are not permitted to enter this sector, entering hostile deterrence mode. Well, I knew this was gonna happen from the moment I arrived in this sector. They're already confusing my poor guy. He has no idea what's happening. It's fine. We'll be okay. I'm not too worried about these guys. Okay, they bombed my fucking thing and shut down the goddamn charge weapon. It's not gonna fucking matter, though. Pike! We got some of it. Fuck you. Help me repair that. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Door guy, go over here. They're gonna keep targeting the fucking weapons for sure, for sure. Okay. Yes. Pike. Again, you catch chatter on another ship, mentioning something about a signal requesting for ASB backup. Okay, we gotta hurry this up. Uh, it's time to start speeding up this kill. I think. With that in mind. Uh, let's get charge blasts on the fucking 
drones now. Turn that thing the fuck off. Okay, we need to stop having the pike automatically go. Oh, it's coming! Chad, it's coming! The ASB is coming! Oh, Jesus Christ! Alright, uh, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Can we get you two down there to repair that, please? 41 scrap! It was worth it! That was 100% worth it. Uh, let's get a salvage mission out. Another 16. Okay. So we got some money. Now, you know what I kind of want? I kind of want... more weapons. But I don't think that's a good idea. What I really do want, though, is a power bar. I want another power bar. For sure. I definitely want another power bar. And that's just sort of to have for dodge. Because dodge is good. Dodge is very good. We need people. We need to hire more employees. Wow, this place looks kind of scary. Well, um... Let's go here. A small shuttle appears in the local radar. It turns out to be a rebel automated scout. How many times are we gonna do this before you guys... Is that an ion beam cannon? <laughs> You can't, that's not, that's against the rules. You can't just have one of those. Really? 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 Oh, really? We're doing this? Really? They fucking shut off my charge thing, you assholes. NG, go help them repair it. All right, well. Wow, we missed, so that's worthless now. It's like that fucking, gr like, perfect storm of bullshit that I, that drives me crazy, dude. When these guys get one shot on the weapons and we never, ever, ever, ever have charge again. And it's just like, shrug. <laughs> Guess we'll just be sitting here. For a bit. Uh, the pike's not going to be up in time, but their shields are sort of damaged. We might live, but, uh... It's always annoying. God, this is like the worst. I don't think these two can... Yeah, we can't reach all of it. Uh, well, their weapons are pieces of shit right now, so I'm going to pike that. Try to slow them down a little. We'll live, barely. By the looks of things. Fucking barely we'll live. God, they're fucking... They must have an insane amount of weapons. Power. No, kill him. Hey, well, we got a lot of scrap, and we're going to need to invest that in shields now because of all this. That wasn't great, but these, these mechanical ships are rough. I'm not sure we're going to find many shops out here, so I might need to use my scrap to repair personally at empty uh, stations. Actually, let's heal first. We'll be okay. I think we're going to be all right. But uh, I need... We need more power. We need more power. And by power, I mean, I think we honestly need more firepower. <laughs> but I definitely don't have enough units to do that. So that's not great. Everyone back to your positions for now. This mod looks much harder than standard. It probably is. But I like the challenge. I think it's great. And I think it makes it much more apparent when you have a good build. But I don't know. I've never felt like I've had a terrible build in this. There are definitely things I could do better. Like I should be using the NG's nano form. Which would get me out of some issues. Having pierce would be really good. Instead of burst. at this point. I think I'm gonna switch to Pierce for now. So there's robots in every one of these fucking ship areas. So that's not great. 
We're gonna have to hope and pray. Only the rebels see the opportunity to make their engineer ships as deadly as their primary fleet. One such ship stands in front of you and attacks. I can spend fork scrap to get one hull repaired. It's uh, it's been a pleasure, guys. It really has. <laughs> but they've uh, they have truly. It's not looking good unless I fucking execute this first attack really well, and they don't do. Okay, they fucked up. That was a big fuck up on their part. Uh. Let's try to get this right. I need to disable their shield first. Okay, turn off auto fire for now. I still have the pike. Uh, I need to wait for Pierce to be up before I use it. I want another. Why did my guy? Why did my Pierce still shoot there? I'm like, I'm in maximum focus mode right now. I don't know if you can notice. The pike! We got him. We got him. We got him. Keep their shields down, just kill them. Yikes. You receive a hail from the rebel ship right as it explodes, but it's too late. The face of the captain begging for his life briefly flashes before he is consumed by the fire in front of your own eyes. Yeah. It's all ships, huh? This is, uh, gonna be a rough couple sections. Well... Getting another level of shields might be good. But maybe if we have scrap, we can bribe them, the robots. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. If I turn it on... No, it's, just, it's probably just going to delay the fleet, which is not something we're planning on doing. We're trying to leave. I'm just going to get the scrap and go. We're, we're just trying to leave as fast as we can right now from this place. A pre-recorded message plays over the intercom and is advised that you do not attack this ship. I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm going to perform a task to repair the hull. Which will uh, We can use seven of our drones to get seven hull. That's huge. Okay, let's go. I love that mechanic. I love it when you don't have anything to do and you can, like, actually spend your resources. An auto ship patrolling the sector has not spotted you yet. We're going to fight this one. I know what you're thinking. Tomato, you fucking kidding me? Quiet, you. I need... Look. Look. Okay? Look. All they have is a confusion thing. And some normal-looking weapons. And my plant. <laughs> I'm not worried about Hector doing enough damage to really fuck up anything. Was that a bomb? They cut the cameras. Okay. Asshole, uh, since we're doing this today. The shield is down. Yes. The pike. Stuff's looking pretty good on this one. Keep hitting their shield and their weapons on like a normal, good old fashioned rotation. Here it comes. Here comes the big pike. Ooh, this is an automated message. You are to cease attacking this auto drone and in return, it will dispense a section of its cargo. Do I already have three augments? The fuel conserver is not very helpful to me. I'm going to kill it. Because I'll get more scrap and more fuel. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 
Yes. This is the only way we escape this fucking hellhole. A ship full of rebel engineers is under attack. From a pirate vessel, they hail you and request for you to save them. Will you pay me? We'll help them, but only because if I kill the pirates, I'll make money. Not because, not because I like you or anything, okay? Let's get that out of the way. I should have repaired the camera. <laughs> Door boy, repair that camera. Do your fucking job. Ha! You'll never punch through my fucking three shield, shield, fool. Now die! Nice misses. We can't use the pike yet. Because uh, the shield survived. But now we can. Nope, it still survived. Go figure. Now we can. Now we can. Now it's over. I can't get both. All right, that one then. Yes. I love this music, dude. Holy shit. Such good tracks. I need a better... Uh, we need to upgrade the pierce to something else, though. The pierce is honestly just a filler weapon. It's just there because there's no real other option. Oh, look at all that money. An engineer? The engineer's ship is in poor condition. I, I didn't expect you to actually help. I have no ship left, no crew, nothing. I suppose it will do me no harm to work aboard yours. Wow, a pilot. But you're not a better pilot than my actual pilot, Emily. That's fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine if I really did that? <laughs> I will actually be switching this guy off of it uh, because this guy has some experience in fighting and uh, punching, which makes him, Hasifa, better at being a mobile guy. Yeah, haha. <laughs> yeah, haha. That's fucking funny and weird, streamer. I honestly thought you would. Nah, I need more people. An engineer ship at this beacon is busy repairing a broken auto ship. As soon as they see you, they abandon the wreck to attack. Foolish. Wow, that's a lot of fucking drones. You guys are uh, gonna be bullying me all day with this? You guys came and punched through my fucking shield. Pathetic. Look at all of you. <laughs> Even when you disrupt them with ion cannons, you can't punch through them. Truly sad. Okay, we missed both of those charge shots, so we're just gonna... gonna hold these. Really embarrassing when you miss this many charge shots, but it looks like it's a stalemate. It doesn't look like these guys can actually punch through my shields. I might have too much for them. So I'm just gonna hold the charge until we're at maximum power instead. I genuinely don't think they can punch through my shield. They can't. It's a stalemate. Okay. And... Pikin. <laughs> Look at them panic. <laughs> Pathetic. I aim for the crew specifically. O2 unpowered, I know. Sometimes I just like to see how fucking long it takes. How long I can, le like, just fucking hoard power and healing. And that's what I usually say to pretend that I didn't forget. Which I did. I definitely forgot. But hey, at least now we can see that Hector produces his own oxygen, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Well. I'm gonna check all these spots. Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. A nearby automated rebel hacker has used a s local satellite to deploy a virus to disrupt your shield systems. Hopefully it won't cause further problems and you before you can destroy it. LOL, imagine not having three shields, pussy, is all the robot hears as I hang up on him. You cut my cameras too, asshole? Really? 
Well, I know what I'm aiming for first. Nice miss. Shields down. They don't even have shields. Embarrassing. Piking. And blasting. We took a little bit of hull damage on that, but uh, we'll live. Wow, their fucking laser things are real pieces of shit, huh? Turn that off. No, we're just going to keep missing. We miss every attack in the fucking game, and that's why we'll die here. We miss most attacks. No, we won't die, but it's going to hurt. They hurt us very badly. But we live. Barely. Engies, do your fucking job and repair that thing. That was close. But I don't think it was close because I did anything wrong. I just think it was close because fucking shield hacking. I don't have any antivirus, so uh, that was like the worst thing that they could have possibly done to me. Where's that O2 at? There we go. Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hasifa, your job is no longer that. Your job is cameras. Don't forget it. Stay in your lane. All right, we got a new pilot. And they're better than you. And faster and smarter. Sad. Really sad. Replaced. I'm not really very interested in fighting that possible ship at this point. I think I'm going to take the exit and hope there's no one here. It's a Senate station. Yo! Yo, I'll, you see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra 48 scrap. It's been a pleasure, folks. It really has. Mmm, none of these sound... What's a, what's a leech domain? <laughs> What the fuck is this leech domain? <laughs> you, I don't think I'm gonna find anywhere to fucking repair my goddamn ship in a leech domain. But I don't. I, shell parts sounds like parts. That sounds like a place to get repairs. I'm not going to leech domain. <laughs> I'm not going to leech domain. Shells are usually friendly. But their cultural practices often lead to misunderstandings with races that they attempt to run harmless experiments on abducted crew. Try to be tolerant and the shells won't cause much of an issue to you. Okay, it's uh, snails. These guys are going to cause issues with me. You have arrived in the shell sector. The shells developed on the same planet as the slugs, but where the slugs gain the power to read minds, shells evolved to be highly toxic and have a hard exterior. The shells value well-maintained defenses, not only on their ships, but their sector as a whole. As a result... Guard ship has been deployed to protect the entrance beacon. Fortunately, they don't seem to mind you being here. I'm going to contact them. A small shell appears on the screen. Their singular eye locked onto yours waiting. I'm going to re request supplies. They're, to your surpri surprise, the shells transfer over some supplies. You wonder if they're doing it out of kindness or out of fear. Yeah, they should be scared. That guy's got a pike, and he looks like he barely has any life left in him. He's probably crazy. You guys got a fucking store in this shit all I gotta repair. Do something on board. Perform a task. Repair the hull, please. We It's so much fucking scrap, but I have to. 55 fucking scrap. Wow, this is the worst laid out map ever. This is cursed. We keep going down. Hmm. Perhaps the last ship you'd expect to see these nebulas were a Suzerian. Even less so, one who hails you almost immediately after you jump in. Captain, Captain, these shells, they're very interesting, yes? I lo I'm looking to capture one and use it for personal claw sharpener, but keep sawing in half, the mantis chuckles. Do happen to have shell I can use? No, I gotta go. I'm not fighting mantises with a boarding thing without mantises on my ship. Uh-uh. Bye. Thank you for thank you for the time. You're a mothership. I'm not fighting you. You notice a shell vessel heavily damaged but still partially operational drifting nearby. Suddenly the computer registered an unwanted teleporter signal. 
A shell materializes on the ship and quickly rolls away into a far corner. <laughs> Not long after, a slug clansman comes out from the nebula, firing a shot into the shell's ship, destroying it. It's not hard to piece two and two together. Guild Deadshot. Those look like laser guns. <laughs> I'm scared of a laser gun. I might have. I might make a new friend if I protect this guy. Oh, baby. You wait and hope for the slugs to pass. Bye. Fortunately, they don't seem to think anything of your ship and they ignore you. The shell thanks you for keeping their secret and offers to work alongside your crew. Tell Darren. You're very good at weapons. But not as good as my other weapons guy. Look at you. Rolling around. What's your deal? What else do you do? Take double damage from asphyxiation. Not good. Takes 0.9 damage in combat. Good combat guy. Uh, active ability. Okay. Violently combusts. Taking heavy self damage and damaging nearby enemy crew and systems. Slowly regenerates health afterwards. So they're a fucking thing that we send to board when we have a boarding thing. Slug. Slug store. Slug store. The nearby slug station is soliciting various suspiciously reasonably priced items. In fact, it seems so normal that you're almost certain it's a trick. I'm going to dock. To your surprise, everything goes smoothly. No tricks, no traps, nothing. They let you into the store to take your time. Oh, they're killing you. Okay, they're trying to kill us now. All right, we're going to fight them instead. We're fighting. I'm going to detonate my ammunition reserves to cripple their weapons. Oh, they're still letting me shop. Can I have a repair? Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd also like to... Uh... Hmm. I don't think that's an intended design of the game. But I'm definitely not going to... Not gonna dis. I'm not gonna decline that. Hey, um. Mind control sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. They crippled my engine systems, and now they've boarded. So I'm gonna mind control one of their own guys. It didn't. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna mind control one of. Oh, maybe they're immune to mind control, these guys? That might be it. Go to them. Go to them. Go to them and kill them. Wait, where are they fucking... It's a real mess in here. But, uh... They're, they've been cloaked for hours, these fucking assholes. There they are, finally. This is a big fucking scary ship. Alright, everyone went back to where they're supposed to be. I can't see them yet, so I can't personally tell where to attack yet. But I will in a minute, and I'm going to confuse the fuck out of them. You. Kill your own... Oh, I guess they really are immune, these guys. Oh, well. In a second, they're going to all be dead. As soon as my pike is charged, you're all dead. Do you understand me? Oh, look at this guy waiting to board again. There he goes, not realizing it was the last time that would ever happen. Yes. Actually, I kind of want to get weapons. This is going to be really messed up. So I piked them. Can you go fucking kill this slug? Wait. That works. You two wait there for him. If he lives. <laughs> hey. All right. He's dead. Back to your positions. Nomi is currently shooting our shields. We have to interrupt them now. Oh, they're fine. Very good. Very good. Everything's fine. Back to your positions. These guys don't have any weapons. Like, they're very low power. Like, their only thing they have is their confusion shit. They're fucked. I'm gonna punch right through this and kill him. Yes. 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 Look at them. They, all they can do is cloak and hide. 
they have a pike. Yeah, but what good is it if they can't punch through three levels of shield? Sad. Can't even punch through three levels of shield. That gigantic ship and nothing to show for it. Fucking nothing. <laughs> I'm actually gonna wait for my oxygen to build up before I jump to the next spot. Feel stupid to jump out this fast. Ooh, I gotta order food. I need to like get some kind of food in my system or I'm gonna die. I'm gonna actually die. For real. RIP store? Well, no, they're still open. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're still open. Don't worry. No, we can. They're still open. Don't panic. Don't panic. They're still, they're still open. Do I order Indian? I don't know. Fuck, I don't know if I want Indian. I don't know if Indian's the call. The bell? No, chat. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We'll probably just, I'll make myself something later tonight. Fuck it. There's nothing else to buy or sell. Those murder bots were doing work too, though. It's pretty good stuff out there, murder bots. Unauthorized non show personnel have been identified on your vessel. Under orders of Director and Standing President Nerva, Federation officials are not allowed in the Geneocracy territory. You will be removed. Awful lot of shields on that fucking ship, chat. This might be a dark one. This might be a dark day. What is that, a Gatling cannon? They just bored me with all those stinky boys. Not gonna fly. Go help him. Kill him. <laughs> nice try punching through my shields, pussy. You lost one of your guys and you don't have a cloning lab, so that guy's dead forever. Sad. Just beat through the shield, goddammit! We didn't get... We have to do it again. That's gonna be rough. I'm gonna have to switch the burst to punch through the shield. I mean, they're not gonna kill me either. They'll just keep boarding me and then people will die trying to board me and we'll just be here forever? You know, if it wasn't a nebula, I'd be able to see them and I could like confuse one of them. But I, if I can't see them, I can't do that. Please, still not through it, but we're getting there. But they're also getting there. What is happening? I'm getting, like, more shots. Oh, it's the fucking Gatling. It's speeding up. This is really bad. We gotta shut down the shields. We have to shut down the shields. If we can't get through the shields soon, they're just gonna overwhelm us and kill us. I need to pike them. That was lucky timing. I win. That sucked. All right, that Gatling thing was strong. I gotta be careful about those. That Gatling thing was the problem. Let's get everything repaired. I got, if I get one of those, that'd be really good. I also know now if I see a guy on a Gatling gun, uh, instantly kill weapons, target only their weapons. I mean, it was a problem because they had three shields and I'm using pike. What I should have done was when I saw three shields, I should have switched to burst because there's no point even having the pike up if there's, 
if I can't punch through it. I should have switched off of Pike immediately and switched to Burst. I'll do that next time. Let's uh, get everyone healed. Go on, everyone. Go and get yourselves healed. Back to your position. No problem, no problem. Easy peasy. I wish that slug shop wasn't exploded. I mean, no, it's still technically open, is the thing. I'm going back to repair. They're technically open. Technically, they're open. Go repair. Now we're leaving. They're technically open. They're dead, but they're open. What the hell? Emily, what happened to Emily? Emily, why are you dying? Are you like in a void? Oh, there's no oxygen. I haven't had oxygen on in hours. Emily hasn't had oxygen in years. I always forget about the person on the fucking steering wheel because I don't care about them very much, frankly. All right, Emily. Let's get you healed really quick. You're never punching through the shields. Give it up. Shields are still not down. Mm. Oh, two misses. Okay, we hold our weapons then. There's no reason even bothering until Pyrrhus is back up now. Please, the fucking shields. These guys have some insane... Emily's actually going to die because I'm losing track of everything and I'm not using oxygen. They're not getting their oxygen because I fucking accidentally... I, I fucked up. Can we please punch through this one fucking shield? Thank you. It's funny how much I, I need like a... Honestly, we've been starved on weapons, chat. Someone is in O2 currently destroying it. No. No. No live. No live. Only die. I need to focus. No, Emily, you are fucking staying there. Everything's gonna be fine, chat. We just need a better weapon. I don't know, maybe Burst would be better than Pierce at this point, because we're only, we're trying to hit the shield. We don't really want it going, I think we want Burst over Pierce. Because we're trying, to, we want to hit the shield. We want to break the shield so that the pike can actually hit. We just need stuff hitting the shield for that to work. The pike does the rest. I don't think I need the Pierce. How long has this hole been here? For weapons? Yeah, that's a really good suggestion. If I had the money and the power bars to do that, which I don't. <laughs> that would be a good suggestion. If I had any of the resources required to do that thing you suggested. Hey, a store for civilians. Let's go with these distress signals first. And we've been in Nebula, so the fucking thing I invested my money on is uh, worthless. You spot a shell ship approaching a small slug transport. You aren't sure what the slugs did to deserve this, but the slugs are in trouble. Do I see any Gatling guns on it? I see everything on this shitty fucking ship. Ignore it. I'm not helping them. <laughs> I'm not helping them. <laughs> They're on their own. Repair seven of our hull with the fucking drones. Okay, I actually am not, I don't have enough time to go to the store because of the layout of this map. But that's fine now that I'm healed anyways. You discovered a slug clansman's resting outside of the nebula. However, as soon as they spot you, they abandon the rest and attack immediately. Big mistake. Okay, because I can actually see, never mind. 
kill that guy. God damn it, I hate that slugs are all immune to fucking confusion, dude. It's so annoying. Ah! This cool thing I bought is totally fucking worthless in this one zone. It's so aggravating. Destroy their fucking sh or miss every shot. All right, be back in a minute. <laughs> I, I we'll be back in a minute. And that guy's back. That's fine. He blew himself up. Someone blew themselves up in the camera room. Why they're trying to take cameras, I don't know. Get ready to be fucking piked, all right, assholes. Enjoy. Fuck all of you, all right? Go back home. Go back home. Learn a valuable lesson here. Go to hell. They've cut my shields entirely. God damn, we miss a lot of fucking shots on this ship. Like, a lot of fucking shots. And somehow our fucking shields are still down. They've disabled my confusion machine. Dude, come on! Just switch to Pierce. Just fucking blast him with everything we have. I'm getting... Waiting around for pikes to happen is becoming less and less relevant when our guns to break shields are so bad and we miss all the time. Just fucking beat the shit out of them. There. Now we can switch back to pike. Now that we've got them down, they clipped. Now that we've got them down, it's a little easier to keep them down. No, 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 no. After all this, no, 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 Pike, Pike. Pike. Yeah, I need a better weapon. We need to find a store that'll sell me a better weapon for breaking shields specifically that isn't ion. Cause this ion, I don't know why. These things aren't doing, these things aren't finishing off the shields all the way. But I guess I could just do some juggling between the two sta like stances. It's also, it's also not helpful that the ones fuck, we're in a fucking zone where everyone is either A, immune to mind control, or B, in a nebula where we can't see them to mind control them. And that's been like the entire zone. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just like a comedy of unfortunate circumstances. We need a Gatling laser gun. We need like one of those Gatling things to punch through the shield. Once we're through, it's easy. We've got it. Then the ion, we can just use the ion charger to like finish them off and just hold the shield down. But right now, mm, we'll go here. We'll go here. We need the scrap. It appears you've run into one of the dangerous members of the Exotic Hunters Guild. These slug hunters tend to hunt shells for their armor, but they aren't above hunting humans as well. Well, they've got confusion shit. They've confused the guy in cameras. No point having Pike up. I'm learning. Did they board somewhere? They're also trying to shoot into cameras, like fucking idiots. I don't know uh, what they're thinking there, but we're gonna uh, preemptively turn both of these places into gas zone. Okay, that guy is no longer uh, the guy uh, the guy that I want to kill. He's now my friend again. We got one hit and we missed every ion shot, so we can't keep it down. Okay, hold it again. Hold it again. <laughs> Hold it again. And uh, when we have it all back up, we can go again. Yep. Yep, miss everyone. 
Missed every single one. <laughs> dude. Dude, they got a dodge build. Dude, there's not much we can do, man. They pretty much got us dead to rights out here, man. They got a dodge build. Dodge build. Dodge build. Dodge build. We're going to lose. We're going to actually lose. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Aside from kill every slug as they show up because they don't have a cloning bay. Essentially, we can what we can do, chat, is stall them until they're all dead because they all board us one at a time. That's what we can do. Just fucking blast them completely. Fucking finally. Okay. Auto fire charge on that. We got that locked down. Switch to pike. Nope, it's still up. Never mind. It, pike is becoming sort of worthless, unfortunately, in this new scenario we're in. Where the shields are never properly down. Honestly, get rid of the fucking charge ions. Oh my god, the ice gun. The fucking ice gun. Just keep repairing the oxygen. Eventually they'll send a trillion slugs to board us and we'll kill them all over time. It's sad that that's, yeah, the ion, the charge thing just sucks now. Just chill out, <laughs> cool it. I think the ion thing is just sort of falling off in power. You know what I mean? No. No, no. No, no. I want their fucking guns. I want their triple firing guns. This asshole. Go repair your own medical bay, jackass. I don't think I like the ion gun anymore. I think it's sort of falling off. Give me a better gun. Can I get like a shop that sells guns? Coal store, that might be it. Hang on, that might be our guy. No one panic, that might be our guy though. Who's hurt? You three over here. Hey, at least Roland guy has been good. They've done some good stuff out there. I have all this money. I just want to run into that black market guy. If I run into him, chat, I might finally be able to be happy. <laughs> If I see him again, I might be able to be happy. I just need to see him one more time. Tell him how I really feel. You know? But instead, I'm probably gonna fucking die. Looks like there's a coalition market here. As you would expect, they certainly aren't trading with you a federation ship unless you can find some way of convincing them. What, do they have two shields? What kind of guns are those? <laughs> I'm not going to try talking with them. This is going to fucking kill me anyways. I'm, I'm going to kill them. They don't have any special tricks other than cloak. I'm just going to fucking attack them. If I die, I die. That's just life at this point. At least I can see them. At least I can see them and that means I can do this. Mantis! Destroy their doors! Yes! Yes, I was actually hoping the mantis would uh, go somewhere else and kill him because it's a mantis, but he can destroy doors. Wow, that's an awful lot of fucking shield damage. Uh... Yes, fucking at last. At least we're able to get some stuff done. Yeah, the ion charger is not paying off anymore in comparison to the alternative of just burst and pierce back to back. No, 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 no. No more. In this economy? In this economy? Nah, we don't do that anymore. No. Oh, wait, stop firing and trade. Sure, yeah, let's trade. You don't sell any fucking weapons, though. But I'll take a repair. Yes. 
like I'm just gonna fucking sell this thing. No, I should keep it for now, just in case. Jams the enemy shield generator, weakening the enemy shield system by two bars, uses one power and one, two power, one fuel. I don't have the space for that on my augmentations without getting rid of my emergency manual. Fuck, that's really good. <laughs> I kind of want that. Get out! Get the fuck out! Get out of my inventory! Did you just attack me? So where do I see that? That shield generator thing. You attack them, and we both attack each other, okay? I guess before combat, because I have a lot of fuel. Fuel's one thing. I can just buy more of that. That's like free real estate. <laughs> it's way better than counting on the ions. We need to go. It's time to leave. Yeah, we're out of here. Please, somewhere nice. Crystalline Rimworlds, I'm on my way, baby. Ah! We're going to the- we're going to somewhere nice! The Crystal Sector is usually newly colonized and ever-expanding as their civilizations struggle to claim territory for their own. A melting pot of opinions. You can never- I'm ordering Indian food. They're totally closed by now. I missed my fucking chance. <laughs> Why? Why did this happen to me? You know what's the worst part, chat? You know what's the fucking worst part of it all? I'm gonna order the bell. <laughs> I'm gonna order the fucking bell. I'm punching in my password right now. Hi, DoorDash, it's me. Hi, DoorDash, it's me, your friend. Do you, do you still have Taco Bell on this, on this app? Yeah, yeah, we still have Taco Bell. What do you, what, what, what do you want from Taco Bell? Oh, yeah. You know, you know, uh, maybe, it, maybe, maybe two Chalupa Supremes? No, 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 no. Yeah, two Chalupa Supremes and a Baja Blast Small. Try the Black Bean Quesarito. No! Whenever I get beans in, with something from Taco Bell, it's like poison and my stomach explodes. Two Chalupa Supremes and... <laughs> Can I get a number nine, a number five, a number four, two number threes, a number two... <laughs> And, chat, I'm a man, okay? All right? And men order Crunchwrap Supremes no matter what, okay? Shut your fucking mouths. It's how I am, and it's how I'll always be. Real men, no matter how much they're ordering from Taco Bell, pull, slam that fiver down and they say, and I'll have a Crunchwrap Supreme with that. And the fucking, the cashier nods solemnly and points to the toilets and says, that's what the queso will do to you. And you say, I know. I fucking know. I know. But then you order it anyways. Even though it's not even the Taco Bell near your house. It's the one fucking 20 minutes away. And you accept it anyways. Because your life is gone. It's over. The only way you justify the purchase is by knowing 
deep in your heart that you made more money today streaming than the cost of the fucking bell. And you resign yourself to your fate and you continue on. The crystals have been divided ever since they left their homeworld. Some split off to join the coalition, others have sought out the Federation. A third group, however, has decided to establish new sectors around the galaxy, such as this one. Contact the guard. Mm, aliens, hmm, there was once a time seeing so many new creatures would have come as a shock to me, but no longer. For what reason have you hailed us? Give me everything you have or die. They don't take kindly to threats. All right, I'm gonna jam their shield. It's gonna fuck with my reactor power. Can I? That's fine. Fuck up their shields one, because it makes this next part a lot easier. Yeah. You don't need oxygen. All right, who's the guy going to the fucking doors of the room right now? Uh, stop them. Fucking confusion fuckers, man. Yes, kill each other! Yes, fight in the shield room while you wait for your fucking bus that's never coming. I'll kill them all. Yes! Pike them! Ah, damn it! Repair the fucking doors, please. Repair the... Repair... Why is this guy not listening to me? L? Hey! What's up? What's up with you? Why is he not listening? Go repair something. Make yourself useful. Like I said before. Okay. Pike them. They're calling for ASB support. You would pull some shit like this, I say over the radio. Oh! Oh boy. That was about the worst fucking thing that could have happened. Those two are fucking dead. Well, that guy's dead. Who was that? I don't know their name. Frankly, I don't care to. His brain was too weak to defend against a fucking... Something as simple as a goddamn mind control device. Sad. Sad. <laughs> Pathetic. Was that an enemy? No, 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 no. <laughs> that was someone mind controlled. That that was someone we knew. That was a friend. That was a friend. They're dead now. Man, shields is fucked. But we won. We always win. It's okay. The ship was getting overcrowded. Imagine not producing oxygen from your own body. Imagine not being Hector. All right, you two go get some fucking... These people never follow my instructions, and that's why they die. Let's get some oxygen back in this place quick. Okay. All right, everything's everything's gonna be right as rain, Chad. No one panic. Why is Emily hurt? God, these shields took a lot of damage. These guys fucking targeted nothing but my shields, the goblins. You know... <laughs> boosting their health and damage would uh, really make that fucking mind control just a little bit more spicy. They almost killed someone on that ship, all on their own. Making that even stronger? Well, that's just, that's just freebie. That's a freebie. They may, I mean, I just lost a guy to it. What the fuck is this? Well, there's not much stuff in this system. When is Emily not hurt? Fucking true. There's a pirate attacking a crystalline vessel. Uh, I'm going to jam their shields again. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shield Man. 
Please destroy their shields from the inside for me. An oxygen boy, huh? That's fucking cute. How did that go for you, pussy? Hey, how do you like my murder bots that are also on the ship, pussy? Hey, I'll see you later. All right? Pathetic. <laughs> yes, kill each other. Kill each other. Fight amongst yourselves. Now die. All of you die. I am the pike guy. I, I own a pike. Yes. 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 Someone just bored me. Surely they didn't. Because they're dead. $46. You contact the crystalline ship to hear, We never should have returned. All around us there is war and chaos. Do not speak to us again. They hang up. All right, assholes. <laughs> Whatever, man. Oh, the guy who manned our fucking shields died. Sad. I finally learned their name. I finally learned what their purpose was on the ship. And Emily... Why is Emily always so hurt? I know they don't shoot at the fucking hull that... Like, the helm that much. But they're always, like, dead. They boarded the pilot. Oh, I never look over there. They're kind of on their own out there. Which is, I guess, one thing you don't want to hear your fucking captain say. Yeah, you're kind of on your own out there. I don't really check. I don't really check. She's always suffocating, too. I know. I know. God, I know. A large convoy of lumbering civilian ships appears to be passing through the region. They show you no hostile intentions, but they are taking no chances, immediately sending their escort to attack. Now that is really unfortunate. Now that is really unfortunate. For you! That's really unfortunate. For you! Kill him! Kill him, my son! Maxwell! Maxwell! Kill them! And die yourself as well! Yes. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Hector. Hector, are you okay? Can you read me? I'm not going to let them get away with what they did to you, Hector. I'm just not. I'm going to fucking kill them all. Their ship seems severely damaged and they look to be reconsidering the fight. Should you power down your weapons and explain the mean no threat? No. No, I don't think that'll be necessary. If you fucking kill Hector, I swear to God, you guys are gonna regret it. I will kill everyone here, including all the civilians, if I must. I'll kill everyone. Thanks for the scrap. I'll, I'll, I'll kill them all. I'll kill them all. I'm not a good guy. All right? I'm not a good guy. Prepare the engines. God, we've got all this money and I want a better gun. But I never see ships that sell things. And dude, everyone's like scared of me. <laughs> Most of the time when I show up at a shop, they go like, oh, 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 and they like immediately blast me with a cannon. I need more power. I need more power. But more power bars will also do. More power bars will also be good. Yeah. Because now I can use my fucking fuel thing and also do more. I need more. Where's that? There's gotta be a shop around here. This is like scary music. Wait, how do I get to this? Fucking exit. I go up here. There's like no time to fuck around. Whoa, where the fuck are we? Odd radar pings from a huge orbiting asteroid here reveal a crystalline cache of some kind. A deep crater has been sealed over with a thick layer of crystal to keep whatever's inside safe. It takes some serious firepower to break through. I have serious firepower. I have the pike. You fire everything you can, but the crystal barrier remains strong. After time, you give up. 
All, all right, we're leaving. I don't have a. I don't have enough serious firepower. A large crystalline ship floating in space. They hail aliens. How curious. We request your aid. We have men buried on the nearby planet. We must dig them out. L-O-L. We understand you rely on machines for so much. Yours is a soft and weak species. We'd hardly even have noticed your presence. Fly well. I'd like to kill them, but I can't. Seal five hull. Store. Store. This is it. A friendly Federation outpost hails you. Good, a friendly face. We took some damage from a rebel attack. Nothing major, but we need scrap for repairs. Would you like to trade? They're vulnerable. Attack, kill them. No, no, no. Let's see what they're offering. Okay. Shield piercing large projectile that pierce a single layer of shield. Required power two. I have the I have the real estate to afford a power one. I'm getting the charge laser. Which can charge infinitely. Which is what I like to see. Oh wait, no, that wasn't infinitely. That's two charges. <laughs> I saw this fucking infinite symbol. And I was like, that could charge an infinite number of beams. It can charge two beams, which is all we need it for. We just want more stuff hitting shields because we need to punch through shields for the pike. We just want more stuff. That is the whole point of this. More, 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 more. Let's continue on. There's a nebula here. I fear no nebula. I f made a big fucking mistake on this one. I should have bought fuel while I was there. But I didn't have any more money. You spot a crystalline vessel sneaking through the nebula. Gah! I came here to escape you aliens. Now you chase us down? It seems conflict is inevitable. They've got those fucking ice piercing things. So I'm definitely jamming them. All right. All right. We don't need... Who needs fucking oxygen? Not me. Okay. Not really. All right. I'm gonna put the pike on four. Charge everything we have. We take their lives when the pike reaches full. What? Really? I'm gonna freeze that? Really? Give them everything we have. You missed most of the shots, but it's okay. Ah, yes. The pike rises again. Chat, the pike rises again. My door dasher is calling me, but I'm going to ignore him and hope he doesn't watch my streams. I'm gonna flip my phone over and not look at my phone again. It's probably calling me because they don't have the right sauce or something. Which they never pack anyway, so what do I care? Barbarian, infant-brained aliens, all you do is kill, let us go at once! Ignore. They're crying on the mic. Sad. 37 scrap. You guys are making me so mad! You guys are making me so mad! The bell tolls. I kind of want to buy fuel now that I'm here. But I don't think I'm ever going to run out of as much fuel as I have. Even though I've fought every fucking ship in the area. The moment you arrive, you notice a crystalline ship in the vicinity keeping its distance. They message you. The rebels that are trying to hunt you down are creating havoc everywhere they go. Ah, we came to escape this crap. To minimize their impact on our people, we would like to give them your flight path out of our sector. We would like to remain civil and we are willing to pay you in scrap for the increased danger it poses. I'm going to give them false flight plans. 
are unable to interpret it themselves. The crystalline beings assume that your data will mean something to the rebels. It should see the pursuing fleet taking a leisurely cruise before they get back on track. Idiots. Fucking stupid idiots. That's dumb. They're really dumb. Well, I got some time to kill now. Is that, uh, anti-ship batteries are detected in the system. I don't fuck with those. I've definitely got time to check out everything else in this area. I might even go back and buy those fucking uh, fuel cells now. You arrive in a civilian settlement. It looks like they're homes and ships. And I, I haven't done a salvage mission yet here. The immediate area around the beacon yields little, but after di diving much deeper into the system, you stumble across an inactive pirate ship scans that you didn't turn up before. Send a team in to see who might be able to loot them. Please don't die. It looks like most of the ship has been stripped down. However, the cargo bay is still locked. It doesn't look like anyone's broken in yet. It wouldn't be too hard for you to do so. Do you wish to pursue there's something in the cargo? All right, L6437 definitely died. <laughs> L, no! You delicately cut your way through the door, but the second you do, inside a trap is triggered. Screw you, thieves! Shouts an automated message followed by an explosion that rips one of your crew apart. The loss is terrible. It doesn't seem to be followed by any further repercussions, leaving you to take all that remains. Eh. I mean, it's sad, but like... I mean, I could always buy another. Could always just go buy another. Yeah. Let's buy another. It's the last thing he fucking hears as he passes away. Oh, ah, fuck. I'm gonna have to buy another. Shit. I don't have enough money for cloaking, chat. I'm not gonna buy cloaking. As good as cloaking is, I don't have the money. You arrived at a seemingly ordinary beacon, but scans show a particularly large ship slip tunnel opening nearby. Someone with an MV drive is jumping in nearby. You wait in apprehension, but the big tunnel only continues to get bigger. From out of the tunnel comes a massive cruiser vessel of slug design. The bright hull of the cruiser draws your attention through the arsenal. It's pointing straight at you with quite... At you is quite distracting. I'm gonna kill him. Fuck these guys. Are you kidding me? The slug captain appears on the screen wearing a large hat and humming, Had not cleared leather for a... Oh, well, howdy there, partner. Didn't seem to see you there. That's a mighty fine ship you got. Shame I gotta rough it up a little, but the bounty on your head is as high as noon. I'm gonna jam their shields. Can't confuse them anyways, so there's no point caring about that. Oh no, please don't attack the fucking cameras. Don't do that. I got three tiers of shield. Let's see if I can punch through this uh, all at once. Oh, you are gonna regret the day you fucked with me. Let me tell you what. I gave him the old pike surprise. Yeah, look at him take that fucking damage. Stop, stop auto-shooting. They're hurting me, but I'm hurting them more. That's for sure. In a second, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am strong, dude. This is a strong fucking build. Nice. The mighty vessel has been defeated. Oh, my God. God, you're also surprised to find a special weapon amongst the wreckage. You've never seen a weapon like this before. So you assume it's a custom model made by the travelers themselves. Big Ion! Aw, <laughs> oh, chat. My door dasher texted me and you know what he fucking says? The saddest thing of all. Something I genuinely cannot believe. They don't have Baja Blast. Do you want something else? No! I- you shot- <laughs> Matter of fact, I don't! I'm calling him. <laughs> I'll be right back!
I'm so mad right now! It's fine. Let's check out what Big Ion does. Big Ion is... What? A uh, preemptive ion weapon that charges so fast can be used right out to start the battle, but can only be fired once per combat. Does immense bio and ion damage and never misses. Texas Red won't be getting up after this one. I'm sorry, how much damage is that to a crew? I guess I'll get rid of Burst for now and switch it in for Big Ion. <laughs> he tried to match the Ranger, Chet. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Big Ion. I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah, we can't have you here. You suffocate too easy. I was not expecting... Okay, calm down. Oh, there's a fire in there. That's fucking surprising. Is that gone now? Yes. So if we have better cameras, we'll be able to work with this. Now, see ship interior, see enemy interior. We want that. We want that. We want the power bar. Gonna want more power bars. Yes. Yes. This will do nicely. It can only fire once per combat, chat. But that means once forever, which I would have misread. Once per combat, which is insane. And if I know where the enemies are, I can basically end the fight in one shot if the if the beam is long enough. Okay. And if I aim it, okay. This is it's it's insane. This is insane. This is insane. Now the beam length is only 2. So it's a sing it's like right on top of someone. Okay. It'll basically kill any human being in a ship instantly. It's basically a bullet. It's not a line, it's a bullet. It is like, oh, there's a guy right here, bing, and they're dead. They've been immediately deleted from the fight. And if we hit the guy in shields with that, shields is also going away. And once shields is down, I can kill him very quickly with everything else I have. So we hold big iron until the second I'm ready to shoot everything else, and then we just end their fucking lives. That said, I actually did just realize, I don't want pierce, I want burst. Very good, very good. Yes. The spooky, scary music is playing. <laughs> Your senses have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Hail them! The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They want one drone, and they'll give me six fuel? Sure. NG Harmony. I'm not, I don't get very, I don't get along very well with the NG so far, but uh, apparently they're not a very high threat. Uh, the NG Guard almost immediately knows you. The sector is under quarantine. Protection from the rebellion and Mantis force is critical. Identity, federation, identification proof required to uh, permit entry. ID will no longer suffice. Additional verification proof of peaceful ways or truce with NG. Why the fuck would I show a separatist NG? <laughs> I choose battle. Jam their shields. I choose battle. I choose battle. Yes. Okay, they. Okay. All right, we're doing it like that. Fine.
it's not actually placing. Why is it not placing? Hey, chat. Requires no power. It's not placing. Or it might be, and I just don't see it. Uh, no, I see something. There it is. Okay, there it is. Now I see it. Oh my god, he just fell over. He just, like, fell over. That was really fucked up. Okay, these, uh, these fucking... This is really fucking dark. Uh, everything about this, including my current chances of survival. Because we've got, like, a fucking psycho robot on this fucking ship. And the shields are broken. I should probably send someone to try to intercept this. Matter of fact, we should probably send multiple people to try to kill this fucking thing. It's running from us. Oh my god. We should not have tried fighting these fucking guys. We really shouldn't have. But we're gonna win. It's just, it sucks. Really, we had to miss it the last second. Fuck you. Just kill it. We'll live. We'll live. And we'll make a lot of money out of it. Prepare our hull a little bit. We'll live. Don't worry. We'll get out of this. You should not be doing that. Did we lose someone? I swear. I I stopped checking. I feel like we might have lost someone. I don't I'm counting four five people, but I swear we might have had six. But maybe we didn't. Either way, the big iron seemed to work. It does... I'm guessing it does 100% damage to anyone in the entire room. So we probably want to time it to hit people in a room. Lol, Emily died. L was already dead. I think L was dead the whole time, chat. Yeah, he got killed in a different scenario by a bomb. Because I sent him in to defuse a bomb. And he didn't do it. Right. That's not my fault, though. That's not on me. He fucked up. You over here, Mantis, calm chatter negative. I killed more humans. You gulp noticeably, but luckily they don't see you yet. I don't want to fight them. You power down non-essential systems and wait for the FTL drive to charge. I either don't want to fight or fail to notice your ship. The latter is most likely. Yeah, I'm not fighting them. I'm not fighting Mantises. Even with big eye on. The slaver is advertising quality slaves for modest prices. I'd like to inspect the slaves, and I know this is just going to result in me getting to kill him, which is what I'm hoping for. Ah, yes, well, about that, I can't really show you because because they're all sleeping. One wants you to wake them up. I'm going to kill them. Jam their shields. Continue the fight. Get ready, because here comes Big Ion, and you're not... You're not doing that. You're not... You're not... Dude, you're supposed to stop them from leaving. Well, they're going to be in there for a while. It's going to take them a long time to get out of there. There's a lot of doors in the way of that one. <laughs> That's like the worst spot to teleport to. All right. So, uh... God damn it. I want to kill them all while they're in there really bad, but they have a cloning bay. Hold. Now... Actually, put these two there. All right, their guns are all down and they have nothing. Their lives, their dreams are for naught. It's all over. Big Ion is fucked. Okay, I, I am now of the mindset that Big Ion is fucked. The shields are still disabled. They're trying to run. This is fucked. Wait, I surrender! Take one of our slaves as tribute! If you kill us, they'll all die anyways! All your slaves are dead! They never existed, pussy! You think I'm an idiot? They won't scam anyone else. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Where's that? Oh well, probably nothing. Did you guys hear something? Let's get out of here. And big iron. It's another mantis pack. 
Here's the thing, chat. They're not gonna be able to teleport onto my fucking ship if I big eye on them. I'm gonna fu That's a lot of mantises. I'm gonna fight them. I'm gonna jam their fucking shields. And I'm gonna send them all to hell. Where are they going to? Yes, perfect. Perfect. The m fucking murder bees are already killing them! <laughs> Everything is going according- This is not a ship you want to board, pussy! Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So anyways, so anyways, I big eye on- Actually, hold it for- Nah, we hit shields either way with it. Bop, bop, and... Yeah, that looks good. I'd rather get more, though. More. Yeah. Fucking Christ. Put that out! Close all the doors. Put that fire out. Wait, why would I put it out when I just open the oxygen? Man, these mantises are psychos. Can we get back on that? Man, that shield is disabled for so long, it's basically a guaranteed kill. It's so much ion. It's like they, they can't do anything about it. Now, the real issue right now is I really do need to get oxygen back on. So let's send the NG over. Oh my god, the plant guy is not handling the fire well. Okay, NG friend, can you just deal with this? Okay, good. They'll take care of that. Everything's gonna be fine. You guys just go heal, you two pathetic losers. Go get yourselves healed up. All you... We need more crew. I think that's the thing we need. And, uh, you go repair this. There you go. Fire bad! Fire bad! Wait, my DoorDash order was already dropped off? That's a lie. There's no way they pulled it off that fast. It's been five minutes. This isn't at my house. This never went to my house. Hang on, Chad. I gotta go check if it's out there. One sec. Dude, this guy must have been the best door dasher ever because he must have gone about 500 miles an hour down rural streets to get to me. Because I know how far he had to go. It was not a fast ride. That, that we got, I got John DoorDash delivering to me, chat. Fuck. Well. Shit. I have to eat this. How many more sectors do I have, chat? I'm out. I'm gonna go eat. I'll catch you guys later. It's been a pleasure. I'll be back tomorrow to play other stuff. I'm done. Goodbye. I don't know you anything. I'm gonna go eat. I'm hungry. It's been a pleasure, chat. It really has. This is fun. It's a fun, it's a fun little mod. Thanks for all the gifted subs and donations and resubscriptions and etc. It's been a pleasure. It really has. I'm going, though. I'm going to eat. I'll be back tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. I think I'll be starting earlier, a little bit earlier, but we all know what that usually means. Uh, I'll see you then. And then I'm doing stuff on Saturday as well and Sunday. Doing every day this weekend. So there's going to be plenty of me. Don't you worry. Goodbye, though. Goodbye. Goodbye.